Day one! Day one! You got this. You are beautiful, you are strong, and you are important. <laughs> so we are. <laughs> so we are. Good morning. <clears throat> Hello, good morning. How'd I put, oops. I just removed that. <laughs> oops. <laughs> oh man. I want to do play more. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> put it back. Okay, I will, I will. Oops. <clears throat> um <laughs> Yo Debos, thanks for the tier one. Appreciate it. Hey, what a do, Playboy? Hey, what a do, Playboys? How's it going? Living that gang, shit gang, gang, gang. Oh, gang, gang, how are ya? Yes, sir, that's it, that's it. Down on the streets, cut. I'm on the streets as well, cut. The name is Ramasquami, and how are you? Your name what? That's a great question. My name is Vivek Ramasquami. That's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. And what's your name? Yeah, damn, your name lives as long as mine. And what's your name? My name is SJ. SJ, how do I spell that? <laughs> I'm just joking Two around. Letters. S <laughs> and a J, sir. That's such a great damn. point. Uh, are you going to come to the debate today, the mayoral debate? Hell nah. And why not? I don't give a fuck about no damn mayor. Well, let me ask you a question, SJ, or should I say Mr. J. What do you think is the biggest threat to Los Santos? Yo, overly positive attitude, probably. It's such a great point. Thank you so much for saying that. If you think I'm overly positive, it's because we live in a bleak present and we need some positivity. Wouldn't you agree? No, I don't. I don't agree. Well, I hopefully I can change your mind. You can try to change my mind, Mr. Kwamadeska. No, no, no. Hold on. It's Ramaswamy. That's R A M A S Q U A M Y. Wow, Rama Squame, okay, okay. Yeah. That's right, and I stand to end the woke mob. What do you think about that? Hey, I'm glad if you did, to be honest. Wonderful, well then do I have your pledge to vote Rama Squame at the polls? <laughs> Fuck no. All right, well you take care now. <laughs> Peace out, Rama Squame. Yo, Peace out. Oh, Beetlejuice is right there, man, you see him? Yeah, that's me. You say I look like this guy here? Is that karma? You know? How the hell is a mess? And a Who the fuck is this donut? guy with his fingers up? How are you? It's Vivek Ramaswamy. How's your day going? Uh, we got... You're that motherfucker that's running for mayor, aren't you? Well, I wouldn't say motherfucker. I'd say mother flipper. We try to keep it PG. Nah, 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 nah. If you I'm dance like that near me again, I will stab you. Understand me? Don't do it. You'll this. stab me with a with a knife. Oh. Yes. Well, I feel like today Los Santos is being stabbed with a knife by a current lack of political leadership. Wouldn't you agree? No. You wouldn't. I, You're happy with the status quo. I think the city would do a lot better with Maximilian as the, the mayor. Is that right? And why is that? Because you... You look like one of those... Uh, right. How do I describe name, this? Those people that are in someone's pocket. You seem like it's a man who has no spine. You seem like a man who won't be able to do anything on his own. And why do you th believe that? I mean, look at you. Uh huh. Look like Carmine's brother. Uh -huh. Disappointment to society. Uh huh. It's a great point, and thanks for bringing it up. Let me guess. You all have received some form of payment from Max. Isn't that correct? No. Form of no. Payment. Why the fuck would so then, now, why are you? Why this? did you pledge your allegiance to Maximilian Thoroughbred? Have you seen him? He seems like a man we can follow. 
What do you mean? What do you mean? Look at me. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Let okay. me tell you. Man, let me tell you. The streets with his fingers up. Hold on, man. Let me address your little. Let me address your little accusations here. I am a man with a spine. In fact, all of these other career politicians have been paid off and bought by corporations. I have a grassroots campaign, and I'm not afraid to tell folks like you, no matter how cool your chain is, to buzz right off. I, Vivek Ramaswamy, stand for the people by the people, and no other politician will say that. Thank you so much. Wait, didn't you get arrested or something the other day? Yes, I did, for standing up on what I believe in. That's something a politician would not admit to, and that's why I'm an outsider. Do you think it's a smart idea to tell random people you don't know to buzz off? That's exactly right, because I have a spine, and I'm not afraid to say the truth. Just like how the vaccine is causing a lot of illness in Los Santos. What do you think about that? <laughs> oh, my I told God. you, if you dance like that one more time, I, mean, I will stab You're you. You're right, I'm sorry. Me. Absolutely, Can I, do I will. It? Fuck. Don't do it, don't you Listen, <laughs> Vivek, what the fuck your name is? Yeah, Vivek Ramaswamy. I don't really particularly care what your name is. I need you to drop out of the election. All right. Give me one reason. Me? Give me one reason. Money. $100,000. If you give me $100,000, you think you can buy me off? Is that no, what you're that, asserting? That, because well, let me I, tell I, you. I no, no, hold on. Okay, I've, I've had it. You first come up to me and say I have no spine. Then you try to buy me out of the election. If anything, that means I have a platform that you're scared of. And now you can threaten me for stabbing because I'm hitting the gritty. But I am not afraid because I, Vivek Ramaswamy, stand for the people. And I'll be not simply bought off by the elites of this town. Now, I understand you have a history of Los Santos with Maximilian Thoroughbred. But frankly, it's time for change. So thugs like you can't threaten... People running for office. Thank you so what much. You Thugs like you. Oh, I'm a thug now. Do I look like a thug? Motherfucker, what did I say about dancing? I Well, you just said not to hit the one before, and this is a new dance. <laughs> Stop fucking dancing in a conversation. Yes, sir. <laughs> do, you know, do you know who Mickey is? Very Absolutely. I'm, I'm very familiar with Mickey. He asked me on a date. Do you have a good relationship with this man? Absolutely, I do. Mickey has been by my side. I've donated to Kids with Cancer with Mickey through Mickey's donation, Charitable Drive. Oh, I also invested I mean, $1,000 to Mickey. Invest into what? I invested into uh, his uh, business, if you know what I mean. His company? That's right, his the company. company. That's right. That That is us. Well, then I guess... You're my uh, asset. <laughs> I thought we were thugs. Well, uh oh, uh, you are thugs, but so, at the so you're paying thugs. I can't be good for your campaign. It's such you a great know. point. Thanks so much for bringing it up. I'm not paying thugs. It's called giving back to the community. <laughs> well, thank you for investing. Ramaswamy, R A M A S Q U A M A M Y. That's exactly Ramis right. Now That's take exactly off that right. mask. Marty, this man. It's cold outside. No, thank you, Ramaswamy. Understandable, as long as it's not for, uh, you know, virus reasons, and I'm for it. Okay. God and God, yeah. science bless you. Marty, you hear this man invested into us? He, he gave thousands of dollars to our company. That's right. Yeah. He's a diamond uh, invested, uh, uh, invested in thugs. Yeah, I told him to uh, back out of the election. He won't listen. Why? Why would he back out of the election? I'm voting for this guy. What do you mean you're voting for him? What? Ramis Flammy. That's Ramis right. Flammy. That's, That's right. R A M A S Q U A M Y. God, gods, Marty. and signs bless you. Marty. God what bless you, Ramis Flammy. What about him? Motherfucker, the guy is obviously the better option. Look at this fucking. Not, not to be rude here, but. Uh -huh. Look at you. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, Jesus. pretty, pretty. Oh. Get, oh, it. Shit, Get it. Get it. End the woke oh, mob. Whoa. End the woke mob. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'm telling you, this Maximilian guy is fucked. I'm telling you, this guy appeals to the Zoomers of, of Los Angeles. That's exactly right. I have a very active TikTok right, account. Really. Yeah. I, have, uh, I, I have a couple TikToks that have gone COVID-19, totally virus. Yeah, I'm telling you, Maximilian's fucked. Can I ask, Julie, can I, can I present something in a more serious tone to you fellas? Sure, you seem like not? a smart fella. That would be great. Here's what Maximilian has. A brain. 
I am, let's just say, open to ideas. Let's say the company wants to use my platform to spread their influence over the faces of people of Los Santos. Perhaps if you were to endorse me, you four specifically, maybe not even the company, I could represent your specific interests. What do you think about that? Like what interests? Well, let's just say in the company, the company has been growing, right? I was speaking to Mickey earlier and he was mentioning so many names I couldn't even keep track of. Let's just be honest, if the company gets behind heat, who do you think is going to be uh, put below? Who's going to take the bullet for the company? So it's not going to be you're... it's not going to be the ones at the top. It's going to be folks like you. Did you point directly at me? How does he know I'm the seven? <laughs> what the fuck? I have a good not... sense of this thing. Why would you and not you be the person seven. who takes the bullet if you're the mayor? Well, it's such a great question because at the end of the day, a mayor can only lead from his castle. Because a mayor doesn't go to war, does he? Remember Sanguine? How the fuck would you know about Sanguine? I was educated. I did my research through my campaign manager, Lilith. That's my mayor, Ramasquami. I, I also yes. post my real takes on ramasquami.co.ru.nz. Oh, wow. So how about we break away and us four through my campaign? And let's be honest, I have a real shot of winning. In fact, you were willing to pay me hundreds of thousands of dollars to back out. It Instead, why not bluff. use this as an opportunity? It was, it was oh. a bluff. Dude, I can't even afford a fucking burger at the damn gas station. And that's the problem with the current administration. I swear to God, I, I warned you. I'm <laughs> squammy. I'm squammy. I know you right. fucking invested in a company. I'm that's squammy. the only reason I've not killed you. You understand me? Absolutely. And there's more where that comes from. Wouldn't you agree? How about How someone from more? the company? How about someone from the company in the in the office with me? What do you think about that? This, this is literally uh, the majority of the people right here. Well, let me tell you. Don't you want representation? Motherfucker, you don't. I already know how the legal system is going to work. You don't get uh -huh. to choose anyone beside one person by your side. Uh -huh. It's not the person at all. Yeah, but so what if? The one person? What if it's one of you? You never know. You don't have a campaign mate that's running with you. Wait a second. I don't. Wait are a second. Are you fucking? Are you serious? We, that's exactly that right. Dad? Why don't we make that dad? No, motherfucker. What? He's running from mayor. I mean, if we had them both. Think about that. Because let's be honest, let's what? be honest, Max is going to have a lot of his own opinions. You're going to be pressed under his thumb. Whereas with me, you mm -hmm. will be the thumb. Yep, that's right. You have my vote, Ramasquami. God, gods, and science bless you. Okay, why don't we just have this, whatever the fucking guy's name is, work under the dead. Ramasquami. Exactly. It's Stop saying your fucking name. I don't care about it. Well, it's such a great yeah. point. It's hey. just that's my name. Honestly, it's a complicated one. I'm starting to turn here. Ramasquami. Benji's a smart fella, then. Yeah. I you don't even know who Benji is. Well, whoever I... said he agrees with now me is smart. Now he does. He's a fella in the beanie. Correct. I vote Vivek. Motherfucker. I vote you... Vivek. Motherfucker. I, I vote, vote Vivek. Vivek. I vote Vivek. Let's go. I vote Vivek. Let's go. I. <laughs> <laughs> I will not back down, even though you hit me in the face. I'm not you gonna be. You can do it. You can do it. What okay, well that's an. Uh, give me what one second. Give me one second. Stop fucking dancing. You just say wrong, you bastard. Are you, are you okay? You okay there? You just. You say things so harshly, you don't even listen. He does. He does. Yeah, it's because I just don't care about you. <laughs> You're just true. like the woke mob, not listening me to me. A total cowards. Oh my god. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. <clears throat> and we'll be strong and defeat the likes of you. You should. Don't give up, Ramasquami. You I can won't do let this. you down. Tell me he's a you coward. <laughs> I can't do that. He's my brother. Okay, well, I understand. I've seen him stab too many people. Is that right? How about yeah, I stab exactly him crazy. on the battlefield of ideas? Would that count for something? Yeah, yeah that, that sounds fair. That sounds fair. Watch where you're fucking driving, you imbeciles. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, I'm listening. 
take my phone number down. Yeah, I'll have a meeting with the boys. Number down. And we'll see what we think about you working potentially with Maximilian. How about that? I would love to talk, and I'm open for it, if you want to break away, if you know what I mean. Really make a statement and a stand for yourself individually. I'm stop your talking. option. Stop, stop talking. Absolutely. Uh, Vivek, Vivek, Vivek. I love it. I, I, I love it. Is the the guy number. running for mayor? Take my number. Absolutely, I will. Oh Vote Vivek. God. Take my number. My name, is, Vivek. my name is Raymond. You text me. We'll have a meeting. All right. You have a good. Will day. do. God, God's or signs. Bless you. Hold well on, Vivek. Uh, hey, Honestly, Raymond, how's it going? excuse me. We can always running for mayor. Step it up a notch. All right. And what do you mean That's by that? Idea. What's Benji, your Marty, ethnicity? Good to see you guys. I'll see you guys It's such soon. a great Goodbye. question. Thanks so much money. for asking. It depends on who I'm speaking to. <laughs> I like the answer. That's exactly right. Go ahead. Go ahead. I can practice. I got a question. <laughs> Go ahead. I, what, I. What's your take on these shitty roads? Boys, don't be fucking easily convinced, please. I, w I want to jump into politics. How Is that can right? I help? Well, what, thank you so much. What's your take on the shitty roads? The shitty roads. Day one, I'll pass a landmark piece of legislation. Part three All of my legislation will be to fix the roads for fine folks like yourself. What do you think about that? <laughs> Okay, uh, that's that's good. And are you going to keep the free health care we have currently? Well, here's the thing. I don't believe in health care. I believe in sick care. Because at the end of the day, mm. this country is sick. And we need fine folks like myself to be the doctors. Wouldn't you agree? I, I mean, Absolutely. I guess, but... Uh, Absolutely. So it's going to cost money to go to the hospital now? Absolutely not. It won't cost money for fine folks like yourself. Because I'll call up my business partner who I call daddy and say, please, Appa, I'm sorry. And just like that, Appa, he, Appa. Will, he will solve your doctor needs. You, you, you think I'm a fine person? Absolutely, I do. If you're in Los Santos, you're a fine person in my books. I wish my dad thought that. Well, I could be your dad in some sort of way, if you know what I mean. I can, I, I can call you daddy. Absolutely, you can. Okay, that's where I go. Oh, hi. Good luck, oh, good okay. luck, Mr. Yeah. Ramos Guam. Uh, yo, God, God, your science bless you. I, how, how can I help you, daddy? Well, how about? Wait, whoa, 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 what? My, what do you my, mean? my how... old dad left when I was five, so I mean, Wait, he, he's not leaving me. Now? How do I take this number down, Chad? Yeah. All right, Vivek, I think you actually earned a vote there. That's that's very good. That's very good. You Absolutely. This guy, you pretty he... much adopted him. Well, listen, I want to adopt fine folks like him into my campaign. Let me just tell you, I am so down to represent you. When I'm in office, I will not forget my day ones. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I, I'm all about the day ones. Y you're not going to leave me like my original dad left when I was five, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> his number let me add his number wait what's his number again oh thank you four two zero zero two two eight seven five five Raymond Are you gonna commit voter fraud? It's gonna be a fraud if I don't get votes. Hey, how are ya? 
Ah, doing quite well. How about yourself? I'm doing so well. I'm so sorry. For a second, I thought you were my good friend, Jordan Peterson. You dress the exact same. You're looking good. Oh, uh, I think you made the same mistake yesterday, too. That's exactly it's right. Good. It's all good. Well, no worries whatsoever. Uh, you take care now. You as well. Have a good rest of your day. Hey, were you, were you lying about being my daddy? I'm sorry, who am I speaking to? <laughs> you, 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 you said you'd be my daddy like two minutes ago. That's exactly right. But people are, people are saying you're lying. Well, it's so funny they said that. It's such a great point. I will be your daddy and the folks of Los Santos' daddy if you vote for me in this upcoming election. Do you want to be, make me proud? Yes. Then I need you to campaign and convince 50 people to vote for Ramasquami. I will give you my phone number. Let me know if you can arrange some meetings for me. Wouldn't you agree? Y yes, Danny. Can, can you give me a hug? Absolutely. After I get 50 votes, I will give you a hug and say I'm proud of you. It's just my original dad left on my fifth birthday. And Is I that can't right? I can't take another person leaving me. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, let me tell you, I will love you like a father if I get into office. So if you respect me and want me to be your dad, you will go ahead and vote for me over Maximilian Thoroughbred. What, what about Cornwood? Cornwood is a total fraud, total loser, total bozo. Remember, that's Ramasquami in office. It's Ramas... Ramasquibby? No, Ramasquami. You know how to spell it. That's say it with me. R A M A M A S Q U S Q F U. No, no. Now hold on. S Q U S Q U A M Y A M I A M Y. Why? Like, why the heck are we being put hostage by the liberal media? Why? AM wide liberal media? No, 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 hold on. So that's to, all together R A M A S Q U A M Y. M S A Q Y. That's exactly right. Oh, and, and you flossy, you, you hit like the Zoomers that made fun of me back when I had a mullet. <laughs> that's oh, exactly I right. I don't know, like, they're publicly by any chance. I publicly go most consulted, but I don't want to keep it. I don't want to keep it up now. I want to touch me in front. Wait, huh? that's actually so. You don't understand her. She's mm -hmm. very clear. Go ahead. Oh. Exactly. Please, please. So yeah, basically, we have something. Uh -huh. We have something that says that we have to clean the pipes. I don't want to clean the pipes. We're gonna generate hate. We're gonna pass. We want to pass. We want to pass. I don't want to buy. I don't want to buy. We want to pass. We want to buy. It's such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. When I'm put into okay. office, I will make sure French fries can't stay at a low price for fine folks like yourself. Wouldn't you agree? That's a good idea. Oh, I really? French fries. Oh, what an amazing idea! Wow. Okay. Okay. Really, really, really pass the people. Okay. Okay. Really pass the people. Wow. You really got like now. Okay. Okay. I see. I see you. Nice. Thank cool. you so much. And that's why okay, you should okay. vote for Ramasquami. That's R A M A S Q U A M Y in office. Wouldn't you agree? That's a good vote. That's an amazing you, vote. Can you send like it one more time so I can write down? Absolutely. That's Ramasquami. That's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. And this here is going to be my how son you, if I'm in office. How do you spell R? <laughs> Your son. What That's is exactly one spelling R? How, how, you want me to spell it again? Yeah, the first part. The R Vive. part. How do you spell that? V-I-V-E-K. How do you spell K? K as in K. I, K what? K as in K. Uh, K K as they yeah, say. How, okay, how okay. do you spell K? K is spelled by using a letter, which is a line and a little arrow going into it. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's okay, exactly so right. Like that's exactly right. Uh, okay. Okay, what, what next? Ramasquami, that's R A M A. How do you spell R? How do you spell R? That's like an arrow with a little bit of a, a, a hump going into it, if you know what I mean. Okay, so an arrow that's being humped. Okay. That's right. Kind of like my wife getting humped by her boyfriend while I'm sitting on the side with a wide angle Sony A50 lens. Okay, okay, gotta love it. Woo, gotta love it. You know, whatever. Uh, you know, you have have okay, okay, easy. Sorry, what was if that? You want to, if you want to meet people, go to uh, Senior Bonds. 
You I would love to go to the crime Bugs. there. Oh, I would just love to meet people personally. Okay, well, if you could buy the computer, because we're going to go right. You know, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Go on. All right, you go take on. care as well. Okay, okay, thank, thank you. That's good. Uh, oh, oh, and here's the liberal media. Are you the liberal media? I'm, according to you, the lamestream media. Well, let me tell you, you're an absolute fraud. The woke Bob can't silence me. Uh, excuse me. I feel like I don't, excuse me. I feel like I don't have a platform to speak my views. It is ridiculous how much I'm being silenced. I can't say what I truly feel because fine folks like yourself don't record what I have to say. Literally recording it right now. Well, that's a really good counterpoint. <laughs> yeah, like cameras in my hand and all. It's such a great point. Thanks so much. Because here's what I'm going to say. I'm trying to speak the truth and I have to go to secondhand media like Joe Rogan or Larry Jones because fine folks like yourself don't record what I'm saying. I am being Literally silenced recording by... right now. That's actually a really good point. I never actually thought about it like that. I'm just saying I can't be heard by folks like yourself. Thank you so much. Okay, great. Do you have any yeah. substantive questions for me, or are you gonna just stick to, you know, your your TMZ journalism? That's exactly what I thought. It's like they won't even record. I was moving out of the way of the tow truck. Oh, sir. I'm sorry. I thought you were trying to silence me. No. <laughs> okay, I'm go ahead. Ask me a question. Go ahead. Never shut up. So. I absolutely shut up. I'm a great listener, which is an important role for a politician. All and right. He's gonna be my daddy. If the election is in like three months instead of like this month, are you still going to be in the city to actually run? It's such a great point. Thank you so much for saying that. A lot of people have accused me for running because it's sort of the thing to do right now. I promise I will be in the city for the next six to one year. That's exactly right. Okay. So you can commit the time to actually being mayor if you win it? Absolutely, I will commit the time and I will certainly have help, specifically my friend Dangren, who when I was a kid, he taught me, uh, you know, how to shave, he would get me the things I'd want. I would mm -hmm. go ahead and send him out to root, do some of my errands. He's a great friend of mine and he'll help me rule as well. Or sorry, lead. And how do you respond to rumors that your campaign manager, Lilith Volker, would actually do better in the election than you would? Um... It's such a great point. Thank you so much for bringing it to my attention. What mm -hmm. I would say regarding that is Lilith is an absolutely talented campaign manager. But at the end of the day, she's only talented because I allow her to shine. Once again, I support Lilith and I support women after marriage. Okay, after marriage. Got it. That's exactly right. Okay, what about if they're divorced or widowed? Do you still support them? What does that mean? <laughs> like they're divorced or widowed. What is a divorce? Um, where you're no longer married. Annulment. Let's go with Henry VIII level of Annul? annulment. Oh, okay. annulment. Okay. Well, here's what I will say regarding those who are divorced. I think absolutely they should be given rights uh, if they remarry. Mm -hmm. Because once again, I believe everyone here is equal after marriage. Okay. After marriage, you're free to shit on the Bible all you want. How about guys? Are they uh, are they gonna be uh, like men? If you're uh -huh. not married, you know, do you also have to get married? It's such a great point. You? It's yeah. such a great point. I really appreciate the questions. It shows you're very inquisitive. Here's what I'll say regarding men. I believe one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all men. Man is born free, according to the Constitution. All right, and. Uh, out of curiosity, are you married? It's such a great question. Uh, actually, I have been married for about four years to my wife, and uh, she's had her boyfriend for six years. So we're sort of in a marriage right now. We, in fact, have three kids, two sons and one daughter, and I hear from Dangren that they're doing just great. Nice. How do you <laughs> feel about being cucked like that? Uh, well, it's so funny you say that because I sit there in my ottoman chair, which fully reclines with my Sony if A50 wide angle lens, and I record to create content for the youth on their on the websites. And I, I do love I do love observing, and I've observed this country for far too long, and I'm tired of sitting by while watching Los Santos getting totally fucked. That's why I stand for fine folks like yourself after marriage. Okay, well, my <laughs> husband's dad, do I count? I'm sorry, what was that now? I said my husband's dad. He's dead. Not, 
Yeah, like and he it, died. I'm a widow. Do I count? It's such a great point. First of all, I'm so sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I love reaching out to those in, who are grieving. And let me just say, you absolutely count after marriage again. Okay, got it. Okay, so I'm voting for Lilith. All right, thanks. Wait, what do you See mean you. by that? She's right there. Hey, how are you? I'm sorry, Lilith, are you doing some sort of campaigning behind my back? Uh, I was last night, yeah. But you're campaigning for yourself? No, for you. Because I, I was just brought to by the liberal media that uh, they would vote for you over me. What do you think about that? Well, a vote for me is a vote for we, am I right? That's exactly right. I'm glad to have you back on board. Thank you so much. We gotta talk. Uh, uh-oh. Have a car? Do I have a car? Absolutely not. Can you take care Alrighty, of that for me? Alrighty, follow me. Alrighty. Day one again. Day one! How are you this morning, Mr. President? It's such a great question. I am doing so great. I was up last night very, very late, clicking around, uploading videos of my wife. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, I saw those. I, um, I was actually around last night campaigning for you a little bit, and, uh... I got myself roasted on Twitter because I was the only one supporting you. What do you mean by that? Well, there was like 10 people posting about Max on Twitter. Are you kidding me? I'm running a viral campaign, I was aware, I thought. Hey. Yeah, I got, hey I got roasted. Morning. I got my voice. Wait, so are you telling me we uh, may not, <laughs> we may not. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Are you hey. kidding me? How are you? Good to see ya. Hey, it's... Are you okay? I'm doing so great. How about yourself? Why are you doing the Ronald Reagan pose? It's not... Well, Ronald I Reagan is a, a true patriot. Uh, hold on now. Hold on now. <laughs> I'm sort of Ronald Reagan 2.0. I'm just an Indian kid with a crazy last name. It's Ramaswamy. How are you two doing? What? Oh. Ramaswamy? Oh, no. Ramaswamy. R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. Okay, why... Uh, I am not a crook. Yeah, yeah. I, I did like... not have sexual relations. Okay, you're you're referencing three different presidents now. I'm gonna be totally different. Day day one. one. That's exactly right. I'll be totally different day one. Oh, uh, so you're running for president? You're going for that's awesome, dude. I'm running no for mayor, luck. running for president. So you may see me on the billboards that's one day. That's right. But only if five folks like you <laughs> vote for me. <laughs> We're not we doing so well in the polls. You've got to yeah. buy a vote. We're getting absolutely roasted. So I've we, got to buy your vote for a long time. And, you know, we take we take bribes for our votes, and we have an entire have family with over 150 plus little men. So it'd be that a lot of votes. Vote. Is that yeah. right? Uh huh. How much would it say to buy your vote? What's your offer? We already have an offer from another guy who's- And who's the other guy? Who's the other guy? Cornwood. Uh-huh. So you're telling me Cornwood, the mm -hmm. police sheriff, is yeah. paying yep. people to vote for him? No, uh, we have an offer. No. Uh-huh, but you said you had an offer from Cornwood. Yep, but it, who knows if it's cash or if it's something else. Maybe it could be a favor. Okay, so you're telling me a sheriff, a, a sheriff of the police is offering you a favor. Do you not see the problem with this? Is. My yeah, offer is to represent. To no, no, me. hold on. Ah, alrighty. Corruption in Los Santos. Ramasquami here with another vlog. These two fine-looking gentlemen. Oh, video. These two fine-looking gentlemen have offered to bribe me. Has been doing this for years. Apparently, so Cornwood is taking bribes and bribing the fine That's folks. What we said. Is that the sort of sheriff you fair. want? Absolutely not. That's why I vote for Ramaswamy for upcoming mayor and prayer. And that's that's my campaign well, what's your the sheriff election, you want to buy our votes. The mayor you election. To buy our votes too, so I did not want to buy your votes. I wanted to buy your votes with good ideas. What's the, what? what are you gonna buy? It's you know, so funny ideas, you say that. Ideas can't buy you Lamborghinis. Yeah, but you know what can? A solid infrastructure, working opportunity, economic mobility, and a hard work ethic. What do you think about that? What does any of that mean? What I have no idea, mean? but my daddy told me to like? say it. I read it in a book called How to Influence Businesses and Win People. <laughs> you know what? We'll consider it. Well, yeah. God, God's We're gonna science need something bless something more you. concrete. Absolutely. Well, I'll look into it when I'm not uh, so broke. What do you, you got? I mean. You got anything on you right now you can give away? Uh, let me check. Cool pocket thing? 
Yeah, um, some interesting. I have well, a watering can. I have a watering can as well because I hope to water we Los Santos to grow into a beautiful we want flower. Both of them. And you'll vote for me, you promise. Yeah. Yo, yeah. no, I'm trying to rent a car. You guys mind moving a little bit? Shut yeah, up. Yeah, We're sorry. trying to make a deal here. Hey. We're so close to closing the deal. I'm an apprentice of the dark arts. I would watch if I were you. Oh, wow. Very cool, Draco. Here you go. Here's my watering can. And I don't mean that in a, in a strange way. <laughs> hey. Lilith. Oh, well. oh. oh, perfect. Appreciate it. Well, I, I hope you enjoy. Wonderful. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> All right, take care now. For you. Awesome, oh, take yeah. care now. Sorry, we were talking. No, you're good. Hop in. All right, so you received my text, right? No. Uh, the one where the debate. Oh yes, 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 I did. Yes, I did. Okay, good. All right, we're gonna chat about that. All right. Now, what have you been up to so far? Well, I've been talking to the constituents. I spoke to a couple people from the company who were uh, okay. outside my apartment congregating. I convinced three of them to perhaps look at me as a serious candidate. Can I say that again? The last part. What was that? I, I convinced a few of them, three of them, to take me as a serious candidate and perhaps vote for me in this upcoming election. Oh, perfect. Alrighty. Now. You need to go over your talking points? Absolutely not. Because when I went to Yale Law School, I learned the best talking points come from the gut. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> Lily, can I trust you? I'm probably the best bet you've got. Is that right? And you don't? Th do you think we're gonna win this? With the way we're going right now, we need some help. And what do you propose? I think we spend the day before debate campaigning in various areas, such as senior bonds. I think we should get you hired there. In fact, is that right? Yes, I think you should even volunteer. You want me to clean your buns and at various jobs today until the debate. No, because no, hold on. the people that's going to see the debate today no, hold on, are the hold people on. that are working right now. Go ahead. I don't. You want me to work? <laughs> well, well, no, no, not really. It's more so um, putting the putting the uniform on uh -huh. and uh, just filming Tic Tacs inside and pretending. Oh, to that work. sounds way better. That sounds yeah, way absolutely. better. Just for the photo opportunity, absolutely. Exactly, exactly. Oh, I'm so I'm so down for that. I think we should do that, but I think the angle that you need to pitch at the debate is that. All right, so look, in the past, we've had mayors that have been either entirely corrupt or complete goody two-shoes. Uh -huh. I think the angle you need to target is that you're not either of those. You right. are a whole new different species. That's right. A whole okay. new American dream. That's you. That's exactly right. I absolutely am. I'm an outsider. I'm sick and tired of everybody because at the end of the day, I want to be the change that Los Santos can believe in. Yes, we can. Alrighty then. I believe Sorry. we can win, Lilith. I really do believe it. I've been really taking a temperature now. I know we're not, you know, top in the polls, but the, my voters don't go to the polls. In fact, some of them can't even read, which is why I want to say during election day, when I mobilize my voters, I think we can surprise all of Los Santos. All right. I agree with that. Wonderful. Max? My grandpa, he is basically just going to be another corrupt mayor who's going to stick around for God knows how long. Mm -hmm. I think, I think you have potential to turn this city around uh -huh. and actually appeal to the people for what they want. Right. In the past, most mayors just don't do a goddamn thing for the community. Well, listen, and, uh, I love the community. Don't get me wrong. I will be the change that you want. And Lilith, I want to formally offer if you want to join my cabinet. I know I only have one open seat, but Lilith, your hard work, I want to recognize it and I want to I'm reward in. it. 
You're in. I'm in. Wonderful. Well, it's so great doing business with you. But before I do... <laughs> yes, go ahead. I want to... <laughs> I wanted to get serious about you about a couple of things. Oh, yeah, let's get serious. I, about I myself. Uh-oh. Go ahead. So, you know how I have a criminal past, right? Right, right. I figured that maybe I should tell you everything. Just in case someone tries to use that against me. Oh, or I'd you. be very interested in hearing it. All right. I used to be a part of two gangs. You know that crazy man that tried to uh, run you over a few days back? Yeah, so I remember, uh, I believe his name was Dundee. Dundee, that's right. Yeah. He was the leader of my previous gang five years ago. We were called the Bang Boys. <laughs> okay. We would violently attack officers with baseball bats. We would destroy their car. We blew up MRPD. Um, that's kind of the tame part of my story. Before that's the that, tame I, part? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So before then, I was part of the HOA. That's uh, Scissors Gang, uh -huh. my father. So I used to, um, I used to own a meth lab. Meth as in what? What's that? Methamphetamines. The drugs. drugs. The drugs. Yes, I used to own a meth lab. I used to cook them. I used to cook meth, yes. But you're, I'm sorry to bring this up, but you're, you're not wealthy, so what happened? Oh, I used to be a millionaire. And you lost it all how? Uh, well, the economy collapsed. I flew back to Australia. All of my money got seized by the Australian government because it was illegally obtained. Okay, you converted to World of Warcraft currency, go on. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, those video games, they have really predatory monetary practices. I totally agree. Exactly right, exactly right. I converted the, uh, my money to it. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> In addition to that, uh -huh. I used to race in very fast cars. I used to steal vehicles from locals, and then I would repossess them and claim them as my own. Uh -huh. I used to rob banks. Uh -huh. I have shot and murdered police officers. I have shot and murdered other gang members. Uh -huh. Okay, shot uh, and murdered gang members. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was engaged to a Russian connected terrorist. Well, that's huge. I love Russia. Russia is one of my strongest allies, so go on. And then after that, I dated another terrorist who was a member of Chang Gang. Chang Gang was like a uh, a very high income gang, uh -huh. if not the number one gang in the city back then. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I used to do a lot of crime, Vivek. So. Is that right? Well. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. At any point. Were you woke? No. At I any point in your past, did you put on a mask? I'm afraid so. But, but let me explain. Not for my health. Not for my health. In fact, it was to conceal my identity while I oh, thank committed God. crime. Oh, thank Absolutely. God. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was about to run away. <laughs> I know, and I would have chased you and possibly killed you. <laughs> good to <laughs> know, good to these know. These are confidential secrets after all. Okay, so here's the thing. You've never been woke. You've never nope. worn a mask. You've never been vaccinated. Though you did grow meth, correct? Cooked it, yes, in a lab. Right. Well, let me tell you, Lilith, thank you so much for being honest with me. Now it's time mm. for me to be honest with you about my past. I go ahead. I too was part of a gang. Go on. The National Rifle Association. When I was 11 and 12, I would give speeches in front of their whole board of directors. 
to make sure that we can put guns in the hands of every single American. Was this around the same time you got third place in the YMCA, whatever it is? That's exactly right. Well, I was a leader in that, and I was a recreational uh, leader for uh, my basketball team. That's right. Well, that sounds great because, uh, well, none of us have guns. That's the problem. And I really do think that's a problem. I don't feel safe because you know what's scarier than someone with a gun? Someone what? with a woke idea. And that's why I hope to put guns in every single citizen's hands. Yeah, I have been shot at already, actually. My, with uh, words or with weapons? <laughs> weapons. Okay, that's not so bad. I was trying to uh, deliver some wacky tobacco to a, uh, a local and a uh. friend of mine took one step on her doorstep and she opened fire. Are you serious? I'm, se I'm dead serious. That is horrifying. Lil, if you've Locals lived are quite armed a life. And we are. I, I really have. I've, uh, yeah. Well, let me tell you, in my America, you'd be armed as well. So if someone shoots at you, you shoot back at them. Not only with guns, mm -hmm. but your good ideas. Absolutely. So, Lilith, I understand your past, and I want to say, not only do I want to work with you, I want to put you second in command. I'm in. Well, God, gods, and science bless our campaign. I'm going to do anything for us to be in power. So let's just put our hands in and say, end the woke mob on three. One, two, three. End the end woke, the woke mob. mob. That's exactly right. Awesome. Alrighty. Well, if you are in full acceptance of my past, uh -huh. then I'm in. Absolutely, I am. I and thought you I were going to admit for a second best. you were vaccinated, <laughs> which would be a huge problem because that means the government will control you through 5G towers. <laughs> but yeah, you were just screw meth and you were in a couple gangs and you shot a couple people. That's fine. I mean, who hasn't? Exactly right. <laughs> That's get totally any worse fine. Than that. Vaccinated? Are you serious, <laughs> Rebecca? <laughs> who do you think I am, Woke? Yeah, so true. <laughs> so true. Alrighty. All All right. right. It's fucking freezing. Let's get out of here. Now, uh, I'll get changed. Oh. Oh. Just pardon me, I have to just... Welcome back. <clears throat> Are you alright, sir? Absolutely, I just had something in my throat. <laughs> okay, alrighty then. So, uh, yeah, I was around last night, and, uh, -huh. uh those hours are called... AU hours. What is that? Uh, it means Australia. Oh, okay. So you logged into your fantasy land on World of Warcraft. Exactly right. I logged in. As long as it doesn't get into uh, uh, your, you know, trouble with your our campaign efforts, and I'm for it. Not at all. I uh, I was posting some advertisements Wonderful. for the campaign, and uh, I got completely roasted. And why? By who? Let's uh, let's e give them good everybody. idea. Everybody, everybody, Vivek, everybody, every everybody. Every single person saying, on Twitter. I'm waiting for Max. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for. Yes. And I went to sleep crying. Are you serious? I'm serious. Well, here's the thing with people on Twitter. They're part of the mob. The hardworking folks. Let me tell you, they're not spending their nights on Twitter. They're spending their nights on Bookface, going into the replies of of you know middle aged moms and saying. What the fuck are you doing? Etc. Those are the real exactly. patriots. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> are you hungry? Are you thirsty? What do you need? Well, I wouldn't mind uh, stopping for some drink, but I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not too thirsty right now. But uh, I'd be happy okay. to take some. We can get a meal each for today, and then we can start campaigning. Absolutely. Oh, I'll get as well afterwards. I'm in serious mode today, sir. I completely understand, and so am I. I don't fuck around. Alrighty. Here we come. Serious politicians coming through. <laughs> serious politicians. Make way for the president. 
Well, That's okay. I think uh, just keep on looking yeah. at them. Um, How do you think about me asking for the manager right, right now and see about having you volunteer? Well, I, it's so funny you say that. I spoke to the manager yesterday and things did not go so well. I ended up oh, actually so punching a guy. For you. You poor thing. Um, oh, yeah, I'll try my best to salvage that. Absolutely. Go You're ahead. You're doing great. You are doing so good. <laughs> really. Thank you. Your order number is 148. Next. Hello. Hello, welcome uh, to Sierra Buns. What can you get? Thank, uh, could I get two burgers, but put the burgers together and then put the buns around the other burgers so it's a burger burger? Okay, I'll ask the kitchen if they can do that. Um, do you want everything in the burgers? Uh, yes, please, everything in the burgers. Okay. And also, uh, two sides of fries and, and two orange, orange drinks, please. Okay, perfect. Let me ring it up for you. All right. <laughs> there you go. You can swipe your card right over here. Yeah, sir. The Thank sounds. you. I can take quarters over here. The order number is 149. Thank you. Oh, oh. No. oh. get what? the drinks, the bits. We can only oh, wow. Yeah, That's pretty Hello. offensive. Hello, welcome Hello. to Senior Buns. Uh, what can I help Hi. you with? Can I get two combos, please? Everything on the burgers with the Of side course. Of oh, I can help next and over here at the center right here. Two sprungs, okay, perfect. Let me yeah, Mr. Yeah, what can I get for you? Oh, what can I get for both of you? I can handle both of them. There you go, you can swipe your card right over here. Uh, please, both yeah, well, of you, read your order at the same time. Your order number is 150. Thank you. I want one three. burger. I'll have one, one burger, fry, one fry, and, and one water. And an orange salt. dead drink. Um, just okay. Come here. He's, he's trolling. <laughs> I do some trolling there's on not, Bookface as well. There's only one line. Um, yeah. Okay, what would you like? All right, can I get uh, two burgers, oh, so two funny. large fries, extra salt, you, you and uh, one water, Young lady, and one uh, I talk orange to you in the manager's office for one moment? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, let me ring it out for you. Okay, you there you so go. Much. You can swap your card right over here. Thank you. All right, okay, thank so. you. I had, I had a question as well. Hi, is there a manager perhaps available? For a chat? Yes, Thank there you. is a manager. Um, actually, I don't know. Is there a manager? No. No. Okay, then maybe I'll come back later then. All right, thank you oh so much. God, okay. Tessie, you look so warm. Oh. You're going down in the debates. Hey, let's get a jacket. What are you doing? How can I help you today? Um, I would like my usual which is four orders of french fries and a sprunk please <laughs> all right four orders of french fries with a sprunk love that you've been working so hard i can take her hi jay hey jay hello um, young man you've been working so <laughs> what the fuck is going on one fifty two. at least swipe your card when you're ready sir i don't feel quite myself okay. in these clothes what do you mean by that? I need my wow. coat. You need yeah, to dress like a political professional. Yeah. Because Absolutely. at the end of the day, we're representing each other in office. Do you want me to make a new outfit or was that I was wearing before? Bye. Absolutely. Make okay. a new outfit that's professional. Hello. Okay. What do you believe for me? What should I wear? Mm, maybe we could spice your suit up a little bit. Maybe like a different colored suit for this uh, debate. Absolutely. I would just love that. All right. We can do quite the burger afterwards. Of course. Would you like, uh, what would you like to drink? It's so damn loud in here. Spronk. Of course. Let me ring it up for you. Classic. Hello, I don't know where he went. Uh, 
had no onions on the burger and E. coli could drink. Yeah. Of course. Let me ring it out for you. Did you get your order? Because I was wearing 53 ketchup. Get your card right over here, girl. Yeah, we can't have anybody casting no damn. Oh, shit. Take care, Al. Of course, your order number is 150. Either brief senior bodies oh, right are now right 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 Well, well, That's well. That's right. The president Excuse is here. Me. He is present. Brief senior bodies are now The yeah. president of the United States is here. What? That's, That's right. right. The president is here. Vivek Ramaswamy. The president is here. Huh? No, I ain't me. What? Me. Oh, I'm no, the, that's me. That's me. No, no, I'm the president. No, I'm the president. I, no, I. No, I'm the president. No, 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 I'm the president. I'm the president. You're I voted, they the voted president of a 401k the club, baby. They, they vote. They voted for okay, me. Come, no come one here, did. young man. I will give you an exclusive tour of the kitchen. Absolutely. Oh. There you go. Nice. Swap your card to right over here. We're no, missing wait, so. French fries. Guys, 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 we're missing French fries. We need here. French fries. Hey, good to see the working class. You take care now. Thank you, sir. Somebody's missing their French fries. Can't you gotta make buns. French fries. Oh, it's it's splashing. Oh, oh my gosh! Anybody what? Now hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Ram is squatting. Ram is squatting. French fries. Somebody's squatting. Oh, I don't handle the food. No. Everything's up to date. Here you go. If you want a French fry, here you go. Okay, you leave. That's exactly right. Exactly. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Jr., you gotta chill with that laugh in your lungs. Oh, of course. The animals know you're no longer. Just lettuce in the mind. No, just lettuce. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I've had um, two we'll, 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 All right, I think, tool, so. it was really, it was really shocking, if you know what I mean. Okay. Already amazing. I was hit with the hot fry oil. <laughs> not doing so well. Hey, you what? I'm not doing so well. I was, uh, I was splashed with fryer oil by that strange old oh. man. Oh, that sounds about right. All right, hang on. Thank you, K Menzi Koba. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna take you to where Whoa. the debate's gonna be. Absolutely. So you can, you know, kind of make aware of your surroundings, maybe plan yourself up there a little bit. Oh, I would love to practice. Thank you okay, so much you for buying the food. You have no problem. Get in. This is my call. It is. All right. So it's gonna be held at the Vinewood Bowl. Uh huh. You will have a microphone, to a huge stage. Uh huh. They have fuck ton of seats. Okay, I'm ready. Do you think the the seats are gonna fill? I would say the entire city is probably gonna come to this. Is that right? I I would say so. Well, then this is a pretty big opportunity for us to really turn the tides. Mm -hmm. I won't let you That's down. Why... I have not. <laughs> Chad, I'm nervous. I put a lot of time into this, sir. And so did I. I know. I won't let All you down. Right. I won't let you down. And let me tell you, Lilith, if we don't win, it's because of mail-in ballots. And we will go ahead and storm the city hall. So it's a win-win for us because at the end of the day, I've spoken to the people, and I know what the people want. Hmm. Oh. That's a good point, actually. There's no other... There's no women running, is there? What do you mean? There are some women right. running away from my campaign in terms of that constituents. Is, that is extremely true. You are right on that. Yeah, which is unfortunate. Uh, it's really unfortunate. But uh, other than that, no, there are no women running for office. Well, maybe... Hmm. I was going to say maybe me is a good pitch, but I realize I think Max has like 700 women following him, so... Well, here's the thing, Lilith. How would you like to be in office with me? In a way, we'll co-lead, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I will share the power of mayor. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> just the assertion. Sharing, what's that? <laughs> just the assertion just makes me laugh. I'm just telling jokes. Oh my goodness, we love having fun around here. We don't? really do. We really do. Hopefully it stops snowing, but... Yeah, this is the... 
This wow, is like... it is uh, quite the establishment. I believe this reminds me of where uh, Osama bin Laden was found. <laughs> Oh wow! Really? Did you yes, find him yourself? It, well, yes, exactly. I went onto uh, onto the maps and was zooming in to different areas, and uh, yes, I did find uh, I did find Osama myself. That's oh, exactly wow. right. Oh wow! Yep, I guess I'm a I, hero. I must have missed that Tic Tac. Yeah, it's just that there's something the lamestream media wouldn't uh, report on. All right, this is the stage. Uh, oh, right here. It's outside. At some point. Yep, this is it. But you'll be facing this way, and the audience will be. Right in front of you, and uh, I believe their microphone connects to like speakers outside of the bowl as well. Is that right? So people driving past will be able to hear you, yeah. Okay, so yeah. everyone can hear me. Not right now, or maybe they can right now, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Los Santos! It's possible they can hear us right now. I'm not Ramasquami, sure works, everybody. Ramasquami. Day one. Day one. Mo Ramasquami. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, you need to shout a lot more than you think. So, like, okay. uh, I would say, let's test it. So, say there, and we'll, you know, you can see how uh, quiet I am. Do I sound pretty quiet from here? Yes, you do. No, you're not. But now I'm shouting, right? Now y I can hear you. Yeah, so like if you are uh, about this distance, uh, you're gonna be shouting at all times. Gotcha, gotcha. Can I try? Words, yeah, yeah, of course. Perfect. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, I can absolutely. Perfect. Clear, so. Love to hear that. Alrighty. You're gonna be shouting a lot more than you think. That's not exactly really right. shouting. You're just well, I'll be shouting the entire time. All right, then get up. Let's get some drip, shall we? What is drip? Oh, uh, flare to your clothing. That's what uh, the geese are saying. A drip is a, uh, uh -huh. another one of those words like riz. Riz! I have That's riz. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? It wasn't a joke. No particular reason. I have no Riz. That's all right. Hop on it. Oh, wait. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Whoa. All I just have to right. clear my throat. Okay. <clears throat> you can do this. You can do anything. You understand? Those people out there, you're going to make them damn proud during this debate. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. You're fine. Take your time. Let me uh, put an ad up real quick. Absolutely. Do you mind if I uh, read through my emails for a couple of minutes here? Go for it. Hi, chat. 
<clears throat> oh wow, we're going virus. We really are. Are we really? How virus? Absolutely. Are we on COVID nineteen levels? Uh, yes, we're at, we're sort of at the pandemic levels, I would say. Hold on, I have to do. I have to make another virus tweet here. <laughs> We're doing circles. Wait, I need a good. I I need a good caption. I'll be doing circles around Max in the debates today. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I just made hey, a virus tweet. Be my favorite yet. Absolutely, me too. I think it looks really professional. My it's social really media quality. My social media intern is gonna definitely get a lot of exposure tonight. <laughs> yeah, I had an idea as well. I say we uh, call every single person on Yellow Pages. Uh huh. Wait, Raymond. Raymond Romanov is a good person to speak to. I did speak he, to Raymond. Is it the same one? Uh, is he, he part of the company? Great... What's that? The company. I learned that the that the thing we invested in. Oh, okay, awesome. I didn't realize it was part of that. Well, Have it could we be had another any update on that, by the way? It's so funny. Actually, no. I did speak to some of the company earlier today, but that's about it. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Okay, before... I'm gonna get you some drip. Uh, 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 here, okay, yeah. You wanna stand here, and I want you to think about outfits. Okay. I'm thinking. You know, you wanna really... Let me know when... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so sorry. I just... Uh... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, jeez. This reminds me of when we first met. <laughs> right. That's exactly, exactly right. Happened. That's exactly what happened. I guess, uh, you know, I was not experienced, and I still am not experienced. Okay, what are you talking about right now? I am... Um, are, are you in the... Uh, did you use your e-muscle? Because that's not what I asked. I did use my e-muscle. No, okay, don't do that. Get out of that. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out right now. Get out of it. All right. Okay. Now, I want you to think about outfits like you know how you oh you know, you're gonna think about outfits oh yes i am now i now i am okay okay so i want you to look in the top right of uh -huh. your wardrobe there and you can um hang that outfit you have currently on on a coat hanger see that Yes, I can. Okay, so once you've done that, let me know. I already have it hung up on a coat hanger. Okay. I call it. Uh, yes, I, I call my out this outfit I'm wearing another day, another dollar. If you know what I mean. Okay, beautiful, and it's the correct one. It's not like a scuffed version or anything. That's like exactly that. right. That's exactly right. Okay, awesome. Now we can go and do a bit of shopping. All right. Now you can uh, swap between outfits seamlessly. And now, uh, when you go into the uh, catalog here, uh -huh. do you see like above? You know, if I think about my e muscle, hat. yes, 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 yes. Now you see how there's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little uh, icons in the catalog there. Uh huh. Um, those are to remove like what you're wearing temporarily so you can see what you look like without a hat on or glasses right, right, so you're still right. actually wearing them so if you uh i don't want to take my clothes off to show you so I'm just gonna... but you know what i mean you know how i know you, what you uh, mean you i know yes, yes if, I okay, this, okay. If, if, if i think about it you know think about a shirt it'll take yeah it it's a good exactly way to right. make sure you don't have any like uh holes in your clothing right like right but, right but now, but now you just go through the jackets and stuff like that, and you can you know, change it up that way. Okay. So what kind of outfits were you thinking? Do you want like a matching one or something like that? 
Well, I just want to make sure I look good for the debate. Let me know, like, perhaps, like, something, uh, something like this. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, something to show that I love America. I was actually thinking of a very similar outfit because there is a, a women's one exactly like that. <laughs> is that right? Do you see it? Yes, I now do. You can, you... <laughs> it looks so weird. So we could really <laughs> preach to America. We could really talk to America. That's exactly right. All right, that's good. I think this is a great look. I agree. <laughs> I, there should be like a complete matching set for it somehow, somewhere. There might even be like more than what you're wearing somewhere. Is that right? Feel free, feel free to take your time and just, uh, you know, explore. There's a lot. I, uh, I don't believe I should wear a hat because I'm quite proud I of my so hairline, either, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean yeah, your, your double your hairline is like part of your... Uh, That's your part of my image. Girl. That's exactly Absolutely. right. One of your, uh, your strongest suits. One of your strongest traits. Thank you so much for saying that. I totally agree. You're welcome. Wait, what are the pants I'm currently wearing? Oh, 35? Chat, should I keep the same pants? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> or like, should I go for this? <laughs> go for blue? Or this? <laughs> this looks so stupid. This looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> How do you think these pants, uh, th these pants look? Perfect. They look great. Awesome. Okay, I think we're good. Pants good, jacket meh? Really? What's a better jacket than this? If you have any questions or are confused about something, let me know and I'll help Bow tie you. or change undershirt? I need the Vivek Ramaswamy red tie. You, ha I have to have a red tie. It's so iconic. It's just too iconic. I think this is good. No hat. Left to the one you already have for a jacket? You sh okay, I could change the shoes, I guess. Shoes. Trump tie and Trump vest. It's just like a regular vest and tie. Nobody, nobody, uh, I mean, this is what Vivek wears. I know it's Trump-like, but that's what he wears. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what are, like, the goofiest fucking shoes? I mean, I like the look of this. It's subtle. Do 91? No, you can't see it. We could do like little no-shows. There, we'll do this. We'll do brown. We'll do brown. I don't like, I don't want it to be too ridiculous. How do I look so far? You look like a true patriot. God, God, your science blessed. New year, new mayor. Wear loafers. Like boat shoes. And they're rainbow colored. That's exactly right. Well, okay, now hold on. <laughs> Not before marriage, of course. Okay, yes, God, God, your science blessed. I like this. I'm going to pay it. When I'm happy with my outfit, uh, Lilith, yeah? I just okay. I can I can pay with my banking card, correct? That's right. See, I'm not very familiar. Usually, I send someone out to buy things for me. So three dollars total. Does that sound right? That does sound right. Uh, before you do that, uh, -huh. uh you wanna ah oh, fuck it, just do it. Once you've uh, paid for it, just like raise your arm <laughs> up or like do the uh, the old. <laughs> Wait, this is way better. Peace. 
Hold on, sorry. I just realized. I just saw something that I really. Oh yeah, liked. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I told you, yeah. It's a complete set. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of dig that, to be honest, without the. Uh, the without an undershirt. I kind of like it. Oh, okay. How about these glasses? That's truly American. All right, it's either these ones or the rainbow uh, New Year ones. I like the American ones. Okay, okay. Okay, I really think an undershirt would be look good. This is a little too crazy. <laughs> no sleeves. Looks so fucking stupid. It looks so fucking stupid. It looks so dumb. We need sleeves for sure. For sure. No, we need sleeves. Uh, we, I'm going to keep scrolling. Right? I want to roll my sleeves up. Chat, I almost, I almost liked how I looked before. What kind of uh, undershirt are you looking for? It's such a great question. I was hoping for a fancy shirt with rolled up sleeves. Oh, that should be something like that. I feel like something like this, perhaps. Because this looks a little too, oh, actually, like... Yeah. It looks a little too clownish. Like, it looks like before it's more funny, I think. It's gonna fix your arms. <clears throat> Different arms. No, it's cute. Bro just does not understand fashion. This looks a little too crazy. No, I think this looks a little too crazy. I don't really like it, to be honest. Like, I think it like it's just too clownish. It's too absurd. Like, even this looks like I'm I'm working at a carnival. <laughs> Reset. Go again. I'm going to go ahead and restart. I'm still not happy with my look. All right, go ahead. No, I don't like that. Sorry, Chad. I just don't like it. I want it to be something more uh, subtle. I want it to be more subtle. Like maybe like a blue, blue suit instead of a black one. Like, th like this. And like, maybe I change the tie or something. Uh, it's so boring. I like it more. It makes what I say crazier. Get mad! Okay, we'll do an American tie. So it's fancy. Uh, scarves and necklaces. <laughs> Look at your assistant. Wait, true? I'm basically leaving. Wait, that's so funny. I'm basically just like letting her. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Is it this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it possible to get some sort of like American tie? Uh, there might be, uh, but it might be like specific to like a jacket if that makes sense oh is that right yeah i'm not sure if it's like <laughs> <laughs> nice headphones thanks so much i just love listening to uh you know eminem I can't get, like, you guys just want me to make, like, a total clown? 
I still want him to look like Vivek Ramaswamy. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to make a total clown. I'm sorry. Because it's just too goofy. It's just like so dumb. I'll change the color of a tie. Mm. Oh, shit. I can't. Can I change the color of this tie? This is deep red. Wait, I like it. Wait, I actually like it very wow, deep the red. Earrings. That's powerful. Um <laughs> Like what in if I said th if I put this on you'd say Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because, you know, I get it. Yo, it looks so sick. But no, I'm not going to. <laughs> no. Glasses are so stupid. I shouldn't do that. Uh, I want to maybe. <laughs> this might be a crazy idea. Is it possible to put on a hat during the debate? Like a backwards hat? Like to connect with the youth. <laughs> I mean, I could also wear a red hat. <laughs> I could also wear a red hat. Here it is. <laughs> I want it to be a red backwards hat. <laughs> I'm going to put this on during the debate. What do you think about my new look? You know what? I'm really sweet to you. Whenever I'm talking to the young voter, I'll put on this hat because backward hats are very cool. Yeah, you know, I dig it. You look so fucking cool right now. Thank you so much. And try not to use any profanity. All right, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> no worries. I can't do matching pants because for some fucked up reason, I can't find the exact same shade. It's so fucked. Like, I can't find the exact same shade. So I'm just gonna keep it. Yo, yo, yo. Anything about mine so far? You look like a true patriot. Absolutely representative of my campaign. And you like it? Perfect. Absolutely unbelievable. Thank you, Raisin Bran, and thank you, Mr. Willie Flynn. Appreciate it. Are you able to take the hat off? Yes. Uh, I'm just looking for shoes. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Yama Jesus. Appreciate it. She's going to get more votes? All right, let me check Twatter. <laughs> um What did I miss? Yo, thank you Luminanthi. <laughs> Vic is a pussy bitch cuck. I am a cuck for my wife, but I will not sit idly by as you fuck this country. Gods bless each and every one of us. Truth. <laughs> Boob. Red. 
wrong search bar. <laughs> All right, anything else? Huh? Anything else I should wear? Do you like my earrings, by the way? Uh, let me take a look. Absolutely, I do. It's an AK-47. Awesome. That's exactly it absolutely right. absolutely is. That it, you look absolutely drip the frick out. Let's freaking go. Thank you go. so much. All right, let me just, uh, it's one last thing. Alrighty. Alright, let's go ahead and keep going. You got twatted at? <laughs> yeah, I know I did. I got you a campaign event. They said they would let you speak to their patron. You need to get the word of. No one I have talked to has heard of you. Hey, uh, Lilith. On yeah. Twatter. I, uh, there's this fella who needs some sort of dad, if you know what I mean. So I promise to be his dad if I get elected. He's going on and campaigning on my behalf, and he believes he has an audience. Should I go ahead and twat out to him and see if we can perhaps talk to some more constituents? Absolutely. Go ahead. Did you just do the slay emoji? <laughs> this dance funny. Shit, maybe I shouldn't broadcast where I'm going on Twatter. I'm gonna die. Dad, did you not like strip? Do you not like strippers? My friends there said you can come. I am for good things and against bad things. Dude, the campaigning is brutal. Holy shit. Until we hear back from uh, a potential audience, what would you like to do to start continue campaigning? Let's go to Senora Buns, if you wouldn't mind. Wonderful. Let's go, sir. Wait, should I change my walk? Lilith's outfit is better than mine. What I can't if, get in. Uh, well, that's uh, that's a problem, I would say, and I'm a big problem solver. Also, you, your pants aren't matching. Is that intentional? Yes, it is. <laughs> Alrighty, let me try and get in again. <laughs> Alrighty. Is it? Does it look weird? You think, Lilith? Or? Oh, you look fine. Why would why would you why were you drawn towards my pants not matching though? <laughs> oh well, well it's just like different colors like the that's American right. flag, red, white, and blue. That's so exactly you right. Pants, so you have mixed matching colors. That's right. That's right, mixing and matching. Exactly right. All right, take care now. Uh, can you explain why people are calling me a vanilla unicorn? Are you sure my outfit's okay? It's not a little bit too much, is it? 
your outfit is wonderful, and I think it represents this country very well. Alrighty. I love America. So do I. Ramaswamy. R-A-M-A-S-Q. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Uh-oh, here we go. All right. Oh, van oh, I see. Vanilla Unicorn is a strip club. That's right. Is that where you want to go? Uh, I feel like before my debate, it would be quite a controversy, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Why was that? To go to a strip club. Don't you support the, uh... Oh, absolutely. I support strip, <laughs> I support strip clubs for America. That's exactly right. Exactly right. We should go to different businesses all day and uh, try to preach to them. <laughs> I love this new walk you're doing. What do you think? It's a lot of attitude. Uh, I really like it. <laughs> Alrighty. Perfect. <laughs> Take your time. No hurry whatsoever. I will. I will take my time. Don't you worry. Uh, Hola. Hi, how are ya? Hola. Wonderful, thank you. Oh, is it like a 4th of July parade? It's such it's a something great question. Like that. We're actually going to be running for office, and we have a national debate today at 9 p.m. EST. That's all right. Day. Oh, oh. day one! Day one! That's exactly right. Okay. What, what time? What time you said? Uh, it should be happening relatively soon. Like two hours. In about two hours from now. That's exactly right. That's right. Are you are you both uh, running? Uh, it like... <laughs> it's such a great question. Thanks for asking. I'll be running, You're and Lilith will be my uh, my uh, running mate. Day one. Day one. Campaign manager. That's Campaign right. manager. So how could I win over a nice voter like yourself? Well, uh, I love to listen. Okay, okay. Go you, ahead. You, you got time? Oh, I've got so much time. Okay, well, to be honest, I got lucky. I came here during the 80s, uh -huh. you know, and uh, I went through the whole neutralization uh, process uh, thanks to Reagan and everything. But uh -huh. look, there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of Mexicans, a lot of uh, uh -huh. Latinos coming into this country, and you know, they're coming here illegally uh -huh. because they have to, because they have to, okay? Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Okay, and. And you know, like when you try to do things legally, it takes so many, so many fucking years, and the process is so, so uh, it can be devastating, very expensive for a lot of people. Okay? Uh -huh. So, what can you do to make that process easier to get you know people from Mexico up, up here so they they don't have to uh, break the law? First of all, could you help explain what Mexico is to a folk like me? I have no idea. I've never heard of it. Mexico? You never been to Mexico? What is that? A place in World of Warcraft or Guild Wars? I know, man. It's just the pen. It's the south of the border. You gotta south be kidding me. South of what me. border? Here's All what right, I believe. Here's what I believe. I day believe one. day one I'll pass the legislation to make it legally legal to enter this country after nine or ten years of an intense vetting system. We want to make sure. Nine or, huh? nine or ten years. That's exactly right. Nine or ten years to make sure fine folks That's like right. yourself can apply to be a contracted worker here and work for a, a thing like Gruber. Now, I've done some Gruber driving myself. And I know uh, if I work hard enough one day, I myself can get uh, full employment and get health care, etc. And I want to give that same opportunity to fine folks like you. What do you think about that? I don't know. <laughs> Ten years, nine years, that's... Nine to ten years, that's exactly right. I'm just gonna wait that long, man. You know that. What do you mean by that? Year People... ten. Year People ten. Can People can wait that long, man. Absolutely they can. Because here's the thing. I believe... Things come to people that wait. I read that on the back of a Snapple can once. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that's okay, right. Okay. Get it. Get it. Is that, your ha is that your happy dance? No, this is just how I connect with the young voters. 
<laughs> What's your name, sir? Vivek Ramaswamy. That's R A M A S Q U A M Y. Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy. That's exactly right. Okay, okay. I'll Can I ask you a quick okay. question? Yeah, go ahead. You hit one of my key demographics, ones that I do very well with. Do you mind if I take a quick tic tac? A tic tac? That's exactly right, a quick tic tac. Yeah, sure. Hola, me llamo Ramaswamy. Uh, here we are with my candidates, my voters, my friends here standing around. And let me just say, I love to represent folks like you and me in office. And I just got a full endorsement from this young, fine gentleman. What's your name again? Me llamo Eduardo Gonzalez. Uh, I'm here with me llamo Eduardo, Eduardo Gonzalez, and he wanted to back my campaign fully. And I'm proud to say, I support folks like him as well. Visit ramasquami.co.ru.nz for more information on my okay, policies. Okay, now, now my, my, my turn, my turn. Hey, raza, eh, la malacrona, la, le quiero mandar saludos a toda la raza ahí, bonita toda de México. No sé qué uh, anda diciendo este pendejo, pero la, la mera verdad, no, no le creo nada de lo que anda diciendo. Uh -huh. Creo que anda diciendo puras mentiras. Right. Y, y, y suena como un pendejo, pero ay, no se sé, no sé, agüite raza. Hay saludos a toda la familia González ahí de right. Michoacán. Yeah. Right, well, that, a, that's yeah. him casting some spells on my opponents, and he supports me fully. God, God, your science, bless you. Okay, I think that went well. Wonderful. Well, let me tell you, I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, during the campaign. I will be there, yeah. Looking forward to it. Wonderful. Well, thank okay. you so much. You take care now. Thank you. Right, you take care now. <laughs> I hear a smile. I just love take it. What's good? Anybody need a goober? Not us. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, take care now. I think we really connected to that voter. I think you really did. Oh, great, another mask wearer. Uh. Oh, boy. What a day we live yeah, in. Yeah, we're probably we're worth trash and find anything you want so back you there. Might be a while. Oh. Bro, I'll make more money well, than you well, ever see. Well, well. Why would you put the trash out? Oh. Hello. What do you do? Do you work at the zoo? Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm fucking... Yeah, you know what? Hey guys, you guys can get a jump ahead in line to this guy. Uh, Next! Hey, I want to apologize for punching you the other day, Yeah, by I the know. Way. It's okay. Worst it, things have happened to me yeah. here since then, so... Is that right? Like what? Like, I got robbed oh. while I was in the fucking custody of the police. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The police has been so corrupt. Cornwood is absolutely more like corn fraud. I will not stand idly by as things happen to fine working folks like yourself. Yeah, Corridor That's was definitely right. there watching me get robbed and just didn't do anything. It was fucking, so are you, are you, it was a are you, shame. Are your you arms not aching? Your arms are just fucking up. Well, here's the thing. I will not, uh, I will not be tired, especially That's if so I was given the opportunity to lead. What? That's exactly right. right. The name's of Vivek Ramaswamy. Always campaigning. Always campaigning to represent fine folks like yourself. Day one! That's exactly Day right. Day one! All right, take hey, uh, it. Hey, 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 mask off or fuck off back there, mate. We if you guys got to order, you can order. Uh, I think we're good. Sir, there's a rule that we don't wear masks in this establishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with the mask. mask. You mask the Thank you so you. much for saying oh, yeah, that. Yeah, you I really are that. a true patriot. I believe masks are part of the woke liberal media. Hey. That's all right. But don't you also believe in the freedom to wear a mask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such a great I've question. Thank you so much for asking. I believe freedom. in a freedom to wear a mask only during Halloween. It's not only during Halloween? What that's about, exactly you know, right. if it's cold outside and you just want to have something over your face to keep it warm? Well, then that's totally fine. I completely support that. I am against the cold. <laughs> okay. You're also against the homeless, right? The what now? Are you also against the homeless? I am against homeless. That's correct. Homelessness or homeless? Well, it's so funny you say that. I'm against homelessness. <laughs> Day okay. one. Day one. I've been practicing uh, relating to young voters like yourself. Do you mind if I practice? Uh, young? What the fuck? I'm 50 years old. Well, young to some. You have a beautiful head of hair. Hello. Thanks. Yo, yo, yo. Here we are next to some potential voters. And let me just say, we get our full endorsement. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to record. Might be okay. might hey, everybody. This guy has two middle fingers for the woke mob. And let me just tell you. We will not stand idly by. He was telling me this really sad story about the police and him getting robbed. And I will not stand idly by as fine working folks at Senor Buns get mistreated like this, which is why you should vote Ramaswamy for your president. This message yeah, is brought this guy to you says by. He's going to get rid of the police, guys. Vote for him. That's exactly right, uh, because exactly the police right, created Cornwood. Damn. 
one. Day one. That's right, Lilith. Some other places just Thanks. You betcha. Take care. All right. Now. Take care now. <laughs> and it could be worse than this one. Oh, don't pay that. We are doing so well right now, Lilith. You are Order doing incredible. Uh, move along. I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, I said move along. And why is that? Uh, because, you know, I want to make sure that you respect my authority and you do as I say, not stop as you have done. I'm telling you to move along. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were in America, okay? Not Australia like in World of Warcraft. I believe day one. I'll be Stay able to walk away. wherever I want without being threatened by someone wearing a mask. This is not That's about right. threatening, this is about authority. We and will I have not authority be silent. Your restriction. In America, we <laughs> have the restrictions that we control with authority, and I currently have authority in this your restriction, and I'm asking to move along out of my your restriction. Absolutely. Uh, can I ask you a quick question, sir? What is it? Who pays your salary? Uh, Mr. Speedy pays my salary. It's so funny you say that, because actually it's the taxpayers. Welcome to my new series, Freedom Has Boundaries with Vivek Ramaswamy. I was just minding my own business, supporting a private business, when this officer stopped me completely in my tracks to make sure I abide to his quote-unquote authority. At the end of the day, these officers are supposed to represent the people for the people. And here he is, not letting us. Just simply buy a burger. What do you have to say to yourself? Uh, I'm actually a convicted felon, not Is a that police right? officer. Wait, so you can't even vote? No. Hi, Santa. Would you like some whiskey? Hey, hey, I fucking love some whiskey. Hey, how are you? Here you go. Show. Remember, uh, vote yeah. Ramaswamy at this upcoming election. You take uh, care now. R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. Ramaswamy. Don't forget you owe me three more whiskeys. That's exactly right. I won't let you down. A vote for Ramaswamy is a vote for Ramaswamy. That's exactly right. Just have the fucking whiskey, asshole. Yeah, you bet. Can, can I ask you, do you remember my last name? I was Ramaswamy something. That's exactly right. You take care now. All right, take care now. I think this campaign is going so well. Wouldn't you agree, Lilith? I absolutely agree. Let's now, where should we go next? Maybe uh, the mechanic store? Absolutely, let's do it. Alrighty. Now, I was thinking, maybe at the debate, I'd wear something a little bit more... Um, Tone down. Is do that think? right? Is that right? Maybe I just wear this for now. What? 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 what are, you... <laughs> are you telling you me? Do you want to be taken seriously? After... Are you telling me you're scared of being taken seriously on the political stage? I, Did I lead I'm you astray afraid. by wearing I something relatively afraid, normal? Sir. I would never be afraid. Are you scared of the woke elites? I am. I, okay, I would say I'm a little bit frightened. I will say. Well, Lilith, can you do me a favor? Can you lead Absolutely. me in terms of singing some of your um, favorite American songs? Oh, I have one. Absolutely. Uh, do you mind if I, I mind if I get the lyrics up real quick? So Absolutely. Can, you know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I. You know what? I'm gonna just sing the lyrics. Bye. Go ahead. <clears throat> you ready? Yes. America! Fuck yeah! America! Fuck yeah! That is beautiful. That's all I know. That's the Thinking lyrics that you that. looked up? Those are the lyrics. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's wow, that was song. incredible stuff. I, I'm i telling you, my heart is racing a million miles per hour. I love the part where Hell you said yeah, America brother. and then fuck Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Hell all yeah. Right. All right, I can sing that whenever you want. Absolutely. Fuck yeah. I'm literally crying. That is an absolutely beautiful <laughs> song. I'm I love that he sounds as American. Right can you do the, right, excuse me, Lilith, as a yes. proud patriot wearing that uniform, could you do the Pledge of Allegiance for me? <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know why it's so silent. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just paying my respects, sir. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Ready, ready? I'm ready. You know what? Actually do the national anthem instead. 
Okay, all right, all right, perfect. Go ahead, go ahead. Australian soul. What is that? Now hold on. Hold on. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, now hold on. We've now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Alrighty. I think, Go ahead. I think you've proven it. I, I think you're good. I think you're good. Oh, beauty. How did you, did you see me there? I'm kind of a master of stealth. No, I had no idea where you were. God, God, your science <laughs> bless. <laughs> so, uh, sh shall I continue the song? Or? Uh, no, I think you've proven your point. Australia. No, I think you've proven man. your point. I think you've proven your point. Oh, right. I said right, you've proven your point. Now. Okay. All right, take care now. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag. Alrighty. Of the United States of America. Oh, uh, I do have a song that uh, Dundee and I can sing together, actually. And what's it's that? Very uh, patriotic. Uh, let me hang on. One moment. Wait, isn't he also from uh, that make-believe land? Absolutely. He is from the Sable to Warcraft server. Yeah, I don't think I want to listen to the song. Well, I not? Uh, I'd rather just listen to America music, if you don't mind. Oh, well. Uh, Things that are real. Alrighty then, take care. Hey, mm -hmm. how are ya? Yo. Hi. How's it going? Good to see Pretty ya. good, how are you? Wonderful, thank you. Oh, I see Dundee is here. One moment, let me uh, park the vehicle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Last time I saw him, he tried to kill me. Oh, God. Perfect parking. Thank you so much. All right, take care now. One moment. Again! How are you? Good to see you, Dundee. Yeah. How are ah. you? Still if you used to be part of my gang, what are you wearing? Oh, hi. How are you, Dundee? Um, we're here because I was hoping you and I could uh, <laughs> sing that one song together. You know, really one American one about the gum trees. You wanted to see, you wanted me to sing a song. About yeah. American gum trees. Is that all right? Yes, absolutely. You know, the home among the gum trees. Never that song? Oh, no, let, me, let, me, let me just pull some bullshit out of my fucking asshole <laughs> real quick. All right, thank you so much. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go Give me ahead. Bucks, I'll sing the song. All righty. Give me, give, me, give me 20 bucks, okay? Okay, you want you want, me to sing, you want you want me to sing home among the gum trees? Yes, it's very American. <sighs> You know the song, right? You gonna sing it with me? I'm not making 20 bucks here. You're the one making the money. It's your show, dog. It, it, Go it's ahead. Funny. Oh, it, it is I'll, way I'll, too I'll snowy. Me, me it's way too I, snowy for me to risk my vocal cords right now. Oh, I got a channel, my inner Australian. Hold on. Okay. Your inner Australian. Help, help me sing a song. What is that? Why do you say Australian? Australian? Okay, you mean American? You mean American? You mean <laughs> for American? a second. Hey, uh, Mosley, come, come to Mosley. <laughs> I need a fellow Australian. <laughs> Your, your inner Australian okay, okay. is so inner. It's Hi, Bobby. I'm at a performance. You mind if I call you back? You so oh, of course, my back. Well, my fellow Australian here. We're going to sing a song. Absolutely. I'm ready. <laughs> what are they going to sing? Oh, I'm on the gum trees. Oh, with lots Somebody of plum trees. Australian. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yes, oh, you you like the you know craft server. Yes, that's right. You know it? They want us to um, sing Home Among the Gum know. Trees. If you know it, sing it with them. I've heard it right. before. Yeah, we'll sing together. Among the gum among trees. The gum trees with, lots with lots of plum trees. trees. A sheep, a sheep or two, a Vegemite on toast, like just you and me, a me cup of tea, a yeah, lady, we'll settle knows. down and go out on the porch, oh, and watch oh, the Oh, say, can you see me home by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the 
Twilight, 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 believe it. There's no bright day. As a cloud of Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! M A S Q U A M Y. Now let me tell you. Day, day one, we'll be passing away. landmark legislation to represent all of you oh, fine so folks Jesus in Los Santos. Oh yes, <laughs> that's exactly hey, right. Hey, are you cold? Okay. All right, you Thank take care. Whereas everyone leaving. So you, you, you're giving away free guns at your platform? It's such a great question. Thanks for asking. Absolutely, I am. Gun for you is a gun for me. True. Very true. All right, well, uh, good luck in your, your politicking. Thank you so much. Will you pledge your vote for Ramasquami? I'm going I'm to be real. I don't even know if I can. Oh, sh oh sh yeah. Hey, oh, look, there's sorry. Freedom. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank it's you so much. It's a good so thing much. he has a home among right, the gum trees. He really does. If All only right. I had a gun, I could protect myself. Hey, you know. You know what they say? I oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good. You're very patriotic. Thank you so much, America. Here we go. Yeah. Just like the song, we love America. Exactly right, America. Hey, do you know? Oh, yeah, do you know? Brother. Do you know? Do you know like the most American song ever? Absolutely. Country roads. Absolutely, I do. How does that? How does it go? Uh, and I sure would love to vote for someone who knows that song. Of course, of course I know. Oh my! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, no, I. <laughs> Hey, well that, so I meant well to hit the gritty. Said, I meant to hit the gritty. Oh, you meant, yeah, you meant to hit the gritty, hit the glasses. <laughs> of out. course, sorry. I'm, I'm still waiting on those country roads. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Well. She just. I okay. I can see country road. Was that what you'd like? Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. just pretend yeah. like you don't see her. All right. She's kind of like upstaging me. <laughs> My head fans. Almost heaven, Fire West Virginia, fans, Blue like Ridge glasses. Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger and than the mountains, growing like the breeze. Yeah. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. Oh, all right. What do you think about that? I think the the decision I'll make on uh, election day is I don't I don't have to write your name in, do I? Like, cause I'm gonna be real, ain't no way in hell I'm gonna spell that properly. Go ahead, Lilith. <laughs> day. No, no, what? wrong one, wrong one. Lilith, Lilith. He said he doesn't know how to spell my name, so go ahead. Oh. <laughs> R A M A S Q U A M Y. I'm a squammy. <laughs> oh. Rom rom. Let's say ba. it together. Say that's Ram. Not, that's not Rami. Ra. Ram. I'm not Rami. Rama. Rama. Squami. Squami. I Rama. vote for Rama Squami as a vote for Rama Squawi. Yeah, vote for Rami's army. Nope, Rama Squami. Rama yeah. Squami. Rama Squami. Rama. Two separate companies or how that works. I'm sorry. Love the hands. Squaw. 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 Yes, exactly. Me. Rama squaw me. Oh. No, no, she's just me. Oh, okay. Day, Day one. one. Vote for me and I'll Day. represent you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. We'll see you. See you at the polls. Wonderful. When's elections? Okay. Elections yeah, are going to be soon. Yeah, you're the polls. All right. Well, look. Well, I'm glad you found, found good quality American work. 
Thank you so much. Hell yeah, brother. Well, take well. What you need is a lockpick and one of those liberators from up north. What does that mean? Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rewind. A lockpick? See, I got it. I got it. Well, I mean, I've been some, you know, they're out there somewhere. I haven't I got my hands on one yet, but if you can get your hands on one, yeah, no. there's, uh, oh, no, 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 the, the, the liberators are up north. The monster oh. trucks with the American flags. You're not wrong. Whoa, Mr. President. Oh. Oh, I think we're towing the future mayor now. That's right. I, Vivek Ramasquami, will stop for no one. Vote Ramasquami, everybody. That's right. Vote Ramasquami. Does this count as a parade? Everybody, let's vote Ramasquami in the office. I think this counts as a parade. That's exactly right. Vote Ramasquami. How's it going, candidate Ramasquami? It's going so well. Thanks so much for asking. How about yourself? Not too bad. I'm so glad to hear that. We hope, God, we hope God, you enjoyed the. Bless you. We hope. I hope you enjoyed the float ride. It, it was fun. Well, I hope to float right on into office as well. So it will. Oh be yeah, there you go. That's the slogan right there. Float right into hey, office. Hey, how are ya? Hello. <laughs> Good luck at the polls. Thank you so much. I really Thank appreciate so that. Thank you so much. to the polls. Squaw. Yeah. Oh, let's go to Senior Buns. We have a... Uh, oh, yes, exactly right. Potential boat oh, awaiting. Oh, you're a family man? I am a family That's man. Right. I have a wife and three kids. Uh, Dangren, my helper, tells me that my kids are doing well. Okay, yeah, what's more American than being an absentee parent? You know what? Yeah. What do you mean by absentee? The only thing absentee is absentee ballots, which is an election fraud. Show up to the polls this coming election and vote Ramasquami. When, when is the election? It's going to be soon. Oh, okay. Soon TM. All right, soon TM. I, 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 I speak that language. All right, well, you take care now. All right, let's Riz. get back to work. Yeah. Here I come. <laughs> Oh, wait. I'm ready. <laughs> oh. Zays, thank you so much. Appreciate All it. All you take care now. Uh, hey, Lilith, do you happen to have any bandages? No. <laughs> Let's go get some. Actually, we could go and see some medical professionals real quick. Actually, Wonderful. we'll get bandages first, and then we'll, 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 we'll go to the man first. Absolutely. I would just love that. Oh, we'll get some man just real quick. I'll just run in real quick and get it. Oh my! I'll wait out here in the car. Alrighty, alright. You take care now out here. You I will take care now. You take care all now. Alright, alright. Thank you so much. Alright, take care now. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she goes, oh wow. Alrighty, I'll be really quick. You take care now. Oh alright, take care now. Bye. Sorry? Sorry, Polka, campaign manager. Hey, what's the one? This is the one. How do you walk with this? I tried W. Oh, 
Well, <clears throat> good to see ya. How bad was your hurting? I'm sorry, I couldn't help but to hear ya. I will be a mayor, I will be president. That's Ramasquami. You're not gonna be either, man. And why is that? And why is that? Because people aren't gonna vote for you. Why do you think that is? Because you're kind of an asshole. What do you mean by that? I mean, you're just kind of a prick. How do I prove to you that I'm not an asshole? My helper, Dangren, tells me every day that I've been a very good boy. Oh, you've been a good boy? I think you've been a bad boy, Vivek. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey, okay. Is that, oh, is that right? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Bad boy. What well, let mean? me ask you a question. Who are you going to vote for? Let me guess. I melatonin mean, Max. <laughs> I am going to vote for Max. Did you say Melatonin Max? <laughs> That's yeah, right. Every time he takes speech. Mayor number 3000. Wait, oh, another that? one of those. Is that right? A corrupt mayor. Is that right? A corrupt mayor. Yeah. <laughs> this man was at the January 6th insurrection. Hey, now, hold on. Before uh, you accuse me of that, you, I've been I very know. clear about my mm -hmm. take on January 6th. Right. My what take on January 6th is that And I can't be silent. louder or clearer than that. Right, 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 right. I don't, um, I mean, listen, you'll have my vote if you twat out, uh, uh, already on it. Out. Yeah, twat out that, uh, you condemn the, ja the actions like January 6th. Absolutely, I will right yeah, now. Wait, what? Go so? ahead. Hey, how are ya? Hi, how are ya? I'm check to Dandy, check to water. Oh, check shit. to water. I'm good. How are you? I really did. Fantastic. How are you? You did that. <laughs> That's how you know I'm a true patriot. You said condom. I said good that. that. That's exactly what I said. I'm okay. How are you? Well, no, take oh, I'm doing fantastic. You Thank you, you so much. Thank you for asking. I'm so glad you're asked I'm fine. How are you? What do you mean by that? That's an STD that will go through your Is that right? Yeah, it is. What's an STD? I don't know what that is. I practice safe sex by abstaining completely. But is it by choice or is it like? No? It's such a great point. It's actually completely by. Uh, give me one second. I have to record. Of course. Day one. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Ooh. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. You take care now. Okay. 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 What's wrong, Vivek? I am a She's therapist. Dead. Are you really? I am. I'm in the yellow pages. Well, let me just say. I felt really bad when you said me not having sex is my is not my choice. Ooh. Well, I was asking. How could you say such no, a thing? No, I was asking. You know, I was just curious. I just want to fully understand. You know. Well, thanks for asking. It's a really great question, and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Day one. <laughs> Day one. I'll make what? sure I have a lot of sex. Okay, and and okay. and I swear I will. You swear I have just a lot of sex, all the sex? I will have all the sex, all types of sex. I swear I will. Mm, okay. There's you know, so can I tell sex. you a sad story? Mm-hmm, of course you can. I know you're not my biggest fan, but hopefully you can empathize with this. Sure. The other day, I went to get a physical. <clears throat> and I got a physical by a doctor I found on helpbetter.co.ru.nz. Right. And I walk into the physical wearing the tissue paper. And the doctor says, are you engaged in sexual relations with anybody? And I said, oh. no, but I'm interested. <laughs> he uh, laughed in uh, my face. Uh, who are you interested in sexual relations with? With the doctor, of course. Oh, with the doctor. What was his name? His, <laughs> his name? Yeah. Dr. Sharma. <laughs> Dr. Sharma, all right. That's right. Thank God. You you thought it was going to be Dr. Fauci, but that guy's a total fraud. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by that? Hey, he he hey, did the hey, pandemic. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Hey, hey buddy. political man. You want hey, to know how, how to win? You, you want to know how to win? Yeah, I would love to I'm know how to, how to win. Please tell me. You tell everybody in this city, okay? Uh-huh. You promise a Hellcat SRT to every citizen in this city. Is that a gun? Right. No, it's not a gun. <laughs> what is a Hellcat? Uh, a Hellcat is a car. Oh, absolutely, I will. Excuse me, you Hell seem like yeah, a pretty brother. cool guy. Give me one second here. Let me try to. Don't, please don't. Wait, what is he doing? Here oh, I no. am. 
Here I am with voting constituents, and let me tell you, I day. promise everyone day one to give you to give every single person a Hellcat. <laughs> That's exactly right. There you go. Wait, am I on TikTok? Yes, you're on TikTok live. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I said, for, I said okay, yeah. Let's hey, get to work. I got warrants, bro. Take that shit down, bro. Wait, 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 oh, is that right? What do we do for me? What do we do for me? I love you, Larry. Do we, do we gritty? Hey, Hit the hey, gritty. Absolutely, you're gritty. Hello, I love you. All right, we're gritty. I love Hi, you. How are you, man? Uh, tick, tick tock, tick, tick tock live. Riz, yeah. I've got Riz. W Riz. W Riz. That's exactly right. Oh my God! Why Vote, for <laughs> Vote for Rama Vote for Rama Squammy. That's exactly right. Take Vote it. Vote Rama Squammy. Vote Rama Squammy. Yes, yeah. Go ahead. What are you gonna go do? Ahead. What are you gonna do with Lilith if you, if you don't win? What are you gonna do for her? Well, Lilith and I, if we don't win, it'll be a freak accident. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna storm City Hall. Mobilize the troops and stand mm -hmm. back and stand by. And demand a recount. Because here's the thing, I'm sick of the mail-in ballots. Right. That's all right. I, uh, I don't think we have those here. I think it's all in person. Well, then it'll be a legitimate election unless I lose. Ah, uh, okay. Stop the count! Exactly Stop the right! Exactly right! I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. That's exactly Ooh. right. So will you well both vote Rama Squabby? Well, I'm a grumpy. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Well, God, God, your sides bless you. You got my vote out, uh, Ramis. Ramis Kwame. That's R A M A S Q U A M Y. S Q U A M Y. Okay, all right. A vote for Ramis Kwame is a vote for Ramis Kwawi. Wait, what? Yeah, a vote for Ramis Kwame. Uh, yeah. Are you both <laughs> running for mayor? Oh, that's just like your um your campaign I'm manager. Campaign manager. Campaign that's right. manager. Oh, that's right. Larry, he's he's destroying her mental health. She is. Do you remember Lil? Did you ever know her before the collapse? This is this is not. The Wait, same I'm moment. so sorry. Thank you so much for bringing up mental health. If you use Thank my you coupon so code asking. at helpbetter.com, day one, day one we will day get three <laughs> months, fifteen percent off. We have a local counselor that's willing to talk to you at any time. Helpbetter.com.co.ru. <laughs> Anxiety is rampant around the holiday times. Vote helpbetter.com. Day one. Day one. That's exactly Day right. Day one. Day one. What the fuck? What that's the hell right. Does that I kind of, I kind of fuck with that. Day one. Hey, you know what? Day one. Hang loose. I fuck with that Day as well. Day one. Scream it as loud as you can, Ramaswamy. I, mean, I want you to scream. Day, Day one. How do you like that? That's pretty. Day one. Oh my God. Let's Day go. One. Day one. Day one. Day one. So will you both vote Ramasquami? I'm going to take these Delta A gummies and forget this ever happened, okay? Yeah, have a good one. All right, you, All take, right, care you take care now. All right, day one, guys. So thank you for taking the time to talk to me. My oh, pleasure. No, thank you, you sir. Mm -hmm. Lilith, I, mm, we're going to have to talk about this sometime. All righty, we can talk later after the election. Mm, absolutely, after the election. I'll be here. All righty. All right. All righty. You, you take care safe. now. Mm -hmm. Goodbye right. now. All right. All right. Take care now. Take care. All right. You take care now. You take care now. You take care. You take care now. No, you take care now. 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 All right. You take care now. You take care. You take care now. You take care. You take care now. You take care. Man, you take care now. All right. You take care now. You take care you now. Take care now. You take care now. All right, I'll take care now. All right, yeah, you take care now. I'll take care now too. All righty, you take care now. All righty. <laughs> let's make haste to uh, senior buns. You, uh, good luck to you there. When's hey, how are ya? Total patriot. Um... All righty. <laughs> that walk. Vote Max. I think that went really well. Oh, hold on. Take your time. Hi, how are you? Oh, absolutely. That can absolutely be arranged because you should vote for the Beck Ramaswamy. That's R A M A S Q U 
A-M-Y. Okay, can you how to spell it? Say it back to me. Ramasquami, go ahead. No, 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 that's A, no, 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 it's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. Alrighty, uh, where are ya? Courthouse, City Hall. City Hall, alrighty, I'll see you soon. Alrighty, you take care now. Alrighty, bye-bye, take care. Alrighty, bye-bye. Alright, take care now. Alrighty, alrighty, take care now. Alrighty, we have a, a meeting with uh, Rami, I believe that was. I was not listening to what he was saying, I was only speaking. Awesome, so I'd love to. Let's go to Senior Buttons real quick. I and would just we'll love that. that guy with us. I would just love that. Alrighty, I just stop speeding. We don't want to be pulled over before the debate. <laughs> I'm so like. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> Alrighty, who is this person? Take care now. All right. Who are we meeting here? Uh, well, we're meeting someone who I'm going to utilize for my campaign. Someone to help spread the message of Ramasquami. All righty. We have a meeting at City Hall immediately afterwards. I forget which one's my... Which one's my... Fucking... Son. Oh my god, if it isn't hey, my oh, lawyer, yeah. Shaban! How are you, Viva? I am doing oh, so doing well. Me? I'm about to go to a uh, debate at 9 p.m. Oh, few I'll hours. be there. Listen, I have some pre-written heckles for the other candidates. Is that right? Oh, wonderful. Yeah. One of them is that uh, he looks like a blueprint for making an idiot. Oh, that's, oh wow. Shaban, that's, that's, uh, that's a little too far. I think oh, really? we want to run a fair and equal campaign, but uh you think that's too mean if I use my Nah, I'm just nipples? joking around. Okay. Bring it on. <laughs> Let's turn up the heat, if you know what I mean. You got me, you got me. Exactly good. Right. Oh, you fucker. Oh, you're so patriotic. Look at you. Oh, Thank you so you much. Are. I really oh am, aren't I? Oh, wow. Should I wear patriotic clothes <laughs> for the campaign wow. as your lawyer? Absolutely you should, because I love America, and I'm so excited if when I win, you can be my chief legal counsel. That's I right. look forward to it. Perfect. Sounds great. I better get dressed then. Hey, should I bring you food or something? Uh, you will be? You're, ch you're changing from that? You look great. You think I should keep wearing this? <laughs> oh, you keep wearing that. Oh my god, are you kidding me? First you of all, you have the legs the, uh, to pull it off. You think the take us uh, seriously? How could they yep. not with your Americana? You're so right. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alrighty, I but What are you, you saying? Believe in yourself. Don't believe, just, I think, believe I think in I'm, yourself. I think I'm just hearing... Hearing whispers from the woke mob, I'm so sorry. Don't let the woke mob bring you down in your Americana. <laughs> hey, hey. Dan, oh, I tried yeah. to get her vote earlier. Sorry, what was that? I I tried to get her vote earlier. And who are you? <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Sir, Whoa! Sir. Whoa! Wow! Oh my God! Protect! Protect the mayor! How can you do protect this? Me Sir, dare I warn you, I This is my client, sir. sir. This is my client. I am his attorney. You need to watch yourself. My, my fing fingers. I just... I, I'm sorry, let me try to connect with this voter. Let me try to connect with this voter here. I... You said you'd be What's my dad. What's up? How's it going? Good to see ya. <laughs> you, you, you said you'd be my dad. That's exactly right. I remember. I'm just uh, really trying to get into my dad-like character just by pretending like I forgot That's you. That's right. <laughs> Remember how you told me your dad abandoned you? Yeah, that, that's right. You're not gonna abandon me too, right? I, I heard you adopt kids and then leave them. No, absolutely not. I'm just messing around. I won't abandon you. As long as we win the candidacy and you go campaigning. Okay. That's yeah, right. I, I, I have been. I got five people. Okay, and how many did I say? Fifty. Talk to me then. 
All right, you take care now. Oh, yeah. Hello, Mr. President. How are you? Hey, wait a second. Stay away from me. Uh, where the fuck am I going to get some whiskey? You want a SIM card? What's wrong with him? Day one! Ladies and gentlemen. Right, right. All right, let's head to this meeting then, shall we? Absolutely. All righty. All righty, you take care now. You take care now. Come back keep, from a squammy. Keep, keep getting those votes. R A M A S Q U Q A M. Oh my god, there's cornwood. More like corn fraud. Remember, 50 votes! Brahma Squammy, that's right. It's just us, Lilith. I think we know how to spell our name. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, do you remember how you gave me those bandages? Yep. That punch was uh, pretty damaging. Yes, I'm on the, the brink myself. Let's go get some medical treatment. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> right, Holy, shit. Holy shit! Holy shit! Rami, how's it going? We'll be there shortly. We've been assaulted. We've we've been assaulted by the woke mob a few times. We're just getting some medical treatment. We're around the corner. We'll be one minute away. Alrighty. Alrighty, we'll do. Okay, see you soon now. Alrighty, you take care now, okay? Alright, take care now. Alrighty, take care. Okay, they're getting impatient, so let's hurry. Here I come. <laughs> Can we be honest? You're trying to check in. I've turned. Oh. Thank you. This is no Carter. How, how are you? Uh, we've been assaulted multiple times by the woke mob. We could use some uh, medical okay. attention. Yeah, I got to find y'all a doctor. Check in. Okay. I got to wait. Go ahead. Yeah, you know okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you so much. Let's take a seat. <laughs> How do I uncrouch? <laughs> Just practicing my uh, my maneuvers I learned at Yale Law Club. Oh, I see that. You're doing fantastic. You're like a ninja. Thank you so much. I... No running! <gasps> I, di I didn't run. You ran here. I I'm allowed to run up there. There's no running in the hospital. You ran like you ran like a couple feet. Anyways, hi, uh, welcome to Los Angeles Medical Center. How can I help you? Uh, I am a bit boo booed up, and I would like to see a uh, doctor. Okay, perfect. Have you filled out the required medical forms? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna oh, ask, wow. ask you a couple questions for our medical forms here. Okay, what's your name? Oh, Zakit wow. Skangerton. Oh my god. Okay, what's your date of birth? Yes. Fantastic. Thank you so much for that answer. What's your social security, social security number? <laughs> that, sir, that is a breed of dog. I need assistance. I need somebody to help. All the doctors are... Uh, okay, perfect. There is a line right now. Just go uh -oh. ahead and take a, We'll just get some bandages then. Is there a nearby ATM? Do one. Yeah. I need EMS. All right. Where, where, where's the nearby ATM? Sir, if you could just Trigger. kindly take a... EMS. Now. Just take a part oh, of mine. Oh, well, so it is. All right, thank, thank you, you so much. All right, you take care now. You take hey, care you now. Listening anymore. All right, you take care the, now. They don't get the process here. You know, we got so much paperwork to fill out. How do I get up? Do you have any cash on you, Perfect. sir? Absolutely, I do. Uh, probably like I have $21. Okay, you can buy some bandages over here at this gentleman. 
Uh, I'm sorry, my, I think I hurt my back. There we go. Feel much better. Oh, there you go. Correct your posture. All righty. Thank you so much. Now, this gentleman here is named um, Nolan. Are you okay? He sells bandages. Oh, you know. no. Yeah. Awesome. Ahead. How many do you think we should buy? How many, how many I bought six, up? personally. Uh, well, I'll oh, buy. Seven. I'll buy. Oh, I don't have enough. I didn't even move a single bone in my body. For... I'll buy yeah, four. I, need help. I don't have enough. There'll be a bit of, yeah, there'll be a bit of tax. Go the back. Okay, yes, I got, I got three. Alrighty. Oh, we'll come back later for more. I can't tell if he was, if he was concussed or just, you know. Okay, let's be quick because I'm quite scared of Rami. I won't let you down. Alrighty, thank you so much. Please don't. It's okay if I check my emails really, really quick. I'll be go really for quick. It. Go for it. Absolutely go for it. Okay, okay, I'll see you soon. Alrighty, you take care now. Alrighty, bye bye. I'm back! I'm ready for some Wonderful. action. Wonderful, they are waiting for us in the uh, archive section. Wonderful. Alright, let's make haste. I won't let you down. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? I am feeling so good. Thanks for asking. Wonderful. Oh, oh wow. How are you too? Hey, Hi, how's how it going? Good to see you. I'm doing good. Welcome. Thank you so much. We're here for a meeting with uh, Mr. Rami. I believe he's in the archive room. Is that upstairs? Yeah, that should be the fourth floor, you too. <laughs> Four, One, four. No, okay, thank no, you so no much. No gritting in the courtroom. I'm sorry, I thought this was America. It is America. <laughs> have some respect for the institution. Oh, t trust me, I have respect for this institution. Thank you, Mr. Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy, take care now. Swami, my apologies. Take care no now. worries, you take care you, now. You take care as well. Fourth floor, apparently. All right. Uh, I think it's this way. Thanks, Killer Moose. Thanks, Gia. Thanks, Firequacks. Whipped off. People kiss. Thanks for the sub. No gritty in the lobby. Uh. How do we go up more? It's such a great question. Thanks for asking. Uh. Archive. I don't think the elevator's working. Drasmir, thank you. Uh, oh, uh, not this way. Uh oh. Chat. Uh oh. Oh, here's the stairs. I found the way. It's up these stairs. Wonderful news. Thank you so much. Alrighty, you take care now. You take care now. We need attention. Hi. Chat! Let me find here. Let me see. Archive. Straight ahead. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Owly. First uh, time chatter. 
I'm eating beef jerky. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is that oh my god. pump a squatty? It's such a great question. That's Thanks for right. asking. Oh it's Vivek Ramaswamy. R A M A S Q U A M Y. Hey, Vivek Whiskey Shoddy, my man. Ramaswamy. You are my man. Get your ass to the polls. <laughs> how are you? Who am I speaking to? Hey, how Vincent are you? Dumpy. Okay. All right. Listen, Vivek, why don't you take a seat here? I'm with Bobby Brown Enterprises, LLC, S Corp Incorporated, uh, dot gov. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we are interested in, um, get, we want to hear your story. Yes, you know what I mean? Yeah. We it's just want to hear question. your story. Thank you so much for asking. We, we want to know what do you bring to the table? Now, why don't you come take a seat, Vivek? Oh, I would I'm just love seat. to. I'll take a seat right over here. Uh, all right, Vivek. Vivek. Over here, Viv in this one, Vivek, in this one. Oh, oh you want me Vivek, to be in this one? Don't, don't be yeah, silly. yeah. Don't be silly. Dude, you're such a silly fucking oh, goose. Come on. He's just got your butt. Okay. Um, you okay, Vivek? Uh, Hold on. You a little bit scared for your life right now? Or what's it? Right? I am absolutely relaxed. Thanks so much for asking. Shit, type shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, type shit. That's exactly right. Okay, Vivek. <laughs> no, well, I got a question. What are you Go doing? ahead. What, what's all? What is all? What this? is going on? What are you? What are you is, doing I'm here? just showing that I'm for peace and love. Take the seat. Okay, I'm sorry. Take, I just, take your seat. It's just take like your seat. you're. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. No, you're right. Just think about sit chair. Come on. Sit chair. Okay. Now, now, Vivek, I ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> All righty. Go ahead. Vivek, is this, I'm sorry, am I speaking a different fucking language? Once no, you're, you're right, you're sorry. right, you're <laughs> right. I thought, I, I thought you were trying to What do I do? Right Vivek, what is this? Bobby Brown Enterprises LLC Incorporated S tier dot gov dot like EU this, uh... is not going to fall for this. Oh, man. Uh... Wait face away the from corporate. the chair, of course. Wait till I tell corporate about a fucking... Vivek, where the fuck oh. are you sitting? <laughs> no, no, hold on now. He has hold on. Okay. Hold okay. on, hold, hold on. on. Right, Vivek. He has Wait till I tell corporate call. about a fucking... Uh, there we go. There we go. Sit down on the chair. Okay. Well, Sorry, you were yeah. saying... Where are you okay. sitting, Vivek? Vivek, is it that hard to just do this? Listen, do I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the mood, but I do have... Uh, I was uh, no, stung we'll by a bee. No, takes a strong stand, if you know what I mean. Is that hard oh, to do Vivek, is that hard? Now, well, hold is on. I, my right ass cheek, I sat on a bee the other day, so it's a little sensitive. Mm. All right. Well, listen here. Okay. okay. Uh, Vivek, take a dumpy. Here's what we're going to do. First, we're going right. to start off this interview here. Um, ah. Second here. One second. Give me, I just got to talk to my bookcases. Go ahead. Go ahead. Vivek, whiskey shoddy, my guy. You seem like a cool fella, let me tell you. Yeah, we're very cool. We're very uh, associated and connected with the peeps. You know? Is that right? That's code name for the youngins out there, you know. That well, let me tell you, I love connecting with the youngins. I do have a virus TikTok that I post. Uh, my you have a virus TikTok. <laughs> That's exactly right. It goes virus COVID nineteen. Okay, okay. Oh hell yeah. No, well, actually, since we're already on the topic, Vivek, go ahead. Why, why, why don't you uh, tell us here? How do you feel about uh, COVID nineteen? It's such a great question. Thanks so much for asking. Mm. Well, a long time ago, there was a pandemic. Day, day one. one! I'm your day one candidate. There was a pandemic, uh -huh. but I wanted to be a doer, not just a sayer. Mm. So I'm offering Ramasquami supplements at my website, produced in Shenzhou. And I, they're non-FDA approved, but they do help with COVID, allegedly. That's what my stance is against the coronavirus. Take it away. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 Now, now I understand we kind of started this interview off a little bit. Uh, how do I say it? Unorthodoxly. Um, unethically. I'm sorry. Let's, right. let's, let's start from the start. Let's go from the beginning. Your, your upbringing. Born and raised. Now, were you, where, where did you grow up? Well, it's so funny you ask me that because I am just like the regular person. I grew up on the East Coast of America, all right? And uh, <laughs> my daddy, my daddy is a very successful businessman. So whenever I'd want mm. something, I'd call up my daddy and ask him. So I know how to That's work. Right. I also grew up with my helper. Mm. His name was Dangren. He would take care of me when I'm in school, you know, do my homework, do my assessments, and... Uh, 
I wanted to connect with the young uh, Southside folks here in uh, Los Santos. So I sent Dangren to speak to the locals, and he told me some really, really harsh stories, which fueled my campaign. That's why I'm running for mayor, Vivek Ramaswamy. R A M A S Q U A M Y. Day one. That's exactly right. Now, 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 your background, you're, you're Indian, that, that's right? <laughs> well, it depends on who I'm talking to. <laughs> bloody, you bloody bastard, I'm talking to you, bloody. Oh, you're Indian too? <laughs> yes, bloody. Hiya, kya baat hai, yaar. Uh, wait, I think I recognize you from the WhatsApp groups. Oh my God. Is that now, right? Now, 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 <laughs> let me, let me ask you a question here, now, to all the um, foreigners. And how, how do oh, you- Oh, don't, can, uh, be careful with yes, that word. Of course, I don't of course, say the yes. F word, I don't say the F word, please. Please, no, please, please Don't say no the F word. word. Don't say the F word. What is what is it, the F you word? You said foreigners. Why are you whispering? I'm just. It's just like the four. That that just. It just really scares me here. Okay. Please, like, please, it's like have you, you It's have like the one who must not be named. You know. You might Vivek, summon a foreigner. Please. Here. You have to be uh, connected with the youngins nowadays. Foreign is a very very well used term or terminology around the youngins. Of course. Uh, you that know, is foreign interesting. Foreign clothes. Foreign cars. Foreign biddies. You know what I mean? What foreign happened to everything. American made? Vivek, Vivek, over here at Bobby Just Brown. Just like my outfit, even though it's made in China in the tag. Uh, but... Over here at Bobby <laughs> Brown Enterprises, uh -huh. S Corp, LLC, INC, .gov, .edu. Uh -huh. We pride ourselves on, you know, having a melting pot here in Los Santos. Uh -huh. Now, we understand American made is, is priority, but uh, we are over here. We also welcome all. And okay, well, let me just tell you something. I really respect that. In fact, I did day have a day one. one. I had a tea party once where I invited many sort of foreigners as well. People from Missouri, people from Florida, <laughs> people from Texas, people uh, from Los Santos, etc. Uh, uh, a oh, true so melting to, pot. So you want to keep it domestic. That's what you're saying. Well, that's right. And also, I do believe in Australia as an expansion pack in World of Warcraft as a funny fantasy world. That's okay. right. That's where I'm from. Okay, all right, all right. I see what you're doing here. Uh -huh. I feel like we're we're getting comfortable here now. All right, uh, now Vivek, uh, let me ask you a question. Why should I vote for you and not Maximilian Thoroughbred? It's such a great That's question. It's a great question. Thank Thanks you so for much asking. for asking. The reason you day should vote one. day one, I stand to represent the fine folks of Los Santos like yourself because Maximilian Thoroughbred has been a has been part of a lot of crime. He's been absolutely making shady deals. He's corrupt. Let's be honest. And I understand the appeal if you yourself want to do some shady business with Maximilian. Mm -hmm. I want to oh, offer I something different. Say, I will say, we've had our fair share of goody two-shoe mares and corrupt mares. I think it's time for something a little bit different. What do you well, say? Well, well, well. Day one. Well, you know, now nah, my argument to that is it's been five years and we've everybody's abandoned Los Santos. We're back here now. And yeah. there hasn't been a corrupt the lawyers or anything like that. Mm, so you guys, yeah. uh, um, how do I say this? Profiling Mr. Thoroughbred <laughs> as a criminal <laughs> is very- It's a little bit- uh, Is there something funny? To a far extent. No, it's just such a well, crazy accusation. Say, uh, because uh, <laughs> Max is my grandfather. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, like for sure, for sure. Now, now, and now, I Go understand ahead. you're more of like a, a local type of guy. You know, you're not really global here in Los Santos. Have you, you, have you been to the uh, Sandy Shores, Polito, the sewers? Have you talked to all types of communities here? Or are you really just looking for the, the life invader folks, the tech folks? It's so funny you say that. And this is going to be a very sad story. So get ready. I sent my servant, Dangren, down to the sewers. And he, Sorry? My servant, Dangren, from my childhood, he helps me do my you homework. You have a servant? Yeah, that's right. Doesn't everybody? Okay, okay, for sure. Yeah, no, and like he, dope. Yeah, he's okay. great. Uh, he helps me with my okay. homework. He helps uh, do you know odds and ends. I send him to the sewers, and he tells me, "By golly, if you don't mind me saying, the sewers are a real nasty place." And I oh, hope yeah. to clean it up, open up a perhaps a local coffee shop, you know, sp you know, open up some uh, stores that sell beanies, and really make sure we bring some goodness to the sewers. You want to clean this, up the sewer? Is this servant of yours a foreigner? I'm sorry, a what? Foreigner. Dangren? A foreigner. Yeah, he's but foreigner. he's a good one. He's a good one. <laughs> Whoa. 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 What do you a mean by that? One. Yeah, he's a good one. Day, Day one. He's a good one. Oh, no. Day one. Hold on. Hold on. Let's run that back. Okay, go okay, ahead. One. Go wait, ahead. Wait, so, 
Describe, you describe me what does that mean? It's yeah. such a great question. Thanks so much. Bobby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud of myself on my journalism. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, here's the thing. Like I said, I believe a lot of people come and take our jobs. And that's why if instead we work with each other. A lot of instead, people. Uh, when uh, you say a lot of people, who are you specifically? What do you mean good people, uh, servants, a good one, foreigner? <laughs> what, 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 why don't you elaborate here, uh, Vincent? When you say a Vivek lot of people, Ramaswamy. and then you uh, say weird. Uh, yes, you... yes, Vincent R Raman. Vivek, yeah, that's yeah. right. It's a tricky one. <laughs> I'm just of an course. Indian kid with a crazy last that's name. A M A S Q U A M Y. All right, whiskey shotty. Go on, go on. We're listening. We're listening. What was the question again? I'm so sorry. Can you please elaborate on a good one? Uh, one of the good yeah. ones. Uh, you know how yeah. they are. Absolutely. Foreigners. Day, you know yeah. Day one. Yeah. It's such a great question. Here's what I will say regarding that question. Would you agree there's good and bad people? Yeah. That's exactly right. Now, exactly I didn't mean right. to point to a foreigner specifically. Because I think there are good and bad people all over. All around us. So okay. I want to say... My That's representation right. isn't regarding where people are from, but rather if they're a good guy or bad guy. Mm, okay. There you go. Oh, now, news broke out that uh, Cletus Cornwood, yeah. former sheriff of the BCSO, now officer of the LSPD, is now actually in the running for mayor. Rumor has it he's in there looking for a uh, mayor discount at Senior Buns. How do you feel about that, Vincent Pump and Dumpy? It's so funny you say that, Ramaswamy. So here's what I would hear. Corn Fraud, what he's been doing is he's been absolutely taking a dump on his badge. He's been trying to campaign That's in such right. unethical ways. He's promising things that he cannot uh, fulfill. And I also heard from a local that he was bribing them with favors. And is oh. that the sort of representation? And as Lilith said, totally mm. corrupt. I want to bring something different. Absolutely. Gorn Fraud, Fraud is going to be just another corrupt mayor. And it's between us four in this room. We can bring change to Los Santos. So will you turn your key while I turn mine? The ball's me, in your court. Don't you pull that presidential bullshit on me here. And let me tell you, together we can make a change. I just thought of a slogan. Yes, we can. Damn. No, well, okay. Day one. Yes, we can. What now, do you think now, about that? Now, now, let me ask you a question. How do you plan on stopping the foreigners that are entering Los Santos? It's such a great question. Thanks so much for asking. Now, I know a lot of people, you know, align. They say, you know, build uh, build barriers, etc. Mm -hmm. I believe in building a dome because the real threat are the aliens from Mars and out of the planet. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. day one, I'm going to build an entire dome around Los Santos and declare uh. a war on asteroids. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. now, 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 some would say this is rather inhumane uh how do you respond to that well let me just tell you i declare a war on those aliens from mars so i am in fact pro humane <laughs> okay 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 yeah. i am right. pro humane being. Uh, okay, I did. Now, 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 uh, let's go back to the beginning absolutely start, the come up of mr you can Vincent. say day, day one. one, the day one of me. Go ahead. Uh, exactly, exactly, exactly. Now, some would say um, Indian. Um, well, it depends now, on who I talk to, of course. Wouldn't that mean you are, in fact, a... It's such a great question. Thanks for asking. I believe we should protect these American values. Except sometimes, mm. you know, I have to admit, when my aunties or uncles come home, I have to have prepare them Lipton chai. Besides that, I believe Lipton in chai. Gun. There's no mango lassi. There's no, we no get mango. Like, okay, yes, we do get mango lassi. We get some jalebi. jalebi there's some, no biryani. We get biryani. biryani. We get all these things, but that's Ooh, when no one's looking. Okay, bloody, bloody. Ooh. At the end all of the right. day, at the end of the day, us Indians may look different, but at, at the same time, the WhatsApp groups are filled with minion memes that are anti-vax, and that's something that we can all relate to. That's mm. right. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Okay, okay. So you grew up Indian. Now uh -huh. I'm saying I'm seeing Ohio here. Is uh -huh. that right? That's exactly right. Okay. Now, now, why are you talking like that? 
uh, just to relate to the uh, relate to the American uh, uh, voice, if you know what I mean. Okay, okay. that's all right. Okay, now listen here, Vivek Bai. All right, now uh -huh. he, growing up Indian Ohio, what was that like here growing up in Los Santos or Ohio or wherever? It's so funny you say that because every day I was reminded that I'm different, and um, this might be a little emotional. Okay, yeah, I no, remember. For sure. Let me get the tissues. Sorry. Just, I remember I was going to, to a local Target in Ohio doing a self-checkout machine, and there was a security camera up above, and I saw that my hairline was receding. Now, I know I might be balding, but I'm just like the fine folks around me. It's a tragedy that I must get Oh, my to. God. Oh, my God. Now, how do you oh feel about the, uh, the lockdown on the basmati rice here in the exports <laughs> and imports in Los Santos? Mm. Absolutely nonsense. I am so pro, pro basmati. Let me tell you, day growing up, day one, day one, you know, me and my mama would make some, uh, you know, dal chavel, and we would have basmati rice, and I want to make sure I have good relations with the local Indian store. I want to make sure they produce enough basmati rice to feed us all. Mm. Mm. That's exactly right. Mm. Peace and love. That's okay, right. okay, now, now, for the for, for all your for the Gen Zers, you know you have a young. There's gonna be a young voting uh, uh, population here in the city. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now I understand you are in fact Indian. That's okay? right. But the question needs to be asked. Now I know this is Pakistani. Okay, but Miss <laughs> Marvel. Is it a good or a bad show? Go ahead. It's such it a great question. Thanks so much for asking. Uh -huh, for sure, the problem for sure. isn't the ethnicity. <laughs> the problem is I believe in supporting women after marriage. So I believe we should have Absolutely. more married women. What is marriage? Uh, yeah, no, for Excuse sure. Excuse me? Uh, glad answer. Glad, good, great, great. I believe, I believe we should have more representation of women uh -huh. being married in the media. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Because here's totally the thing. Not. I remember getting married to my wife six years ago, and I have yes. the pleasure of waiting. Waiting to watch her have sex with That's her boyfriend. Right. That's my true God-given American That's right. That's how much he respects her. Mm, mm. That's what I'm talking. Hey, hey, me and you, we alike. We That's alike. Oh, is that right? Do you have a Sony okay. A50 wide-angle lens as well, or just by, or just watching with your own eyes? No, for sure, for sure. 4K. Oh, uh, 4K. Now, this one's now, serious. Now, here's my thing. Here's my thing. You know, cucks, they matter. They really right. do. Now there they is a really cuck, there is a cuck community in the city. You know, all the guys, all the doctors down at the fucking hospital. Right. People like mm -hmm. some of the. Uh, you know, th th here's the thing. You know, uh -huh. now, um, people like like the cucks. You know, uh -huh. uh, yeah. how do you, you? I understand you resonate with them, but what can you do for them? It's okay. so what funny you say, say that. What he's trying to say is, what is like a message that you can give your fellow cucks or the people that be hating on the cucks to the cuck culture? You yeah, know? the cuck community. You were. That's, a great, That's a great question. That's a great question. Thank you for asking. Community. Well, here's day the thing. One. Day one, we want to be sure on who we're going to market to. The problem with focusing on the cucks is on the day of voting, they typically just stand to the side and watch other people vote for them. Which is why we did not focus on the cuck community. But I myself am a cuck. Thank you so much. Much. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. No, for sure. That's good. That's what we like to hear right. over here. Uh, Bobby Brown Enterprises S Corp I love I N C L L C dot edu dot gov dot org. Uh, now, here's my. Uh, well, you know, we're closing the interview here now, Vivek. Maximilian Thurbrit. You know, some mm. would say former mm. terrorist, mm -hmm. former uh, right. criminal. Really, right. seven years have gone by, and this man really, he has a voice for the streets, a voice for oh, the God. people, and, and a voice for the police. Now, why should I vote for you and not him? It's so funny you say that, because let me tell you, Melatonin Max, all he spews is the same corrupt nonsense. Let me guess. The way he gets votes is he pays for people's stuff. He buys people this. He makes promises he can't keep. I am something new. I want to be the tiptoe balance beam president or mayor where I go between corruption and goodness. Mm. Just whatever is good for Los Santos because Sleepy Max, he's just going to be all corrupt, not willing to work, and not willing to listen. <laughs> I am someone new. Thank you so much. Mm. Okay. That's all um, right. Uh, Vivek, I got a question for you. Now, I think over here at Bobby Brown Enterprises, S Corp, LLC, INC, uh, .gov, .org, .edu. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we uh, dot, dot dot gg as well. Um, we wanna we wanna help you out. Okay, 
Let's um, go. <laughs> we like the movement you Let's okay, fucking you gotta, go. Day uh, one. Day one. <laughs> Okay, guys. Okay, go yeah. Ahead. No, for sure. Okay. Like day one. Yeah, I get it. The okay, floor is anyway. yours. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Go okay, ahead. Yeah. Right. Okay. We love to listen. Go ahead. Okay. We love to listen and watch. Please, guys, fucking please, talk. Please, guys. All righty. Take care now. <laughs> All right. Now, now, um, as I was saying, what is your? I'm sure you got analytics people in your team. Um, uh, now, how many people do you? Uh, does your reach? What what is your reach? It's so you know, funny you say the that. The youngins, what, what percentages and voter base and all that talk. Yeah. Well, it's such a great question. So, as you know, I'm very very active on the socials, specifically TikTok. I've had some viral TikToks with uh, you know, some very notable influencers. My CCV is about 450 comments on each TikTok if you can believe that. That's right. That's right. It goes pretty virus. It goes COVID-19. So, I would say specifically with the with the generation Z, I target them completely with some fun taglines like let's get to work. W Riz. And now one of the TikTok comments, you know, from a Gen Zer said I have a W hairline. Now, I thought that meant win, but I guess they were referring to the shape of it. Unfortunately, that's, right. that's the sort of engagement I get. Thank you yes. so much. Okay. Now, yes, now I ha what if I told you that I have the ability to triple your views, triple the TCV, yeah. triple Tri the engagement, the interaction, the reach? Is that right? Yes. Is now, right? over here at Bobby Brown Enterprises Incorporated, LLC, S Corp, .gov, .net, .gg, .edu, .org, uh -huh. we have connections. Okay. Okay. Have you ever heard of... <sighs> You're gonna love this one. I'm just gonna okay. love it. I'm sure. Okay. Have you ever heard of um, connect that telemarketing? Uh, yes, I have. Absolutely, I have. Oh yeah. Why don't you tell us about it? Go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. What was it again? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you heard. Sorry. All about what was it? it? I just I I learned from this I book. Thought you heard all about it. Well, it's so funny you say that. I, I learned from this Yay! book. Day one. I learned from a book shy, how to connect. How to connect with businesses and okay, influence people. I see what's going on here. Vivek okay, Ross when you're Lobby, fucking up behind uh -huh. you, she starts yelling, day one. Day one! That, oh, sorry. That day one! Sorry, go ahead. Takes everybody oh. away off of you, so and then it changes the subject of what the conversation. What are you talking about? Day, day one! Here's what I'll say. Screaming day one. It's like happening right now. Day okay, fine. Day okay, fine, fine, fine. Let me listen. Let me talk it's to you. It's happening right listen, now. Listen, listen. Exactly. Lilith is an important role to my campaign, and I will not have no backbone. I will stick up for her because at the end of the day, she was my day one. Day one. And I'm not going to I'm not going to stand idly by as we disrespect mm. her. Bobby, you seen and this? He also respects Bobby, you see this from... So she's just bailing you out. That's what she does. Mm, I don't she's know about this. Do we help him out, Bobby? I don't know. I mean, Vivek, uh... should we help you? I would love oh, it no. and I think it would be mutually be mutually beneficial for the both of us. I think it really would be. That's Absolutely. How would it be mutually beneficial over here? Bobby Brown Incorporated, LCS Corp, .inc .gov, .org, .gg, .edu. Well, let me just tell you. Dot com. It's a great, it's a great question. Essentially, what can happen? Dot net. Dot, okay. Dot Run. ru, I'm sure. At the end of the day, if I get elected. Dot edu. End of the day, day one. At the end of the day one, I, when I get elected, I want to make sure I will. Dot TV. Sorry, go ahead. It's such a great point. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. okay. At the end of the day. Yeah, great point. End of the day, you won. At, the end, of, at the end of the day, I want to say. I -O. <laughs> Sorry, we have a lot of handles. That's, I totally Sorry. understand it. You know, I just got to make sure. Day won. Won. <laughs> when I become president or mayor or whatever, I want to make mm -hmm. sure I represent you fine folks in cabinet. How would you like infinite power? You walk into a car dealership, point to a car you want. You go into a you go into a, a live stream and you put out the jewelry you want, etc. I want to give you that infinite power. Do you understand? And Everything I can is free. Be, that's exactly right. Okay. okay. And no other so, candidate can promise that's that. That's right. You're telling. Do you even know our names? Vivica? Absolutely, I do. Oh, okay, what is it? That's Bobby Brown right over there, and that okay. is Rami. Oh, really, Rami? Ooh, that's right. Bobby, did I ever Ooh. say Rami? Well, Lilith Ooh. introduced me to you. Rami. Uh, I said, I'm yeah. saying, Rami. I'm saying Rami. I'm saying Rami. 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 I'm so sorry. No, no, hold on, hold on. 
I heard, I, I'm sorry, I was just quoting my wife last night as she was getting railed. She said, ram me. That's what I was saying, just as a quick little so, anecdote. Well, but she wasn't talking to you, though. For no, right? she wasn't. She was talking to her boyfriend of, of four years. That's right. That's how much he respects her. I just respect her after marriage. That's exactly right. For sure. That's your <laughs> Oh, she's back. All right. Okay. Now, listen. Um, okay. So, we have an opportunity to boost your socials, your reach, your engagement, uh -huh. your connect, your 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 reach. Okay. Mm. We're going to make you go virus, right? Just love we can make you go we can make you go, love that. Virus, make you go virus all over the world. <sighs> no mask right? needed. That's exactly right. Exactly. Exactly right. Okay. Now, here's my thing. You're not going to go COVID-19, okay? Okay. You're going to go COVID-19 Delta. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh! Mm. I, yeah, I am yeah, a whole serious? other variant. You're gonna go Are all the variants. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna turn into a different type of fucking pandemic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! Like a pandemic, maybe. Yeah. We're gonna go. You're, gonna, you're, gonna, turn, you're, you're, you're gonna, gonna go turn a to... micron plus. All right. Oh. All right. You know what's oh. more dangerous than fucking oh, Lily uh, Ami? What? All right. Oh shit! Sugar. We're gonna turn you. Oh, oh that sounds wow. amazing. New and everything. Dang. Day one. I would love that. Do you have? Are you able to um, take a ride with us? Uh, absolutely. I mean, the debate starts pretty soon here. Uh, but you have forty minutes, Vivek. Now, absolutely, I can do. take a ride. I'm gonna take you down to our <laughs> database center. All right, you're gonna ride in the car with me and Bobby Brown over at Bobby Brown Enterprises LLC dot org dot gov mm -hmm. s corp mm -hmm. s tier dot ing dot inc dot com dot gg dot io dot gov dot edu uh-huh okay dot iu dot net dot net dot iu why don't you follow us absolutely on, follow us. will i be coming in the car as well or will of i course, be of course of course all righty okay. perfect wonderful okay. all right give me one second i am ready. a day one let me, let me, day let me, one let me the... yeah well whatever that means Hey, uh, just talking to the, uh, give me a sec, Vivek, just talking to the manager over there at the database center. Hey, I'm coming down with the, uh, um, to be mayor over here. He wants to know our services and what we can help, how we can help him with his reach engagement and make him go virus. We're coming down right now, right? <laughs> yeah. Grateful. Yep. We're bringing, we're, we're on the way. We're on the way. All right. Come on, Vivek. Come on. Absolutely. Go, absolutely. Yeah, there you go. Gritty all over, wrong over way, here, guys. Way, guys. Thank you so much. And the woke mob. And the woke mob. I, I never forgot. I never asked you about the woke mob. It's such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. Thank you so much for asking. Hey, Day Bobby. One. But I didn't Bobby ask you. L -O -C, I didn't uh, answer. Dot net, dot gov, uh, dot com, dot uh, io, dot edu. Speaking. Oh, 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 oh. This is the Chinese uh, phone company, Huawei. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes. yes, we need uh we need about a thousand phones imported into our newest office, uh, Los Santos uh, location. Day one. Day one. Rami, Rami, please. No, stop running, you guys. No gritty. Stop oh, running. No more grittying. No more running. Give my apologies. My apologies. Well, what what the hell is this, Lilith? We're, Lilith, we're excited. Hey, how are you, America? Hello? Uh, Here I come! Don't forget to have a tree for our Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's right. all right, all right. Take care now, sir. All right, you got him? Yes, I did. All righty, where are they? All right. Where did they go? I hear oh, I see them. Hello! Excuse me, hi. Hello. Hey, how are ya? Let me uh, open the door for the president. Come around here. Thank you so hey, much. Why don't you come in the car? BobbyBrown.org is going to be driving us to the life invader. Let me open the door for the president here. Oh, oh. There you are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Get in the fucking back. Oh, okay. in the back, Vivek. All right. Absolutely, Vivek. I will. All righty. Do you mind if we do the Pledge of Allegiance to get in the mood? Of course. Yeah, uh, of only course. if you do it in Hindu. Of course. And more, uh... Hindu is a religion. Yeah, there's nothing. Indian, Go sorry. Ahead. Indian is isn't a language. language. 
Okay. But see, you're getting all woke on us. Is that what's uh, going on? You're right. Here? You're right. I'm sorry about that. Come on, you're becoming what right. you hated. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, all right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United yeah. States of America. There you go. Doesn't get more uh, patriotic than that. Fuck yeah. And to yeah. the Republic. <laughs> yeah. For which it stands. One nation. Under God. <laughs> you know there you go. In the invisible. Invisible. Okay. Uh, huh. With okay. liberty and justice for all. That's right. All right. That's right. All right, now I'm sorry you to be so what? rude and get woke. You want me to do it in Indian? You know, Vivek uh, Rasalami, I am that, a that, uh, <laughs> veteran. You know, I served. Uh, there is run this one. Is that right? No. You're a veteran. You you uh, uh, you're a pro, you're a pro at uh, being an animal doctor. Is that correct? Well, I really Excuse appreciate. Is that you said right? you're a veteran. You're a pro, you're an animal doctor. Isn't that correct? Well, let me tell you. There's a lot of dogs and cats walking around the city. You need medical attention. No, 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 no. That means I've served served in uh, in war. Oh, right, country. right. Yes, yeah. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. You might want to get familiar now, with that term. Listen, Vincent Rossalami, let me ask you a question. Right, right. We're about Rossalami. to show you this NDA completely, all right? Uh-huh. All righty. I won't say a word. I won't even take out my Tic Tac. Bibig, Rossalami, my man. Ramaswamy, that's right. Alright, come on, Vivek. Yeah, you're awesome. Wait, I'm sorry, where are we going again? Can you remind me? Huh? Where are we going exactly? This is Connected Enterprises. Come on. Oh, wonderful. Well, I support uh, Enterprises of all. Now, over here, day one. You take care. Get now. you all the reach and engagement you need to make you go virus. Oh, I would just love that. We're gonna make you go Omnicron over here, all right? Oh hell yeah! Oh, We're not wow. gonna make you just go COVID nineteen. You're gonna go Delta mm. all over this bitch. Come on. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you, confusing Al. Uh, I'd like you to introduce you to my uh, to the head developer over here at Connected. Uh, this man over here is uh -huh. the, uh, for, uh, in charge of the brains and the power of. Uh, he's the lead developer over here. Is that right? This is it. Brim Squad, how are you? How's it going? I'll probably run you one. Mr. K here, CEO oh, okay. and founder of Connected Telemarketing. All right. Is your meeting all wrapped up, Chris? Uh, yeah, we're just going to hit the ATM real quick. Awesome. Yeah. We'll be a step, in, step into my. Hit the ATM here. like we hit the gritty, am I right? <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, all right, take care now. All right, let me take a seat right here. How you doing, sir? First and foremost, welcome to Connected Telemarketing, where we connect you directly with the consumer. How can I help you today? I heard you're interested in some possible advertising. It's such a great question. Thanks so much for asking. Well, first and day foremost, one. day one, I'm going to be running for an elected mayor position. It's Ramaswamy, by the way, Vivek Ramaswamy. And I was hoping to go absolutely COVID-19 Omicron variant. Mm. Going completely he's virus. Very, very so, serious. Boss, he's currently going uh, COVID-19 on his TikToks. But yeah, we told yeah, him over yeah. here connected That's with right. him to the next level and make him go Delta, Delta or Omnicron. He wants to Pandemic ascend. Level. You know what I mean? He well, wants to ascend. I, I see. Right now you're connected with the younger audience. Unfortunately, most people who use TikTok aren't even old enough to vote. So it seems like you're taking the wrong route here. What I would prefer and actually suggest that you do uh -huh. is connect with the older audience. Mm. Now, we can do that for you in multiple different ways. Take a look at the board up there to your right. Data uh -huh. is there to be shared. Privacy? Uh -uh. No, no, no. We don't believe in privacy here. We right. want to get you directly to right. the consumers. We possess the very first master SIM, mm -hmm. which will allow us with the click of a button to send a message out to everyone that owns a cell phone in Los Santos. On day All one. Way, day one. Day that's exactly one. right. Day that's one. Exactly right. Day one. That's, that's exactly right. right. Thousands of people will know the term day one here at Connected Telemarketing. Of course, that comes with the <laughs> Now, you seem like a very good man. I would like for you to win the mayoral campaign so I can give you a bit of a discount. Absolutely, I would just it's, love that. It's gonna go virus, Vivek. It's gonna go virus. Vivek, mm -hmm. Vivek Rastafari, you're going from <laughs> COVID to bubonic plague. Yeah, that's okay. what we said. Oh, Pump the Duffy's 
Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds wonderful, and I really appreciate the time you're taking to speak with me. In order to reach the older campaign, right now I have a very ineffective strategy. Late at night, I go into bookface and get into arguments with middle-aged mobs. But your plan is way better to increase my reach, so I'm totally on board. <laughs> Beautiful. A man of knowledge. I like that. That's exactly so, right. We have a few payment plans here. Of course, I said you would get you a nice discount. For just $4.99... We can send a mass SMS blast, which is indeed sending out a large message to everybody in the city, where we can form and conglomerate a specific message that will provide you with everything that you need to secure the votes that you need for this campaign. Right, is, right. Am I still with you here? Is Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, here's the funny, and let me tell you, it's a funny little problem we have. We have no money. You know, I'm sure you have a lot of funding and everything. We've no. heard you. <laughs> no money. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I'm getting my campaign through root. Uh, you know, I'm stealing. I'm taking campaign funds through this thing that I call a Patreon, where hardworking yeah. Americans day one support my campaign through our online website. So they're not donating. It's such a great question. Thanks so much for asking. They are donating, but we can't compete with the likes of Max Thoroughbred, who's raising money through companies. Uh, Chris, everything good over there? Yep, just getting his final code, and he's good to go, sir. All right, make sure you get his personalized message so we can send it out to thousands and thousands of people. I can't wait to see you 10 times your business, sir. Oh. 10 times oh. your business. Look at right there. That's one of our successful customers. Trans he's using our telemarketing services, and he's soon to be a billionaire. Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Say less. Oh, wow. In the flesh, wow. wow. Well, wow. I hope to represent you in the uh, you know, as a, as your mayor. Yeah, I got your code. Day, Day one, I'll represent Day you. Sure. All right, all right. Oh, so you take you care now. That gonna the four ninety nine is going to be an issue four, for you. Five, uh, yes, I have three dollars. <laughs> it's all right. I have money. Four ninety nine is all right. Four ninety nine works with me. That's right. Five, five, My campaign five, manager Lilith will take care of it. That's all right. Do you need the payment now? Payment now, or we can work at a weekly deal. Yeah, we can uh, work on so a number here. We can get a message sent an every Is there a nearby the ATM? Week. I have the money. Sure, sure thing. There's an ATM actually right across the street from this here building. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Day, sure. Day one! Now, while we're waiting for your assistant, do you have a general idea of what kind of message you'll be looking to put out there? It's such a great uh, question. I, I was thinking something to connect with voters. Like, let's get to work. What do you think about that? Mm, I like that. I like that. Now, keep in mind, you, you're working with 500 characters here. You can make it long, short, sweet, to the point. You can make it a whole goddamn story for all I care. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, what if I was to say, let's get to the polls. Vote for Ramasquami. Peace emoji. Max Thoroughbred. Oh, uh, sorry, I wasn't done. Uh -uh. Go, go ahead. Max Thoroughbred. More like Max Melatonin. Because whenever he talks, I want to go to sleep. Pilbus, more like Pillsbury. He is a total bozo. I hate him. How about Cornwood, more like corn fraud. You can't trust him. What do you think about that as a message? You know, it's good, but you're really just missing the punchline at the end. Uh. I would suggest adding a hashtag because, oh. you know, the younger generation, you still do want to connect with them. Oh. They love oh. hashtags. So hashtag day one at the end. And that oh, should put good. a bow on the package. But it, it, instead of be hashtag day one, that's exactly right. Uh, oh, also, could I? I am so sorry. I do have a contractual obligation with my brain supplement company. Oh, what might that be? It's such a great question. It's it's called On It Brain Supplements. I'm I've been taking three pills of On It every single day, and my brain has been going at maximum capacity. Hashtag On It Brain Supplements. We could throw that in there. No that's problem. right. Oh, what and I'm so sorry. Uh, what are the elections? When are the elections? Mm -hmm. They're very soon. <laughs> Thanks for the question. <laughs> uh, are you, do you not know when the elections Sorry, are? Sorry, what was that? <laughs> are you running for a, a campaign that you're not even sure when the elections are? Of course I know when the elections are. They're very, very soon. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you say so. Absolutely. All right, well, once your assistant comes back, we will get that all squared away. Hey, Chris, mind coming on over here? Hey, yeah, your no problem, problem, sir. Absolutely, Chris I'll hand you my business um, card. Yeah, we're gonna need all that information. Um, Chris, right here, is one of our number one thank telemarketers you, thank you very much. here at Connected Telemarketing. 
How you doing, boss man? I heard you're running from mayor. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so pumped, let me tell you. Damn right. With our company, you know for a fact you'll be on the top market to be the top winner. Well, I, I sure hope so. I mean, here's the thing. A lot of people call me closed-minded, but I'm very open-minded. In fact, I'm so open, I'm willing to work with someone with blue hair, the woke mob. Exactly. Oh, I like this guy. That's exactly right. I'm looking across the aisle. Day one! Ah, she's back. That was she's back. back. That's exactly hey, right. Whoa, whoa, guys, wait for your turn. I'm in a meeting right now. Come on, wait in the lobby out there. <laughs> oh, wait in the lobby? Okay. Pardon me, sir. Coming through. Oh, whoa, Pardon whoa. me. Coming through. Okay. Coming, whoa, coming whoa. through. I'm I'm I got large hips. I got large hips, ma'am. I'm sorry. How are you? How are you? Jesus Christ. Payment as promised. <laughs> Never called Bobby back. You might have to stand up. I'm I am really struggling to reach through there your you chair. Go. There you are. There you go. Four ninety nine. Day one. Day one. Day one. Go ahead. You're gonna text your customized message to that number right there. I handed over to the uh, 037 number. Once I have your customized message, we will load that into the master sim and pump that out to the civilians in this. How do I copy chat? Would you like me to read that out loud for you, sir? Absolutely, I would. All right, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right, so that's 420, just like the weed number on TikTok. <laughs> Lit. 037. Damn! 037-2988. Wait, 037-2988. That's right. There we go. I added the contact. Day one! Day one! That's exactly right. Exactly right. Well, uh, can I speak with my uh, campaign manager, Lilith, to maybe some brainstorm some ideas for our, uh, for our big virus tweet? Sure absolutely you my number just text it on over when it's good to go and i'll let you know when it gets sent out i would just absolutely Alrighty. love that thank you so much for your service i support tech companies thank all you right. so much yeah, thank you could so we, much uh, i hope you have a fabulous day thank you so much all righty you take care now and remember vote ramasquami day one day one i'll see you Ramaswamy. oh hey bobby hey how are you <laughs> Take care now. You take care now. Uh, working in. hard or hardly working. That's all right. That's all right. Now let's uh, prep, shall we? Hopefully we can get a ride back. Is that right, Bobby? Keep up. Yeah, but it was from China. Careful with that around me, okay? I'm, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to be strong. So be mindful with the other C word. All righty, take care now. Hey, how are ya? Hey, how are ya? Good seeing you, Vivek. Good seeing Great you. Great seeing you as well. You take care now. Could we possibly get a ride back to our yeah, vehicle? All right, take care now. Day one, take care Day now. Day one, take care now. Day one, take care now. <clears throat> okay, Lilith. What do we uh, twat out? What is our big okay. rallying message? You need to like somehow com like compile everything like all your all of your views into like one sentence. Wait, well, um, we do have a couple of uh, of uh, of gifs as well from my marketing manager. Oh, yeah, 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 I think that's perfect. Perhaps we could use one of the our favorite gifs. I think we absolutely should. Now, uh, where's that Bobby fella that was going to give us a ride, or do we have to run? Alrighty, I think All we might right. have to, uh... I could call Bobby, Bobby Charles. Yes, it'd be lovely. We got less than half an hour. And I definitely want to take some time to recollect my thoughts. Absolutely. Come on, Bobby! Come on, Bobby! Do you think I should get changed? Wait a second, here's someone. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? What's going on, guys? Wait, can you give us a ride? Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, I got keys, hop in. Oh, thank you so much. You know, Vivek, uh, I hope you win. 
Thank you so much for saying that. We will, I can guarantee you. Day one! Day one! Day one will win. Do you not get, like, tired of saying that? Absolutely not! Absolutely Hold on, I'm getting a not. call from my security. One second. Alrighty. Hey, hey Bobby. Bobby. Oh, Vivek, I couldn't answer because I was I was oh I was God. intercepting intercontinental ballistic. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, just my security. Uh, how can I help? What you? is that in the glove box? Is that a? Is that a mask? I'm Ugh. just saying, Vivek. I think if you Ugh. if you stop saying day one, maybe you'd get like more votes. You know? Absolutely. Maybe I will. Hold on, my security's calling me. Hey, how's it going, Ramaswamy? Good to oh, talk Vivek. to you. Oh, Vivek. Vivek, why'd you hang up, Vivek? Uh, so it's probably by bad service. Uh, the service is not made in America. It was. I, mean. a, I, I was. I was in here Whoa intercepting <laughs> intercontinental uh, ballistic missiles. They, they, were aim, they were aimed. They were aimed at your motorcade, Vivek. Well, listen to me, Bobby. There's a debate coming up, and I'm going to need you to be fully attentive. Make sure I'm protected. Now, I'm a high value suspect here. I'm a high value target, so I need your help. All right. I've, I've like, been receiving uh, cryptic emails in other languages that uh, they're. They're trying to attempt your life value, huh? as we speak. Yes, well, I, I need your full-on uh, support. If you want, Vivek, I can send I, you three Onyx brain supplements to really get you on the on the Vivek, ball. I, uh, I, uh, value, one of the huh? missiles, I redirected it to That's hit right. one of your, uh, hey, one of your campaign you opposing here, uh, runners. Uh, uh, it, it hit his house. Uh, <laughs> where are we going? Value we so he Vivek. might be alive or he might be dead from it. I'm That's very good. scared, Bobby. I, I'm in a I'm in a in a car with an uh, individual, and uh, <laughs> he might just kill me. So uh, <laughs> what? I value. Huh? What do you mean, Vivek? Yeah, people well, might pay a lot of money for you, Vivek, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, what are we talking about? How uh, me dead is totally useless, right, Bobby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? It should be. When's the debate? Uh, it would be in 20 minutes. We're red. Yeah. yeah, high value, huh? Very low value, right, Bobby? <laughs> oh, no, hey. You're not low value. Where, 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 where would the debate be? Hey, um, uh, where's the debate? Derek, it's a great question. Um, I got the uh, guy Vivek is... Ramaswamy in the back seat here with me. It'd be a real shame if you missed the meeting, huh? It'd be a real shame. Hey, Mickey, good to talk to you. Really, How's it going? Derek? Mickey, it's so nice to talk to you. Yes, Mickey. absolutely. Okay, Sorry, I'm on the phone with Mickey. He's, he has a high, he's a high value That's right, Mickey. Here. Some people are threatening me. Money. Some people are threatening me, Mickey. Uh-huh. Okay. Worry, come on. Really? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, for sure. All right, sounds good. All right, Derek. Good to see you. Derek, good. Hey, 26. Hey, if it isn't the sheriff it, good, of the police department, good to talk to you. Yes, uh, that's right. right. The I'll one who went to your son's Derek. birthday party three years ago. It's me, Ramaswamy. That's You're right. On the phone, Vivek. Huh? How do you know? <laughs> now, Vivek, I just got a hefty offer for a thousand dollars for you not to um, show right? up to the fucking uh, town hall tonight. Well, how about I convince you with facts and logic? Now, listen here, a thousand dollars, a thousand and one dollars would go a long way here, Mr. Ramaswamy. Is that right? Yes, yes, you went. Well, what if Let instead it, of a thousand one dollars, I support day one. day one. I support you in office. Emotionally. Mm, interesting. The battlefield right. of ideas is a big one. one and it's one k sounds pretty fair, Vivek. What? How much is that? When I don't do uh, twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollars. Well, let me uh, let me uh, go ahead and drop us off at our car, and we'll go ahead and get that cash for you. Give me one second. <sighs> All right. Give me a thousand dollars here, Vivek. Right now. I need twelve hundred dollars to let you make. I'll I'll, have, I'll let you make the the town hall, Vivek. For twelve hundred dollars, right. I got it sent to scoop you up. I have three hundred. That's right, Vivek. I have three dollars. How does that sound? Three hundred three dollars. How does that sound? Three hundred three dollars is everything on my my person. Huh. Three hundred three dollars, huh? That's what right. You guys got in the That's bank, right. huh? That's right. I don't have any money in the bank. I don't trust those institutions. Absolutely. You have no money in the bank. That's right. So you're broke. Well, I'm not broke. I'm just, uh, I, I, I've made some real uh, poor investments, frankly. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Really? Can I call so up my you daddy? Don't, you, don't, you don't trust the institution. I don't trust institutions, and I hope to change that. Day if you vote one. for me. Day one, if you vote for me. 
Really? Well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. How do what you did feel you about want? The people of the city, Vivek? What do you what do you, what do you mean? How do you feel about the people of the city, Vivek? I am pro people. Let me tell you, and I hope to represent them in office. What do you mean by that? Hmm. You want to I mean, call your daddy, huh? Why, I would you, love to call daddy. daddy. My daddy? He and I will have a great conversation regarding the issue. Really? Absolutely. Give me one second. Is that so? One that moment. So? Get off the phone. Okay. Listen here, Vivek. Uh huh. Hmm. It'd be a real shame if this gets played at the town hall, huh? I'm getting my campaign. Through, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm taking Speak campaign up, through the thing that I call a page. Mm. Hardworking Americans, they want to support my campaign through our online website. Oh, be no. a real shame if uh, that gets played at the town hall, huh, Vivek? Oh, no. So, here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen, Vivek. All right? Uh -huh. Let's just say I have about 10 more files of that throughout this past two hours. Yes. Now, here's what's going to happen. Let me, just, let me lock the door here. Vivek, you're going to give me $1,000. I'm going to let you make the town hall. If you don't pay $1,000 in 2662, there's going to be problems. Do you hear me? Okay, well, let me just tell you. I am not afraid of you. And you want to know why? Why is that? Because if you release that tape, it's all part of the fake media. Do you know what I mean? The woke mob. The woke mob. Anything used one. against me is just my fuel. I am invincible. I am Ramaswamy, do you understand? You can put on your little mask and your little charade, but I am out on the city with not only a mask, but a W hairline. And I'm not That's gonna negotiate right. with terrorists. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna draw me off at, at campaign hall where I still will, re will back up your ass if I'm getting it into office, or will you let me die and just be under another marriage. corrupt politician who will barely do business with you? The choice is yours. Exactly right. Give me one second, Vivek. That's my Give me president. one second. Absolutely. One. <laughs> all right. Just got all that. So now here's what's going to happen. Okay. I hope you know I've been turning the... I've had the recording out the whole time. Everything you Is just that said right? get, get mixed, mastered, and edited. Is that right? So here's what's going to... Here's, here's what's going to happen. Okay. Put your hands down. Are you sure? I'm going to drop... I'm going to drop you off. I'm gonna drop you off. Uh-huh. You're gonna go in there. You don't know me, you've never seen me, you never met me before. Okay. Okay. All right. You're gonna go? You're gonna you're gonna one up Maximilian Thoroughbred. If you don't do that, big problems come in your way. You understand? Is that right? Yeah, that is right. Well I won't let you down. Day, one. Day one! I Hello. will represent you. Yep. My bad, my bad. Oh shit, my bad, my bad. Fuck, relax, bitch, I'm on the way. Okay. Anyway, anyway, Vivek. I'm gonna drop you off at the casino. Casino. Make your way to the town hall, alright? Alrighty. Alright! I would just love that. I'm taking campaign funds through this. What thing radio is this? It sounds really good. <laughs> uh, just my little Would recorder you? I got. Oh, is that right? Would you oh, to that's take me. Take us to the clothing store in Vinewood. Mm, beggars can't be choosers here, Lilith. All Lilith, right, you look together. great in your American right, outfit. Right, Don't be insecure. Right, all right, I'm just a bit nervous. Alrighty. Mr. President, you have your hat, right? Your Yes, I do, to connect with the Wonder young voters. Ball. All right, take care now. Hey, uh, do you think I'd get more respect, uh, Mr. Hostage Driver, if I uh, wore this? Yeah, you would. <laughs> Thank you with you the so Gen much. as well, like America. Like a true American, that's exactly You'd be with right. the Gen Zers. Wait, so, wait a second, I just realized we can't... That whole thing was a total sham, then. What? What are you talking about? You if I text that number, if I text that no, number. No, 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 that is completely different. Oh. 
Flora. Well, good to know. So you're just Bobby working on the side. I'm talking about Bobby Brown Incorporated LLC. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, what's going on? Are you happy? <laughs> I am. I'm very happy. Are you sure? I'm so happy. Because here's the thing. Hurt people Day hurt one. people. Day one! I just want to make sure everything is going on right with you. You know, you can wear that skull mask all you want. Listen, but I see act. right through you. Stop with this day one shit. Tell me what you're all about. I told you. Okay, fine. I won't say it. But. Rami. He's going to fucking win, G. I'm going to win this whole thing. going to fucking win. Listen, I don't want to be on your bed, said Vivek. If you do win, I'm probably going to vote for you. You want some boring ass mare again like all the other but ones, But money huh? is money, all right? Uh, right. Just to say these people out there to get you. Rami. All right? I know, but I want to make sure I bring in saying, my vivacious you. Vivek, I'm just saying, take this as a learning lesson, all right? Okay. There's people out there to get you. Right. Always watch your back. The woke mob. We the know the woke mob. mob is out there, Vivek. You have a good I'm day. alive right now with all my crazy rhetoric. Yeah, you have a good I day, Vivek. to exit vehicle. Get out of the car, guys. Oh, we're ready. Goodbye. Oh, okay out. What a nice gentleman. Oh my, he's so lovely. I loved when he put on that Dick Cheney mask. It was really convincing. That was so funny. <laughs> I really, I mean, let me tell you. Go ahead. Uh, are we at the clothing store for you to, you know? Oh, I, I didn't think he was actually going to take us here. But me what do you want to do? Do you, are you happy with how you are looking? Are you happy with how I look? I think we look great. Alrighty, well, uh, let's get up there. Let's get up there. I mean, that works. <laughs> that I guess that works. Now we're gonna have to run there. So let, let's run there so we can get there really quickly, and then we can take a moment for our thoughts <laughs> and prayers. We also really have to use a Gatorade bottle, like really bad, like two hours ago. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Well, don't even worry. We'll get over there early, and we can use all the Gatorade we want. Wonderful. Oh, wow. Hey, Vivek, are you a... I'm like a toxic ex-boyfriend to poor Bobby. Did you ignore the phone call? Uh, well, I picked up and then I hung up. Alrighty. Did you have uh, the, uh, the old GIF in mind for the, uh, the global twice? It's a great question. Uh, I think I do have one in mind. Let me reach out to my social media intern and maybe he can come up with something to help me out. Alrighty. We better do it pretty soon. The debate is soon. Absolutely. We really should. <laughs> Here we come. Getting to the debate. That's exactly right. If only we could arrive in a car. What? How'd she? Did she just teleport? She's hacking. Whoa, is that the debate stage? Holy fuck. Call Bobby. Almost there, straight ahead. Absolutely. Day one. Day one. What a beautiful night for a debate. I know, whoa, Mr. President, watch out there. I'm not afraid of cars. It really is cars. a beautiful day, beautiful night. Very I'm not good. Nervous. They are driven by the work mob after all. I feel like it's funny if I lose. And then <laughs> charge the city hall. Regardless, I, I hope to win. You should be nervous. It's almost there. I mean I hope to win, but even if I lose. Bring it on. I'm just interested in I'm like watching the story unfold. I've got no idea what's going on. I'm just being How a fucking jackass. I'm feeling totally confident I'm ready to reach out to the youth. 
We absolutely killed it in that meeting earlier. We Thank you so much. You. You're doing fantastic. I think they were very impressed. Keep that up. Keep that Thank you so up. much. I You're mean, here's the thing. A, like, my candidates, my, uh, my, uh, you know, my opponents are horrible. They have they no really idea what's are. going on. They're out they probably to talking see. to crooks and criminals. I'm talking to the, you know, the local CEO of Disgusting. tech companies. They probably talk to the woke mob as well. Yuck. Uh, literally up the street and left. <laughs> Why is like, I feel like this is just as fast. Maybe before we walk in, maybe we'll take a moment for some thoughts and prayers. Absolutely! I gotta fill up a yellow Gatorade as well. Wall there. Uh, not this left, this way. Hey, Vivek, I'm here at the bowl. Where are you oh, at? Oh, awesome! At the bowl. Well, I'm actually right... He's crying. <laughs> You're late to your own debate? Good. I'm gonna have an entrance. I love a shortcut. Just don't fall down. <sighs> I won't let you Be down. I careful. won't fall down. My legs are hurting. Alrighty. All right, you can take a moment here if you like. We're literally behind the uh, the stage. Better Wonderful. Key in this bush. Absolutely, I will. Give me one moment. All right, thoughts and prayers. One moment. Is she back? Yeah. Oh yes, wait, I have to tweet out. Or twat out. What should I twat out? I'm gonna do this.
Lilith! <laughs> oh, sorry. Are you aware you just sent a text? Oh, I'm aware. This is a text to the people that are gonna that's gonna send as a t as a tweet. I made a, him a campaign song. Would you fight for freedom? Would you take a stand? Because I know a man that will. How are ya? Are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm really gonna get All in the right. zone right now. Alright, oh, wonderful. Let's make sure we don't fall in. It all starts on day one. Yo, look that. You gotta show this man some respect. He's out here fighting for our freedom. All maxed out, bouncing his check. Four woods, a bozo, oh. a total. Wow. No show. Let's look up no this way. Let's look Ooh, cool. Man, slow -mo. We need a man with a plan. A man to leave this land. All right, let's and go. Sire is not afraid to watch his wife get slammed. The vet is ready to fight <laughs> to show the woke our might. Now let's spell it out so they can hear it right. R. A. M. A. S. Q. Q. <laughs> Day, Day one. one. How are ya? Good to see ya. Good to see ya, Pippin. You guys want your message put out before the debate? Absolutely, I just sent it to the number. Alright, I'll get that taken care of now. I'm headed to the office. Wonderful, right, guys. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Alrighty, yeah. take care now. Day one! Day one! <laughs> yes, I will fight for you on day one. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, begin finding your way to your seats. Okay. All right, we will begin kill it out shortly. there. Absolutely. Show them who you are. Vivek Ramaswamy. That's R A M A S Q U A M Y. I won't let you down. Day one. Day one. That's exactly right. That's right. You're gonna fucking kill it. I won't let you down. All right. Thank you so much. Show them who you are with your charisma. Absolutely. Bobby, good to see you. Vivek, I'm gonna show you something. So, uh, I recently obtained some technology from uh. From the U.S. Uh, from the government, it's a, it's it's a nuclear bomb, and if anybody tries anything, the, the whole city's gonna explode. Are you serious? Alrighty. That sounds wonderful. I'm completely on board. You know, if I press this button, it's it's gonna blow up and kill everybody. All right. Well, I'm totally ready for that if I don't win. I'm Mr. President as well. You see that lady behind me with the blonde hair? Yes, I do. Okay, her name is Andy Jones. That's A N D I. J R N E S M Y. -E she is. She's been a mayor like 700 times in the past. She's like one of the best mayors I've known ever. In is history. that right? So if she asks you questions, you better kill her. I won't let you down. I'll focus on it. Better uh, motherfucking Jones. A lot of a lot of Fortnite and a lot of risen yet. I mean, here's the thing. Yes, I connect absolutely. with the youth. I mean, I'm just gonna be me, and uh, if that resonates, so be it. And if not, then we storm the city hall. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly so what about, right. Uh, what about condom Save in January six? Save the day. I very publicly condom it. That's right. Vivek, I just want you to know I campaigned in the sewers earlier for you. I, you know, I met the king of the sewers, Vivek. It was a dangerous journey. They they all smell like shit and they eat shit, Vivek. But uh -huh. you know, I spread the word down to the sewer people. Who knows? They they might be crawling out of the. Wait wait, wait sewer people. Oh wait, that's that shithole area of Los Santos, right? It's it, it's the literally it's. The sewer. Well, we've sent thoughts and prayers. Well, thoughts and prayers. Oh, I'm telling you. Never mind. Hey, I, I had to no, I had to crawl through a I had to crawl through a manhole to get down there, Vivek. Uh huh. That's disgusting. I'm sorry. Thank you for doing that for on my behalf. I'll hey, take an extra shower as well for you. Extra. And get the shower. You know, Vivek, I got married last night. You never attended the wedding, Are you Vivek. serious? Wait, tell me about your wedding. I, uh, I signed a contract. I don't have any questions in my mind. I'm going to make them up as I'm up there. 
Why is this guy old, always holding his hands up? I believe in peace and love. Well, God, God, stay away from the mayoral you. candidate. Don't get too close. Okay. Yes. Of course. Santa, would you like a whiskey? Of course, of course you can. Of course, just don't have any firearms. Okay. Here you go. Take care now. Don't forget you owe me two more. Asshole. Absolutely, I won't let you down. Vote Ramaswamy. Don't get too close to the president. How are you doing, boss? Thank you so much for your service. I support the construction worker or or stripper, whatever you are. Lumber you. Oh, well, I support the lumber you. Wait, what was the word? Oh. You know, that's a that's a mighty impressive dance you got there. You got you got some real agility. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Vote Ramaswamy for upcoming mayor. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. I will let you down. You take care now. That's a real place. Well, that's really no, no, no. That's in that World of Warcraft. That's right. Isn't that right, sir? Australia is from World of Warcraft. Absolutely thought, it is. I thought Australia was the new Fortnite map. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Is it not the new Fortnite Could map? Could the mayoral candidates begin making oh, their way to the oh Here we go. Here we Day one. Let's go. Day one. Get on the stage. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They said mayoral candidates. I believe you believe uh, you should be in, in line for a hair dye or something. Uh, you try to get me killed, you fucking ugly piece of shit. So go all right. Me. Well, we'll save it for the debate. <laughs> all right. Can we have you all just line up? Nice organized line. Pilbus. Hey, what's up? What's up, future deputy? I like the hair. Thank you. Oh, like were you it. talking to me or him? <laughs> we get a little uh, bit of spacing here. I mean, a little, all bit, right, of, gotcha. a little bit of spacing. Yeah, a little bit of space. You just lied. Huh? You lied to me? Lied what? Huh? That you're not gonna be I doing nothing? I came to say good I'm luck. Hungry. Oh, thank you. Like to me? To all of you. No, thank you. Ladies good and luck gentlemen, all of you. Citizens of Los Santos. Good luck, Max. Okay, we are your mayoral too. candidates. Oh, I gotta go. This is a Pay historic to election. To we all notice. My ass. And today, we'll Use get to learn a little bit more about each of these incredible <laughs> candidates. I would like to go- Where you were too old. What the hell's going on here? Ah, oh, he's really getting into it. All right, well, we're gonna go from right to left. Candidates, if you could introduce yourself and talk a little bit about the platform you are running under. Please go ahead, starting with uh, mayoral candidate, Hornwood. He's on the phone. Take help? your SIM card out, my oh. friend. Take your SIM Thank card out. Thank you, Rami. So, Appreciate uh, it. it can y'all so hear me? It was so fun doing RP with you, dude. Yeah. Appreciate it a lot. <clears throat> all right. Well, hey, thank, thank y'all for coming out here today. Thank y'all for coming out here today. It's, uh, I mean, I, I know it's very busy. I know a lot of people are working one job, two job, three jobs. You know, everybody out here trying to make ends meet. And for you to take some time off of your busy schedules and come out here and uh, hear what we have to say about this great city of Los Santos is, uh, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> now, look, a lot of people have been asking me this question, you know, what, what platform am I on or whatever? And I'll be honest with you. I don't have no, I, I don't, I don't have no damn answer for no platform. Okay. My platform is this city. My platform is the people. All right. And I think this city is going to go as far as the people will take it. No matter if I'm mayor or somebody else, but let me tell you what. I will allow myself, I will absolutely allow myself <laughs> to be picked up and lifted up by everybody else around me, and I, and I will carry us to the promised land. Absolutely, I will. <laughs> there has been way the hell too many, way the hell too many problems in this city since I was last year. I've been in this city for a long damn time, and then I spent a lot of time away, and whenever I came back, this was not the same damn city that I was used to. 
I'll go down and I'm on patrol. All right, y'all know I'm uh, I, I am a uh, uh, you know former senior captain and sheriff uh, of the BCSO, and uh, you know I, I go down on my patrol and what do I see? I see crackheads. I see damn crackheads up and down the city. I go to the senior buns. And I'm telling you, it's noise pollution left and right. I think every single damn person that walks into that damn building <laughs> leaves without two or three hundred brain cells that they used to have. Okay? Now, what am I here for? I'm here for you. All right? I'm here for you. And that's what I want y'all to know. So we'll talk more later. Thank you. That was dog shit. <laughs> that was dog shit right there. Oh, come, come, on, come, on, guys, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Be nice. Come on, guys. Come on. But don't stop. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I hate that guy. Uh, may our next candidate please take center stage? Introduce yourself and a little bit about... Thank you, Alex, platform. and thank you, Hot Dan, for the sub. Who is this? How you doing, everybody? My name is Stelio Lambros. I'm a proud member of the Organized Labor Party. I'm a proud member of the union up at the Lumberyard. I made a lot of friends here <laughs> in different unions around the, around the whole city, around the whole of San Andreas. Right now, there are people that are starving. There are people that can't afford a meal. There are people passing out on the highway because they're not feeding themselves. The EMS right now, the police, they're struggling right now. For some reason, we're making these people pay for their repairs out of their own pockets. I don't understand what's going on. Right now, people are struggling in this city. That's a fact. People are having <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible days, and they are not having their time, their hard work respected. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that everybody in this city, no matter what you do, no matter whether you're a lumber union worker, if you're a grime worker in the city, if you're a group six worker, if you're a dancer at the Vanilla Unicorn, I want to make sure that you are respected. I'm so annoying. That the time, the energy, everything you put in this city is respected. And I'm going to tell you up front, I don't got no rich uncle. I don't got no deep ties five years ago in this city. A lot of people are going to bring up the fact, oh, this city, it was great in the past. This city, it was great in the past. Everyone's going to be looking at the past. I'm telling you right now, I don't have these ties to the past. I'm gonna be the only person up here that's telling you, don't look at the past, look at the future. Because the future <coughs> is where Los Santos and San Andreas stands. Thank you so much, everybody. May our next candidate step up. Thank you, Tiny. And yeah, there you go. Thank you, Tiny. Greetings, everybody. Thank you, Beetlejuice, for cheering. Anyone? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, wait, I'll wait for the applause to die down real quick. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I know many of you personally. Um, and really, I just want to thank you for taking the time to come down here. I know that they might have forcibly closed in your buns. That wasn't my choice. But nonetheless, uh, today we stand upon the precipice of change. Five years ago, the Los Santos government crumbled and failed. Uh, for reasons not entirely no- Oh, wait for these sirens to go by real quick. Kind of fucking rude, if you ask me. The government failed, and now here we are, picking up the pieces that failed institution, one by one, grime delivery by grime delivery, hamburger by hamburger, uh, money bag by money bag. Gratefully, the current government has established... Hey, keep it... Come on, okay. Talking up here. Man. Come on, come on, guys. <laughs> Come, come on, guys. Listen to me and listen close. Now, more than ever, your vote <laughs> is required to ensure that the future of That's too serious. is one secure. That's too much. And I, I, thought that was just uh, a regular I know sleep. more than any of these people behind me 
what it takes to get something done. And uh, that particular something, I promise to you, is the following. <laughs> Listen closely. Cheaper housing. A lower tax rate. No more taxing of your paychecks. And of course, uh, <laughs> humble and strong support for the honorable police members uh, in Los Santos so that they no longer have to pay for their equipment, so they no longer have to pay for repairs on their vehicles, so they can get out there on these war zone-like streets. War zone that I'm sure that you all are familiar with. Honest, hardworking people afraid to look over their backs because who's going to pull up in another four-seater SUV and try to rob them of their fucking packages or their money bags or what have you? Which brings me to my final and most important point. Gun licenses. <laughs> Now, you might be thinking, Max, why is a gun license important to ensuring the safety and security of Los Santos? Uh, and to me, I personally believe in the good guy with the gun theory. Now, some of you might not be familiar with that, but Thank essentially, you, it means that, you know, the more people who have a gun, the less likely something, I don't know, terroristical or treasonous know happens. Not how it works. And if, let's say, you know, one of your fellow grime drivers has a gun and you don't, and they see you getting robbed, maybe they hop out and try to watch your back. The problem with that is that currently, and some th this may be new information to some of you, a gun license is slated in the future to cost $50,000. $50,000. Now, how many of you have $50,000 in the crowd right now that you can spend on a gun license? No, you don't. You're a fucking... Beetlejuice, put your fucking hand down. Uh, let's end on this note. The streets are too dangerous, and I promise to you, a far, far cheaper gun license, and of course, without the requisite uh, hop <laughs> recommendation that was slated to be. I love out RP, alongside dude. It's the so fifty thousand dollars. Yo, thanks, PSP. Under my jurisdiction, I will ensure that you are safe, secure, prosperous. Thank you, Maximilian Thoroughbred. May our next candidate step up, introduce themselves, and give us a little bit about their platform. Hello, everybody. Oh, this guy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> I love My name is Tobias so funny. I used to live here many years ago, and I'm back. I've done a lot of reflecting on myself. And uh, I really genuinely want to make a change and be a mayor that's really going to help out the everyday civilian. I, uh, that is what my platform is based on. I want to help the civilians in this city. I want to help everybody that is struggling. I know everybody's working hard jobs. I, I work at Senior Buns just to fund my campaign. And uh, that's what I want to do. I want to Thank work you. with yes, the yes, union. Yes. I want to help everybody. Uh, I want to help the civilians. I want to help the police officers. Uh, I, I can't promise that I'll get rid of, uh, taxes on your paychecks, because as we know, the city's in a rebuild right now. The government doesn't have that money. The government doesn't have the money to be able to make all these grandiose promises. So I'm not going to make those promises to you. What I'm going to tell you is I'm going to do my best for you. I want to work with everyday civilians. I want to work with the police officers. I want to work with everybody. I want to do all the things I could possibly do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I have a voice crack sometimes. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I went through puberty at 24. Please. <laughs> okay, Beetle. All right. Yes, Beetlejuice. I'm sorry, Beetlejuice. Um, you know, I genuinely just want to help people. I don't want to, I won't, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do. I, I can't make the promises that everybody else is going to be making. Like I said, I, there's some things that I want to do. I want to, you know, of course I'll look into taxes if I get into office and I will adjust them accordingly. Uh, I'm going to appoint a great secretary of staff. And then one of these individuals, uh, will be one of my deputy mayors as well. If I get elected, which is, you know, and I would love to work with them as well. Uh, I don't think everybody should be having guns, if I'm being honest. I, I think we know, if you were around, we know what that's like, everybody willy-nilly having guns. I think that, you know, 
put a price tag on it. How long make are these people, supposed to be? Make people feel regret about buying a gun. You know what I mean? You don't want people to just get a gun and then not care if they use it because they'll just go get a new one because it's fifty dollars, hundred dollars, thousand dollars for a gun license. Make, make it make it cost some to people. And uh, yeah, basically, you know, my platform is I just, I just want to help out the civilians. That's it. I want to help out every well, not just the civilians, but everybody, the police, the EMS, government workers, the unions. Thank you, Anime Trash, and thank uh, you, Mental. In Lincoln. any way that I possibly can. Uh, thank you, Zay Black. Appreciate it. Fucking Beetlejuice. May our next candidate step up, introduce themselves, and talk a little bit about their campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, how's everyone doing today? Yeah, when I say Rama, you say Squami. Rama! Rama! That's exactly right. Now, I'm here, and I didn't realize Melod... Day one, I didn't realize Melatonin Max was contagious. Cause let me tell ya, what a snooze fest it has been so far. Am I right? Let me tell ya, let me tell ya. All these all these young fellas have come up here and have made promises. But as the late great George W. Bush once said, Well done is far better than well said. Am I right? That's exactly right. Now here we are. We got Max we got Max Melatonin dressed up like the Monopoly man. And let me tell you what he talks like is all game. He's got no class. He has no experience. He's a shady guy. And let me tell you. I went onto the website uh, to find out more about this town. And there are two types of mayors. One, goody two shoes, unwilling to negotiate. And two, these crazy corrupt politicians. I want to be someone new. That's Ramasquami. You know, here's the thing. My platform is a platform of greatness. A platform where I will represent all of you and put words into action. If you have seen me in the last few days, I've been campaigning absolutely hard to make sure I pre represent working folks like yourself. Even drunk Santa, who none of these absolute frauds even talk to. I want to be for the people for far too long. These politicians have been representing just a few and not all of us. They've mandated things like the vaccine. They've mandated things to control folks like you. So let's get it trending on Twitter. Hashtag Ramasquami. That's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. And I will not back down. All of us have been offered money, corruption, bribes, and I have taken none of it. Because I've stole, excuse me, I have funded through my own Patreon, a grassroots campaign to make sure I represent you. So remember, and if you're a young voter, give me one second here. <clears throat> vote for Ramasquami, vote for Ramasquami, end the woke mob, Los Santos is being held hostage. I will represent you and I will not be silenced by some bozo. Day one, hashtag Ramasquami on Twitter. Say it now. That's exactly right. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm seeing a lot of hashtag raw salamis going on Twitter. You guys are doing great. Uh, next candidate, uh, you can take the center stage and uh, yeah, introduce yourself in your platform. Everybody, who are you? Uh, Dottie, Big Buffin, yep, yeah, appreciate it for being quiet, thank you. Uh, listen, I know you won't be sitting here a while now, I'm not trying to take up more time. Uh, I'm just trying to be here to help the city. <laughs> I'm trying to put people in the place where they should be. Uh, honestly, keep taxes low, just help keep moving to get businesses and proposals done if possible. Just trying to do normal mayor things, help fundings where it's needed. Help people where it's needed. Help businesses where it's needed. Simple as that. If I could do it, I will do it. Okay, I appreciate the being quiet. Uh, I'm here to help out wherever, and that's really it. I, I'm not here to do things and say things I can't do or help with. Nope.
I appreciate it. Anywho, and all this uh, promises and I don't know what he's saying, getting money from people. If they take it, take it. Good for them. But I'm here to do it the right way and make this city prosper like it should be. That's all I got to say. Yay. Thank you, everybody. <coughs> Thank you, candidates. I feel that we've all gotten to know you just a little bit better. And for everyone out there, I am Tiny Tony, moderating this debate, not running for mayor. I would never do I'm that. Tiny it Tony. seems like a horrible job. What up, Tiny but Tony? These fine folk, you know, seem up to the task. All right, we're gonna move on to the question section. All right, I'm gonna ask a couple questions um, here. All right. The first one is one that I think is on everybody's mind. The economy has collapsed. People are struggling. Many of you mentioned it in your introductory <laughs> statements. What is your plan to make all of the people in front of you move forward with their lives, to live the lives that they once had? How do you rebuild Los Santos? Will again start from the right. Uh, May Corn dog. Cornwood. Corn dog. Corn fried. Go Wait, ahead. Can, can you read that one more time? I, you uh, you, you said so many damn words. Of course. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> I'll, I'll go through it again. All right. There has been an economic collapse. Los Santos is in goddamn shambles, Cornwood. How do you intend to rebuild Los Santos from the ground up from a mayorship position to help the people in front of you? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I, I would love to talk about this. All righty. Okay, fellas, listen up now. All right. We, we have a lot of problems in this city. All right. I remember how great the damn burger shot used to be. I remember the amount of jobs, the amount of things that people could do in this damn city in order to be able to make a living. I remember, I remember folks being able to go out there, get a job, take care of their family and do all that. All right. Easily. You had tons of opportunity. However, now that same opportunity ain't there. All right, I see every single damn person, every single damn person, they're, they're out there driving group six, putting their lives in danger. Everybody driving crime, putting their lives in danger. Why? Because some folks are out there who don't want to make an honest living. There's some folks out there that aren't like you and you. How okay, to grow back you, hair 101. Right? Welcome There's to folks out there that are trying to cheat the damn system, that are trying to lie and steal and attack the good people of this damn city. And we got to put a stop to it. We got to give people opportunities to protect themselves. All right. That's why I want to bring back the opportunity to get you a gun license and to be able to arm yourself in order, in order to be able to defend yourself against these sons of bitches who are going out there and they are attacking the people who are trying to make an honest living. All right. They are not afraid. Nobody out there, no criminal out there is afraid to, to, break the law and to attack somebody else and to take something away from everybody. How, however, however, under my uh, mayorship, my plan is to get the laws working in a way in order for us to make sure the people have an opportunity to make a good living and to keep themselves safe. There you go. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. That was wonderful. Next candidate, the floor is yours to answer this question. I can repeat it if you need. Please repeat it so everyone can hear it again after that. That's right. That's right. Uh, we are discussing the economic collapse of Los Santos <laughs> and how your mayoral candidacy will help bring back the golden age of Los Santos. Rebuild it. Go ahead, sir. Right now, <laughs> the most important thing that we need to look at is the huge, huge disparity in income between all these different jobs throughout the city. For an entire week, no one could make any money doing lumber. Yeah, people were still up there doing that because that was their passion, putting in work. But still, I think right now, no one can make any money doing sanitation, but Bill is still doing it because it's their passion. It's what they want to do. <laughs> it is no secret <laughs> that Senior Burgers pays Shit. the best out of any job in the city. People are wise to that. People know that. And that's why at Senior Burgers, 
you go there, it is so hard to get a shift. I was talking to the manager there, Jane. It is so hard to get a shift at Senior Burgers because everyone's wise and everyone's trying to get the easy money. And it's not easy. Let me tell you, folks, it's not easy. If you think that's the case, you're mistaken because the chaos there, the chaos there is unrivaled. But what we need is we need to make sure all these jobs, we need to make sure all these jobs are paid the same, are paid equal. We need to make sure people's time is respected. We need to make sure people are going they are paying fair, they're being paid fair for the things that they do. We need to make sure we give business licenses to those with the acumen and the drive and the passion to run these businesses, run these businesses here in the city, but not only here in the city, run these businesses in Sandy, run these businesses in Polito, run these businesses in anyway, Harmony, backs. run these businesses in Chumash, because there are people with passion. <laughs> there are people that want to start these businesses. <laughs> they are Anyone riled up. Back? We have people that want to work and want to give great services, but they don't have the opportunities because we don't have these licenses. As soon as I get in office, as soon as I get in office, I will make sure these licenses are given no out. We back. will take them under consideration. We will push them out and push them and push them and make sure that people can start working, start having something they can call their own, the American dream. I was talking to a young woman. <laughs> Yay, Lilith! She Lilith wants to start is. a 50s diet. I thought, <laughs> what a wonderful idea. I was talking to Jane. She wants to start franchisees for food all over the city. All over the city. <laughs> right now, the only place you can get a good burger <laughs> is at Senior Burgers. The only place you can get a good, hot, warm meal is at Senior Burgers. We need restaurants up all around San Andreas. All around the entire island. I know uh, Miss B, I think she's here in the audience. Can you yelp? Can you yell out, Miss B? Miss B has been working at a convenience store. <laughs> she doesn't have a business license. She has gotten no support, but she does it <laughs> because that's what she is passionate about. And we need to enable these passions <laughs> because people want the economy <laughs> to succeed and we need to give them the means and the tools to succeed. We need to support them so that they can <laughs> succeed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. A very thoughtful <laughs> answer. <laughs> Our next candidate, may you please answer? Um, economy collapsed. We're <laughs> yeah, I got you, bud. I got a simple five-point plan to ensure the uh, the suitable uh, rising from the ashes Phoenix that Los Santos can be. Simple. One, removal of taxation for paychecks. Already went over that. Two, lower the tax rate from fifteen percent to ten percent. Easily done. Three, the establishment of a chamber of commerce in order to ease the transition of state-run businesses to citizen-owned businesses. Furthermore, I intend on having discussions with those who may be privy to the ability to do so, but also possibly the establishment of a state-sponsored loan company. Four, a reevaluation of the current housing market. As many of you noticed, I'm sure that they are extremely unaffordable. That will, of course, be one of our main priorities in five. And most importantly, and my favorite, I intend on holding court for 10 people Thank you, every day for you to speak personally with me about what it is you want <laughs> to see Los Santos develop into. What the fuck? That's all. Thank you. Very interesting. A lot of food for thought there. Our next candidate, may you take the floor. Los Santos collapsed, rebuilding it. How are you going to do it? I can't help that. Sorry, <clears throat> I can't. I can't help that, Beetlejuice. Well, yeah, cause I can't help it, Beetlejuice. <clears throat> so the economy collapsed. There's not a lot of money. That's exactly why I said I can't make promises. I can't. I can't say, hey, taxes are fucking gone. You don't. You don't want a 20% tax on your paycheck or whatever it is. They're gone. We can't do that because the, no the government no doesn't. The government does. The government doesn't have that money to just shell out for all of these things. Unfortunately, it's the hardworking civilians like yourself that need to make the money and need to put it back into the economy so that we can have these these amazing things, right? 
I want to work with the unions, like I said. I want to give them whatever they need. I've been going to every <laughs> job just and talking to the everyday slash worker e, and, make and it seeing rain. what they want and what, what is necessary for them. I know the police. They really want to dispatch. I would love to get them dispatched. I want to make sure that the civilians are protected in that way, you know? Nobody wants to send a message to the police and hope that they get a response. They, <laughs> they want to talk to a real human being. So I want to make sure to do that. I would love to get businesses. I want to, you know, I want to hear your business proposals. I want to see if what you have and what your ideas are so that we can get things up and running. I want, I want to open, you know, housing is expensive at the end of the day. Listen, they, you know, I know the housing right now is, is quite expensive. Uh, what I want to do instead of just lowering the pricing on all the houses is try to open up another apartment building so that not everybody's uh, a big old conglomerate in one area. I know it gets a lot of hectic. Some people don't like that. That, that you know, there's too much going on there for some people. And I understand that. And I would love to get another apartment building open somewhere. I want to open at least one more restaurant while I'm in office. You know, Senior Burger, it's a great place. Senior Bun, sorry. My apologies. It's a great place. I love the food. I work there myself. But it is also a hectic place. So I want to give people options. I want to let people do other things. And uh, like I said, <laughs> you know, it's the hardworking civilians like yourself that are going to make this economy great. It's, it's you guys are the ones that put the money into the economy. So, you know, I'm going to continue to work with you guys and know whatever the, you know, whatever it is you want, I want to help with that and uh, make your life more enjoyable, make your, your work more enjoyable, make it more worth your time. And, uh, you know, Max also said something that I agree with. Uh, State-owned businesses... I want to try to find a way to, to get those into the hands of the civilians that have been putting in all the effort. The people that have been there all the time have been taking control, taking leadership positions. They deserve to be rewarded for their hard work. And I'm going to continue to try to do that. Well thought out answer. Handsome man. Wouldn't mind looking at that face a little longer. Not on. I love you, right. Tiny Tony. I, I love you, Billis. The next candidate. Next candidate. Um... How, how are you going to rebuild this economy? What, what are you doing? The economy. It's such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. All right. Well, who's sick of these boring ass answers from these candidates? I am absolutely sick of it. First of all, we got Max GPT here with his five point plan. I mean, let me tell you, at least if we know. So one thing about Max is that he did hooked on phonics. Because day one, he's able to read straight from his note cards. Now, I'm not going to say these big words like the rest of these candidates, like leasing, okay. stock market, yeah. financing. I'm going to talk straight from the heart, straight from the gut. This economy, economy is in shambles because of folks like this. We got, uh, you know, Pelvis over here who has no experience whatsoever. As a parent, he can't even, you know, keep his fucking... His rhetoric straight. He keeps getting heckled by these folks. He gets completely shattered. Look at him. He can't even stay silent when I'm talking. It's the woke mob that has taken our economy by hostage, which is why I have a one point plan. So easy to follow. And that point is called freedom. Because day one, I will be promoting an economy of freedom. I will make sure taxes are low. I will make sure. The materials at Senor Buns are low, which, by the way, none of these candidates even said the name correctly. It's like they're here having their caviar in their, you know, in their Emirates lounges. They don't even go to these establishment that they talk so highly about. S-N-R Buns. And that's, that's why you should vote for Ramasquami. That's R-A. M A S Q U A M Y, twat it right now. I am willing to give away three months free of my On It Brain supplement if you tweet out Ramasquami for president and mayor. Thank you, God, gods, or science bless each and every one of us. Great, great answers. I'm seeing a lot more raw, raw salami. Hey, Ramasquami, twat That's yeah. Uh, not getting the spelling. You know what? Next candidate, rebuilding. We're rebuilding Los Santos man. economically. <laughs> Appreciate it, Tony. <laughs> Hello again. Uh, so, again, okay, I'll just keep it short. Uh, everyone here did say a lot of good points. There was a lot of points that they couldn't do either. Realistically, I'm just going to do what I can. Keep taxes as low as they can. Try to keep uh, 
businesses, you know, be able to pay their employees a good rate to actually match what the economy is. <laughs> it's it's very down right now. Obviously, it's in shambles, but we're all here to rebuild it. I'm here to put tax money where it should be, funding all where it can be, and putting people in the right positions to be able to actually get businesses off the ground. Thank you. Well Succinct done. and a wonderful answer. Thank you. Uh, our next question. Related to our last question. The war in Sanguine. It has bankrupt the government, collapsed Los Santos, and put it in the position that it is in now. And the citizens are bearing the brunt of the weight of what has happened. What do you think went wrong and how would you pre pre prevent such a catastrophe from happening again during your mayoralship? Uh, you may begin. <laughs> all right, look, I don't give a damn, no, no damn about what happens anywhere other than Los Santos, all right? Sanguine can kiss my ass as far as I'm concerned, okay? Because really the only thing I care about is, is law and order in this city and making sure people are staying safe. Hey, hey, get off your damn phone while we're in the damn meeting. Shut the hell up, okay? All right, now listen, all right? We need law and order in this city, and this is a prime example of us not having no damn law and order, okay? We need to make sure that people are safe, all right? And we got to make sure that there's rules. Rules are there for a reason, all right? So we need to go out there, all right? And I don't know about no damn war on Sanguini or whatever the hell. I don't, I, look, I don't care about that, okay? The only any I care about is spaghetti, all right? Tortellini, Rosalini, whatever the hell it's called, all right? So we're gonna go and we're gonna make sure we have law and order in this city. We are. And we're gonna make sure that again, the people are safe and we're not gonna have issues like that, okay? Most issues can be <laughs> solved me. by me just going and talking to them and making sure it's good. And if it ain't solved that way, then I have another way that it can be solved as well. Thank you. <laughs> wow, wow, strong words. Poignant words. Next candidate, please. What went wrong, and how will you prevent it during your Thank you, TM season? Titan. For what reason are we going to other places around the world? We're going to other places, and we are attacking them. We are killing them. Thank you, Mellow we Club. We are causing destruction. Why are we doing that? We should be focused on here. We should be focused on building here making our place san andreas los santos better why are we going around the why are we going around why are we going around destroying things we thanks for the sub magnus guy things. general mitch Appreciate why are we sending it. our law enforcement overseas to thank die? you Keith. power of myth it is dangerous enough right here in los santos there are roaming gangs of people <laughs> with wrenches and knives attacking our group six workers attacking our Crime workers. That's so mean. <laughs> I say the PD has enough to deal with here. We got to focus on building the foundation of this so city. Mean. Some of these emotes are so toxic. Destroying the foundations of anywhere else in this world. All right? The most important thing, the most important thing. <laughs> you funny? You think you're funny? The most important thing <laughs> is that we make sure. <laughs> We build the foundation. <laughs> we build the foundation because this mayoral election, this one right here, will set the tone for every single step, every next step that this city makes. For every next step that this city makes. Let's not fucking step up. Let's make sure that we are not causing destruction that we are building right here in Los Santos. Thank you for that. That's a good answer. It's a good answer right there, ladies and gentlemen. Our next candidate to the floor. What went wrong? <laughs> Simple. A lack of suitable and skilled diplomats to navigate an actual <laughs> constructive discourse for peace. What I the fuck it. was up with the law enforcement officers of the previous government being conscripted as soldiers to fight a war with a sovereign state. 
They're not soldiers. They're cops. They're peacekeepers. They're supposed to be on the street protecting people, ensuring that people like us, yes, us, I'm a worker too, aren't getting robbed by the aforementioned gangs, uh, Stalios, I think his name was, fucking just mentioned. <laughs> They're everywhere, man. <laughs> so it, the thing that fucked us up, or you guys, I was in, I was in prison, <laughs> uh, five years ago was... Uh, <clears throat> The thing that fucked us up five years ago is that uh, we let the, I don't know, no offense guys, but we let the police department kind of run a little bit wild. Uh, should there ever be a sovereign state similar to <clears throat> Sanguine Isle in the future, I personally will be at the forefront of communications and diplomacy to ensure matters do not degenerate into outright war. Thank you. Diplomacy. Take care now. That's a good <laughs> Take care. Very now. interesting. Next. Mayoral candidate, take the floor and answer. Yeah, you better shut the fuck up, man. I was around when the war happened against Sanguine. Uh, and the people of Sanguine, they had their reasons for what they did. It was handled poorly. The government was shit. Uh, ma'am? Ma'am? Ma'am, get the hell out of here. The hell out of you, man. Go, go on, mayor candidate. There are a lot of people that are that are heckling and coming on stage. Holy shit! Can we I thought please that was give this guy Lion. some respect, please? Thank you. Uh, the the government handled it poorly. Uh, there was a lot of you know I, I knew people that were involved, and uh, you know what? I think the whole thing could have been avoided if if we had uh, uh, better people in power <laughs> in the positions for the PD. To de-escalate the situation instead of pushing for, for violence. I, I feel like that's what they really wanted at the time. And unfortunately, a lot of people got hurt. And it was a big disaster. And uh, I'm going to make sure that the people that are, you know, the people that are in that position and the people that uh, myself are going to be way more diplomatic in our approach. <laughs> We're not going to want to send police officers to die and our civilians that... You know, uh, from here over to an island to fight a war that did not need to be fought. Uh, the, like I said, the people of Sanguine had their reasons, and I don't blame them for what they did. Uh, but uh, I do wish that bloodshed never happened, and I'm going to do my best to, uh, to make sure that nothing like that ever happens again. An answer that rings of peace. Wonderful. Wonderful. Next mayoral candidate. Sanguine, what went wrong? How would you prevent such a tragedy? Yeah, what fucking went wrong, you bald sack of shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, careful, Max GPT, don't short circuit with those big words. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, it's so funny to be up here because none of these Damn. bozos even answered the question day one. That's exactly right, Lilith. Because here's what I'm gonna oh, say yeah, there's crazy. been a war on our country in Sanguine, and there's a war on our country right now. It's a war against the woke mob. And let me tell you, the war in Sanguine, what a tragedy. I wanna say, there's certain wars that are worth fighting. Specifically, specifically, there's a war that we should fight, and that war is a war against aliens from Mars, which is why day one, I'm gonna build an entire dome to cover Los Santos to make sure those aliens don't come into Los Santos and, and you know, hang out among us. Because at the end of the day, I wanna be fighting right besides you economically and by war. I am going to say, and I'm proud to say, I will address your questions directly. Now, I hate to get somber on a debate stage, but let me just say, a lot of lives have been lost in war, and which is why I want to pass a legislation day one called Thoughts and Prayers. Because let me tell you, what we have right now is health care. I want to provide sick care. And that's for the fine veterans who, are, who fought for us so valiantly. I want to make sure you're taken care of, which ironically, none of these bozos, including Mr. Corn Fraud, who I would think would know better, even mention the veterans, the real heroes to protect our interests. So if we are to go to war, just realize I know the severity of it, and I would absolutely represent all of you at home to make sure we bring back a dub, just like my, the shape of my hair. Thank you so much. Hashtag Ramasquami, sponsored by Onyx Brain Supplements. Day one. Day one.
that. Name one veteran. Well, here's the thing. It's a great question, Max. I didn't know we we're going to have a back and forth. On the way here, I was in a Gruber ride, and the Gruber driver was a veteran. So for that reason, I know veterans, let me tell you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Very interesting answer. Started with an alien dome. But led Don't to fuck veterans with me, rights. Very hot and cold. Very hot and cold. Mixed You're emotions on that right, one. Uh, very good. Good answers. Uh, next mayoral candidate. Uh, Warren Sanguine. What went wrong? How do we not get there again? All right. Uh, Warren for Sanguine. Uh, honestly, couldn't remember enough from it. It was so long ago. All I can really say is doing, you know, keeping funding and keeping the police force healthy and stable in the city it was what make it not really happen again civilian you know we're all here to work together for one goal and that's to create the city better uh yeah keeping uh peace would be the best thing but oh you know, stopping something like that that comes with a lot of <laughs> sit down. Uh, yeah i'm, I'm yelling as loud as i can sorry Go on. Dang, wait, we went yeah. virus. Anyway. Wait, this is good. Can, can everyone hear me? Yup. Right, Down perfect. going. Yeah. So again, I, for those that didn't hear me, I don't know enough about saying green, really. It was so long ago. <laughs> I'm just here to try to keep the peace of the city, delegate where it's needed, and really just keep the police force as civil and good to the people as possible and vice versa that's the that's the most we can really do in this type of position i'll just end it at that thank you candidates another question that's been on everybody's mind i hear this going around the street i hear this time and time again aspiring business owners with some pretty brilliant ideas how would you and your cabinet handle business proposals uh i would like to begin on the opposite side now uh mayoral candidate uh donnie mcmuffin if you could go uh, first oh I I, I I i i i it's out of order i meant to hit the gritty that was not the gritty thank you thank you codwood oh sir sir you're gonna have to keep your hands to yourself okay oh Look at this fucking chaos. We got mayoral candidates arresting each other. What is this? Why is this uh, happening? Sir, you go right ahead. Sir, you go right ahead. I appreciate it. Cool. I'll watch his ass. All right, take care now. Okay, repeat the question one more time. Tony, totally sorry, my head is. Uh... How would you and your cabinet handle business you proposals right. in the so sorry, future? Sir. Do you have a plan mayoral, to handle these pathetic. proposals? I imagine there will be quite an influx. Well, absolutely. So, being a mayor, you really just have to appoint the people in positions to be able to start going over and handling those sort of things. Proposals, obviously, I've, I've talked to a few people already about certain businesses that they would like to do in the city. Uh, but the only way to get there is by having people actually in the cabinet or in the Senate. Uh, that would be the first way of actually getting things going, which is my first thing I plan on doing. Obviously, having businesses and proposals <laughs> being read and actually get going will really help out the city start prospering. Uh, and it'll help people, to, uh, you know, go with their goals and ambitions. What's that? Wonderful answer. Wonderful answer. Uh, next candidate, uh, again, moving from this side now. How would you handle business proposals moving forward? It's such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. Well, first and foremost, I just want to address what you all witnessed on the stage. I was I took two on it brain supplements this morning. I am absolutely ready to get to fight for Los Santos, and I'm not going to stand idly by as some of these absolutely reprehensible mayoral candidates will just spew absolute vitriol and nonsense, which is why I got a little excited, but I did it for all of you. And let me tell you, regarding business proposals, I have a lot of business uh, experience under my belt, for I am an outsider, okay? Specifically, in 2005, I won, well, excuse I got the runner-up on the YMCA Local League for a basketball team, and I was the assistant coach for that team. 
That takes leadership, it takes guts, and it takes gumption. Now, in terms of business, I have a vast experience of calling up my daddy asking for funds to donate a library to many institutions, which is why I believe in open and free enterprise. In fact, right before this debate, I was meeting with a local tech company. Learning and listening, which is what I truly believe in. Let's get it trending on Twitter. I also took... And, and this is not an, a plug, but I also have a relationship with HelpBetter.com. Anxiety is running <coughs> anxiety is running rampant this holiday season. You can go ahead and use my code. Use my code. Use my code in the app, and I will take care of each and every one of you. Vote Ramasquami. Get it trending on Twitter. That's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, an interesting answer. Uh, food for thought. Uh, next candidate. Business proposals. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Beetlejuice, he's a funny guy, he's a funny guy. Uh, business proposals. Uh, I want... You know, I will personally be reading. I, I would I would like to read every single business proposal that comes through. Um, I also will say, though, uh, I don't want to flood the economy with businesses right off the bat. I want to slow roll them in. I, I want to take the best ideas and I want to, uh, you know, provide help and funding or whatever it is possible that I can do to help with that said businesses. But I do not want to, you know, flood the economy with with 30 businesses as soon as I get into office. I want to. I want people to think about what they want to do. I want people to put thought, effort, and uh, all all types of things into uh, their proposals. I don't want to, you know, I don't think uh, having 50 stores like we used to in the old days that sell the same thing are, is really going to help the economy. If anything, I think it makes it much worse. It floods the economy with with uh, money into pockets of people that aren't doing anything i want hard working people that deserve their businesses to get their businesses and i want to help in any any way that i can you got big ass titties beetlejuice go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it thank you guys thank you thank you wonderful wonderful an economically conscious answer next candidate how would you and your cabinet handle business proposals how many of you motherfuckers in the crowd are trying to start a business someone 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 shoot that cricket like, like literally everyone here right now let's see a raise of hands can we, can we get some hands in the crowd of people who are looking to start a business all right you know, unfortunately, most of you probably are not going to have your businesses approved under my administration because, like Pilbus, we're going to take very careful <laughs> inspections of proposals submitted to us, which I intend on hearing in and when I hold court for those special 10 people every day. Of course, I'll be speaking to my constituents all throughout my particular reign. That said, uh, with the establishment of my Chamber of Commerce and with oversight from the council, it will be quite easy for us to unanimously, or not, agree upon the businesses that we need in Los Santos. Uh, there is an economic revival going on right now, and it's very important that we moderate ourselves so that we are, like Pilba said once again, uh, we don't flood the market per se. Only the most capable, only the most dedicated, only the most savvy stand a chance in this new Los Santos. Thank you. Good answers. Good answers. Important answers for us to know. Next candidate, business proposals. How would you and your cabinet handle this? Reeds, thank you for the tier one. Lucid Dreams, thank you. Me, people in the city you. right now that are looking for businesses, that want to have their businesses approved, that want to go make something with their own two hands, have something, that have the drive, that have the passion, that have everything that they could need internally to start these businesses. What we need to make sure <laughs> he really did we kill to make sure we do is when we are looking at these businesses, we don't stamp them, denied, send them away, never talk to them again, don't tell them why they were denied, never speak to them again. We need to work with these people. 
Everyone here has ideas. Everyone here, I believe, has ideas that are great, has ideas that can be good if they are tempered and refined. We need to make sure that we are working with people that want to have these businesses. We can't limit them. We can't send them away. We need to work with these people. We need to tell them what went wrong. We need to tell them why they were denied. We need to set them up with someone that can guide them through the steps that they need so that they can have a business. I want everyone to succeed. I want everyone to succeed, and you're not gonna succeed by getting a denial stamp and then being sent away, never to be seen again, never to be heard Thank of again. The shattered. only way we can succeed is by understanding what we've done wrong and improving. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good answer. Important to consider how to handle <laughs> denials. Wow, this that art's incredible. Answer. What the fuck? Next mayoral candidate, business proposals. How will you handle them? <laughs> you don't hear that? Okay. Hey, turn off your fucking phone, bitch. Yeah, turn off your dadgum phone. Those are our voters, and we should treat them with respect. You yeah, have the freedom to do whatever you want. Damn tracking device in it anyway. We are not better than you. You can do whatever you want. Okay, now listen up. I, I know there's a hell of a lot of folks here that. Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm not like a lot of these other folks, all right? I'm, look, I'm, I'm one of you, all right? I'm a common man. You know, I have a, listen, my family, they have a farm. You know, we got a family business, and I know there's a lot of folks like y'all who've moved into the city over the years, and maybe your family's got a business, all right? Maybe you want to have opportunities for your family to move into this city. Maybe you want to have your families have that opportunity to come in here, all right? and be able to expand and be able to continue to grow and uh, be able to, uh, <clears throat> to, to uh, continue on for many generations, right? Now, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to go out there and we're going to want to be able to take these business proposals and look at, hey, what is going to work in this city? Because truthfully, all right, truthfully, this is the land of opportunity, all right? This is Los Santos, all right? And you should have every single damn opportunity all right, you should have every single damn opportunity that you can have in order to make something of yourself. Now, not only that, there's certain things that this city needs. There's certain things that we need for the people, all right? So it ain't just about the businesses, all right? It's also about the consumers. It's about the customers, all right? It's about the people of this city who want certain opportunities, all right? They want certain opportunities. They want certain luxuries that you might not have right now. And I think that's the big thing. I think it goes both ways, and that's with every business. All right? Smoke it's not Tabby, just the thanks for the prime. Itself, but it's also the people there that want what they don't have right now. Like, a focus on supply and demand. Very frugal, very smart. Thank you, candidates, for your answers. For the remainder of the debate, we will turn the floor over to you, <laughs> oh, the fine God. folks of Los Santos. Oh, no. Please feel free to twat out questions for these candidates oh, no. and we will select a few from among them. Oh no. You may begin now. Yeah, I've got a question. All right, I see one here um, from a, a Gilbert Panzarelli. What are your thoughts on the current state of first responders um if we could start at the other side again uh and move through um candidates you can remain where you are for these this section I'm gonna go take a shit. <laughs> this would be this would be mayor candidate cornwood wait can, can you read the question one more time he's not listening <laughs> that's the problem of course uh of course i can uh what are your thoughts on the state of first responders currently in the city. Oh, absolutely. I would love to talk about this. I think historically, I think historically first responders have been something that has honestly not been treated with the respect that they deserve. First responders are, are some of the most damn important people in this city. Most damn important people in this city and we need them more than damn near anybody. Why? Because there's so many damn problems. There's so many damn problems with the damn quality of food that we have right now where people are dehydrated people are hungry people are 
going out there and they're passing out. We, we have EMS running all over the city every single damn second of the day, all right? Every single damn second of the day. And these people need to be treated with respect, like I was saying. So I, I do think first responders in this city, I think they, uh, they do need to be respected. And I think every single damn person in this city who doesn't show them the damn respect that they deserve uh, is, is not doing right, not only by them, but also uh, by, by themselves. Because when that service is out there, that service is out there for you. Those people are out there for you, all right? Again, just like many of the other people here, they're all a part of the damn ecosystem, okay? They're all a part of the damn ecosystem, and every single person plays a role in that ecosystem, and that's what makes this damn city great, all right? That is what sets Los Santos apart, and that's what we need to strive to be. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Next uh, candidate, and uh, you may remain where you are. You don't have to take the front. Uh, I like here. taking the front. I like I like stepping okay, up and feel free and taking the front here. Right now, all across the city, people are passing out because they're starving. They're dying on the streets. People are getting hurt. They're getting nudged by cars passing out falling on the streets, incapacitated, they can't get up. These EMS are flooded. Has anyone here, I know for a fact, everyone here has been to the hospital, has been to that hospital in the south side, and they've been in that room, they've been in the, the back there, and they've heard, the second they walk in, you hear these moaning sounds. Like you walked into the hall of the damned and there's damned souls around you. Oh, I need help, I need help, I need help. And sometimes you go there and honest staff and you got one, two, three people running around, running again, trying to get everyone back to their feet. And it's a, a chorus of, oh, oh, oh. We need to make sure that these people, that these people are treated fairly. These EMS who are helping us when we are dying, we are dying in the streets. People are starving. They can't make it back to the city. They are passing out while they are driving back to the city to find something to eat. Right now, the EMS, there was an EMS worker. He came up to the lumber yard and we were talking. They were telling us that there are many EMS workers that can't run their ambulance truck because it's too expensive to get them repaired. So they have ambulances that are just sitting there, dead, dead, in the, in the, in the ambulance parking lot, in the hospital parking lot. Why are we forcing these people who are surrounded, who are surrounded all day, every day, with the moaning sounds of people dying, to go out of their own pocket, to spend their own money, to fix the vital equipment that they need to save us from dying. Our first responders, our cops, our cops that have to deal with these roving gangs of people with wrenches and knives. Why are we forcing them to spend out of their own pocket? so that they have to, when they do a pit maneuver, all of a sudden, it's not, how do I stop these violent people from hurting more people? The thought, even if it's just brief, even if it's just for a moment, the thought gets in their head, and a little shred of doubt appears. If I pit this fucking guy, am I gonna have to spend 300, 400, 500, 1,000 dollars at the, at the mechanic shop? And that shred of doubt can cost lives can cost lives. We need to make sure that these EMS, that these first responders are set up and they are set up good and they are set up clean because they <laughs> are the people that are stopping us from being incapacitated. You won't know how many people I've gone up to the uh, lumber yard and I've seen they're knocked out because they get attacked by cougars because they're starving, they're thirsty, their blood sugars are low and they just pass out, and, and the EMS, they try, they try, they try to be everywhere that they can, but there's so much chaos in the city, and they're so understaffed that they can't be everywhere, and we can't have that. We need to make sure that Phillip, we have is he a new facility. Strength? I want to make sure there's a new facility, either in Sandy or Polito, somewhere up north, so that they're not taking 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes, an hour to get all the way up north and all the way back to <laughs> these people.
<laughs> it's dire. I don't think these people behind me understand just how dire it is. I don't think any of these people have struggled to afford a burger. There has been times me and my boys and my girls down at the lumberyard, we don't know if we will be able to eat a meal because we don't have the fucking money. And the only people that will help us when we're passed out and we're incapacitated are these EMS people. And we need to make sure that they have the means, that they have the ability to get to us. It is serious. It is so serious. We need to make sure. Let me calm down just a little bit because I'm getting passionate about this stuff. Please excuse me. Please excuse me. But it is so serious that we get these people the equipment that they need, the setups that they need. <laughs> They're doing so much for us. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. A passionate answer. Next question. Yeah, yeah Tiny, can you go ahead and uh, reiterate? Yeah, uh, of given, course. Given that uh, that last answer took about 10 minutes to finish. Of course. Uh, what do you feel could be improved for our first responders? What do you feel the state of the first responders are right now? Uh, terrible. And uh, allow me to take this time to personally thank the uh, first responders that were responsible for getting the dangerous <laughs> Vivek Ra Pastrami off the streets when he was arrested for brandishing a couple of days ago. I know it was extremely uncomfortable to probably have to arrest your mayoral candidate like that. However, uh, it is good news to hear that his felony charge was dropped in court uh, a little bit later. Thank you again for your service. Uh, I salute you personally, and I'm sure everyone else here in the city does, at least honest working people in the city. As for EMS, um, a new facility is good. Definitely a, an idea that my uh, campaign team and jurisdiction will explore. Uh, I'm interested in kind of modernizing the uh, the EMS vehicles a little bit. I mean, they're big, they're slow, they're bulky, they're square, uh, a bit cumbersome <laughs> to drive around, especially in the mountains. With you know, modernizing of equipment, uh, you know, subsidizing cops and their you know required pit maneuver fees and whatnot. All excellent ideas. All ideas that we will be implementing once I'm elected. Uh, apart from that, keep up the good work, boys and girls. Uh, hopefully, you know, you don't get stabbed. It's a it's fucking war zone out there. Thank you. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Next candidate. <laughs> The EMS are probably the, uh, the the most important people of the city, honestly. I mean, they help all of us when everybody's doing bad. Uh, they, they are the ones that save our lives continuously, them and the doctors. And uh, for, for EMS specifically, I know back in the day, uh, we used to have high, uh, they used to have high speed response unit cars. Uh, they used to have explorers that they would drive to, to be able to pick up people that were struggling up north instead of those big bulky ambulances, as cool as they look, they aren't very efficient in, in getting people medical treatment in a timely manner. So I definitely want to do that. I want to get uh, some more vehicles and help them in that way, if possible. I also want to see if I could get life flight back for the EMS. Uh, not having a helicopter to help them when people are getting hurt on mountains or up north is, uh, I think, a massive problem. And I think uh, life flight and helicopters and being able to help them in that regard is huge. Uh, when it comes to police officers as first responders, like I mentioned earlier, I want uh, I want to help fund dispatch for the police. So when you need it, you don't have to sit there and type out a fucking message on your phone and hope that uh, somebody responds to you. I want you to be able to call 911 and be able to speak to a real human being and get the help. Well, what if somebody's chasing you with a knife and you need to talk to uh, hey, do you a have police food? officer or uh, you need help? You're not going to have time to get uh, on the phone and type a fucking message and try to get help. Never That's mind. just not how it's going to work. I know a lot of people don't look favorably at the police, but the police do help a lot uh, with the everyday civilians that don't want to hurt people uh, uh, and, and don't really want to protect themselves and, and necessarily aren't violent people themselves. So uh, there is... I want to make sure that the police are able to hire on more officers. I've heard from civilians. I've been going around talking to people that... A lot of the times, and not at the fault of the police officers, uh, just 
uh, at the fault of the fact that there isn't money hey, and uh, they don't have the funding they need to hire more. Was there, was um, there food food chance? That sometimes yeah. they aren't able to give a report. They're not able to report a crime. They're not able to get the help that they deserve and that Thank they need. So, much. Do you have so I want to make sure chance? that they do that. And of course, with oh. uh, uh, to the best of my ability, I want to okay. help supervise and make sure that only people Thank that, you. you know, it's not necessarily my job as mayor, but I want to make sure that the people they do hire are Thank of uh, good standard. And don't uh, aren't corrupt, aren't horrible so people, much, and are Dick. actually there to help the civilians. <laughs> Wonderful answer. Wonderful answer. <laughs> For our first responders, next candidate, please take the floor and ask us what do you, what do you think of the state of our first responders, and what would you do to improve it? Well, first of all, first and foremost, good morning. I mean, what a snooze fest this has been. Hope you're all doing well. Here's what I will say. Oh, it's so easy to talk from their thrones about what should and what could. But let me tell you, I'm going to talk about what I will do. On the ground floor, who's sick of being unable to use these broken elevators? Yes, I pledge on absolutely fixing it day one. I want to make sure, day one, I want to make sure I get on the ground to fix those elevators because something about it, the EMS, something important is that they have to make sure they can move quickly. And I spoke to so many EMS, which a lot of these frauds have not done. I have spoken day to the people, day one, I've rolled up my sleeves, yeah, yeah. I've gotten down and dirty, and I've actually spoken to them, which is why I want to fix the elevators and increase the pay, not only of doctors, but also the receptionists. And let me just be the first Woo! candidate to recognize, not a single woman on stage running for office, which I think is a travesty, which is why I pledge that my second in command will be Lilith who is a woman and who is a powerful and well-spoken citizen of Los Santos. Damn. So let me be, that's right. that's right, let me be the representative for the people, by the people, to represent all of you. Thank you so much, and I yield the, my, the rest of my time to the fine EMSs, because I am willing to listen directly to you, unlike these total frauds on the stage. Woo! Yeah, well put. Well put. EMS, please do not take the stage. We appreciate you. <laughs> Next candidate. Thanks, Tiny. Of course. The state of first responders <laughs> and what you would do to improve it. Uh, so honestly, uh, state responders, obviously, they are some of the most important people in the city. They keep everyone well, alive half the time. Uh, <laughs> without them, we're... We would, we would probably eat some more or nothing. Uh, the state of it, yes, they have the people. They have a, quite a lot of people working as EMS workers, doctors, everything else. But it's true. They, they can't pull out the vehicles that they need, and they don't have the money to be able to do it. To be able to get the proper funding to them to be able to do those things is what will really help them thrive and succeed better. Whether that we can use the funding to get better vehicles or whatever <laughs> else they need, that'd be fantastic. But for now, it would just be to get them what they need now to improve and prosper. Thank you. Great answers. Great answers. This one is from Weasel News, and what we could keep this one short. Which candidate would you vote for other than yourself? What do you say? And we'll keep you all back here for this one. This one we'll do as a short one. Uh, starting with uh, Mr. Cornwood. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Okay, it's fine. You, you go right up there. Who would I vote for? It's a damn good question. I feel like probably the most <laughs> well-prepared candidate that we have. <laughs> I can't. I'm actually it losing might be my mind. <laughs> But then again, 
Pilbus might have been a terrorist. I remember years ago. I don't know if that ever got <laughs> oh. solved or not. So I don't quite trust him. Uh, Max Thoroughbred seems like a stand-up guy. <laughs> kind of insulting at times. Max Thoroughbred seems like a stand-up guy and also seems pretty well, uh, uh, he seems, he seems pretty well prepared for this thing. You got, uh, Mr. Prostrami, who's, uh, I mean, he, uh, I don't know. I mean, he, he I don't know what he, he's talking about because I, I thought he wasn't woke. And then that last comment, I think he's woke and I don't want to deal with any of that bullshit. Okay. Mm -hmm, I don't want to deal with any of that bullshit. Uh, hell, and, and, and sir, what's your name again? Stelio. I think you're incredibly well prepared as well. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I, I, hell, I'd probably say Max Thoroughbred is probably who I'd vote for. What the fuck? If I didn't vote for myself. If I had two votes, I'd vote for myself with the first one, and then myself for the second one. But if I had three, I'd vote for Max Thoroughbred. Okay. Uh-huh. I appreciate your answer. Uh-huh. Okay. Next candidate, who would you vote for if you could not vote for yourself? All right, there's no reason for me to step up. This is, this is a quick one. Let me say, Mr. Pilbus is the only person on this stage that I've heard even mention the word union. He's the only person that has talked about working with the unions, even saying the word. Mr. Pilbus, I don't know if you've gone up north. I don't know if you've gone to the lumberyard. I don't know what unions you visited, if you have visited any. But I know there's not one candidate that's gone up north and talked to anyone that I know. I know there's not one candidate that's gone up north and has talked to anyone that I know about. Anyone at the dancers' union, Mr. Bernie over there, uh, Antonio with the taxis' union, Antonio uh, also working with the tow union. But just the fact that you even mention the word union, if I had to vote for someone, it'd be you, my friend. Thank you. Good I answer. That a lot. Uh, next candidate, who would you vote for if you could not vote for yourself? Uh, I think Stelio has uh, pretty much secured my vote because when I'm elected mayor, I mean, second place does become deputy. I'm going to need someone to kind of uh, represent the interests <laughs> of the North. <laughs> That's all. Understood. Understood. Next candidate. Uh, you know, uh, I was thinking... That uh, if I was elected or if I was going to be deputy mayor, I would want to do it with Maximilian. Uh, I think it'd be great. But uh, Stelio, I did not know was running for mayor till now. And uh, I also think that he is fantastic. And honestly, I'm torn between the two. Uh, that would be that would be something that I have to learn a little bit more about both of them before I was able to decide. Okay. Okay, next candidate. Look at all of these political phonies endorsing each other. I'm sorry to interrupt your tea party, but I'm an outsider and I will commit to being a representative for you. Okay, I am not going to, look at them. They're all groveling at each other's feet, hoping they can secure some sort of position. Well, let me tell you, I am not going to do that. Cause day one, I represent the people. And if I don't win, I do not promise a peaceful transfer of power, which is why if I don't win, I hope you take the mantle. So stand back and stand by. Okay. All right. Hey, that was an interesting one. But good. Good answer. All right. And uh, the next candidate. <laughs> uh, this might be a shock, <laughs> but probably the least. Um, <laughs> i say the most probably respectful person I would say would be Cornwood I would vote for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Understood. We're friends, Uchiha. Well, to be fair, we don't do hangings anymore. We do uh, firing squads. Yeah, firing squads. Yeah. All right, we still have time for a few more questions. Uh, just give me a moment to look through here.
If I, if I might make a suggestion, uh, oh, Ursula. here we go. Now, let's shut up, Baldy. Listen, okay. Take Ursula, off the hat. Take off the hat, tough guy. <laughs> Ursula extensively covered the uh, Warren Sanguine and is uh, currently a representative of LSBN, I believe. Weasel News, right? Yeah. Uh, well, she had a great question. Oh wait, that was your question that we just answered. Did, didn't you have another one? I do have one prepared here while Ursula finds hers. On the campaign, it. oh, you got it? It was just what makes you better than the other candidates. That was the original. Okay. Question. You know what? Since since Twat is going so quick, let me do this one, and then we're gonna we're gonna hold on to that one for the next. You should probably wrap pretty soon. Yeah. A little bit yeah. On the campaign trail, there are a lot of folks that are very present on Twata, and some that are not. My question is, do what do you do with your day? Well, we can begin with Mr. Corwood. What do I do with my day? Well, let me tell you. I, 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 ain't, I ain't one who's... I ain't too damn big on that Thank social media or none of that, okay? I, I ain't particularly fond of it or uh, Thank particularly you, invested in it. But you know what I am invested in? Again... I'm invested in the people. You know, I spend my days patrolling the streets, policing, making sure the city is safe. And I'm out there interfacing. I'm out there talking to business owners. I'm out there talking to the citizens. Because, look, not everybody in this city is, is wanting to lead a life of crime. Not everybody in this city is, you know, wanting to try and run for office or be a part of the government or, you know, be a part of the police department. In fact, most people don't do any of that shit, okay? A lot of people in this city want to have a good, nice, honest living, I'm sure. And that's what I spend my day doing. I spend my day with the people of this city and interfacing with as many many people as possible, trying to make sure people are safe, all right? <laughs> and uh, that's it. I mean, that's all I do. I don't give no dams about Twitter. All right. Good answer. Next candidate. Bratwurst, thanks for the prime. Right now, if I wasn't running for mayor, I'll tell you what I'd be doing. I'd be up at the lumber yard. I'd be passing out hard hats. I'd be introducing people. I'd be getting them ready. I'd be teaching them, giving them experience, getting them through the job. Unfortunately, the circumstances which have arised, even though the actual voting day hasn't even been settled yet, we're ho already hosting debates. We're already talking. There are already people out there running around, jumping out of sewer pipes, running up to you, jump scaring you like the guy from It, trying to get you to vote for them. Vote for me, vote for me, vote for me. What I do every day, I don't, l I don't linger around corners. I don't linger in closets waiting for you to jump out, waiting for you to pass by so I can jump out and tell you to vote for me. I've been calling people. I've been visiting places, places that candidates have not been in years. They have told me, they said a candidate hasn't come here in five years, six years, seven years, eight years. I, people have forgotten about us. I, that's the type of person I want to talk to. I don't want to jump scare some Joe Smo coming out of the Senior Burgers, uh, Senior Buns. What is the me, question? Coming out of the Senior Buns. I want to talk to the people that have been forgotten. I talk to the people that have been pushed aside, that have not been acknowledged by any mayor in literally years. When I'm not doing that, I go down to City Hall, I pester the guys down to City Hall, Miss Sherry Pie, lovely Miss Sherry Pie, the uh, wonderful uh, Mr. Castle down there, and I talk to him. I bring out some concerns. People tell me things, and I try to bring things up to him. I was down at City Hall, and Miss Jane brought up an issue she was having with the bun machine at Senior Burgers. I brought it up to Mr. Castle, and very quickly, this man goes and he increases the capacity, or he passes it up, and someone in increases the capacity for the bun machine. I go down to City Hall, I talk, I talk, I say, hey, we're making no money. Up at the lumber yard. And very quickly, within days, someone comes 
and they start buying the lumber up at the lumber yard. We're making money up there now. That wasn't happening a week ago. We were making nothing. I don't want to waste Bryce. my time, waste your time, waste everybody's time lingering, what is jump scaring people that are just trying to mind their own business. I want to get stuff done. And even if I'm not mayor, I'm still out here and I'm still trying to get stuff done. So that's how you spend your day, huh? Great stuff. Next candidate. I'm doing the gritty, my friend. Uh, dance for children, kind of weird. Anyway, That's hey guys, right. you know I've met I've met most of you guys uh, in person. I see a lot of you in the crowd. I've spoken to individually about what you want to see in a new uh, government. Uh, that's pretty much how I spend my day. I do the same jobs that you do. I try to talk to everyone that I can, get to know them. Uh, I've got over 80 contacts on my phone right now, going up by the the hour even, uh, which will tie in, of course, quite well to my desire to speak individually with you once I am elected mayor. Um, that's it. I just talk to people. Kind of boring, I guess, in a way. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Next candidate. <laughs> I don't want to just uh, rehash the same stuff everybody else has been saying, but I have been I've been doing the he same. Talks to I have people. been talking to the the working individuals. I've been going around. Trying to speak to uh, people working in every facet of life. I've been, I've went down to the mechanic shops. I went to the, uh, I went to the police department. I went to the hospital. I went, I've talked to people at Senior Buns to see what they want. What's this I've been, club That's called? all I've been doing. Unfortunately, with the holidays, I I wasn't around. So the past couple of days, so I wasn't talking to that many people then. But that's what I could uh, plan to continue doing. I want to hear from the people. I want to know what you guys <laughs> want because that's what I really want to do. I want to help with what you guys need. Um, I also work the same jobs that you guys do. I, I am funding my own campaign. It's been rough. That's why I've been working at uh, Senior Buns to try to make some money. I've also tried out the other jobs as well just to see what they were like, just so I could get some uh, perspective on, on, on the jobs themselves. And uh, I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to talk to people. I have always have my name and number in the yellow pages so people can reach out to me and uh that's that sign singing i don't know what that means good answer good answer our next candidate thank you so much <clears throat> well first and foremost i'm going to be completely honest with you guys because honesty is sort of my uh platform Every morning, I woke up and go to Vanilla Unicorn, and I whisper in strippers' ears that they don't have to do this. Because let me tell you, I support strippers after marriage. Then what I do is I want to get talking to the people, because I am a candidate day for- one. Day one! I'm a candidate for the people, by the people. So I go to different areas to talk to different people. I'll send my support to the south side to see what's going on over there. I have recently gone to Mosley's and also signed a contract with the leader of Mosley's to make sure that I'm representing them as well. Now, all these candidates, they're all just lying and out of touch. I have a viral Tic Tac account that I use to elevate my platform. Now, Maximilian Melatonin came up here, and on the side, he said he's against the gritty. Now, I'm sorry, but it sounds like he's against fun. And I will not be silenced if I was elected your mayor, which is why on Twitter, go hashtag R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y and, uh, and let me know if you're supporting me. And if you wouldn't mind... Hey everybody, Rama Squad, I'm here with another vlog, episode 532. I'm here in front of the people and everyone in this frame endorses me. And I just want to say, if I was lucky enough to be your mayor, I hope to represent you at home. This is brought to you by Onnit Brain Supplements. For three months free, go to ramasquami.co.ru.nz. Thank you so much, and take care. Let's change things up the Ramasquami way. A vote for Ramasquami is a vote for Ramasquamwi. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. The next candidate. <laughs> you want to repeat the question, please? Uh, what is your day-to-day -day like? Well, that's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, so honestly, my day to day is like everyone else here. I work at Cedar Buns. I'm a supervisor there for the kitchen. I do a lot of Guba. <laughs> I help with towing. I just go around, meet people, help people when needed. I'm driving around and see somebody needs a ride. I'll pick them up and bring them when they need to go. 
Thank you. If someone wants out that they need food, I'll go bring them food. Like I'm, I'm just a uh, help of a people person. That's really all I do with my time. Uh, yeah, Twada is great all, but I don't use it as much as everyone else probably. But it's just not so much my thing. I have been, you know. I use it for some ads, you know, about their campaigning. But other than that, thank you, Salted Cheese. I really couldn't care much about Thank, thank you. you so much, Cannabis Majoris. Okay. Hail Reed, thanks for all the subs. Wonderful Appreciate it a lot. We have one final question here at the debates. And we'll start over here with Mayor Candidate McMuffin. <laughs> and go that way. <laughs> what will you do for the vegetarians of this city? Oh, okay. <laughs> They're living on fries. They're living on energy bars, folks. Yeah, they, they are. So, as we get quite a lot of people coming to see the <laughs> buttons about veggie options, and the only thing we can really give right now is with no, bu with no burger, which is quite sad. If we can get some sort of veggie burger option or maybe like, uh, you know, a falafel <laughs> option, that would be fantastic. It also depends on, you know, down the line what other stores and restaurants do open Thank up. Thank you, the we Salmon can just get a Salmon Lord. Vegetarian option place that would be fantastic you'll you know give people different things to try out and taste and have what you like swampy boy yeah. good answer good answer next candidate it's such a great question and thank you so much here's what you're about to hear coddle day coddle one. coddle day one they're gonna tell you exactly what you want which is why i the vague ramasquami want to let you know I will not offer vegetarian options unless uh, unless you really need oh it. Oh my god. That's exactly right. And I don't care if that's oh unpopular to say god. because that's the truth. I went to a Senor Buns and I asked for a bacon burger made in America and they couldn't produce anything. Have you noticed there's no customization in terms of burgers? Which is why if I was given the great opportunity to run for mayor, I would want every single piece of meat to be made in Los Santos by fine folks like yourself, which is why I believe in an all meat liver diet. And that's exactly what my wife's boyfriend uh, uh, eats as well. And I want to make him very happy. God, gods, or science, bless you all. Ramaswamy on Twitter. Okay, a shocker there towards the end. Very good, good answers. Next candidate. Uh, like I said, I, I do plan on helping fund another restaurant if I get in office. Uh, I want every I want everybody to feel included. I want everybody to feel like they have something that they need. If if vegetarian options is something that people want and need, then they'll have it as long as I'm uh, as, as as much as I'm able to do. I, I like I said, I want everybody to feel like they have what they need in the city. I want everybody to be included. No matter whether it's food or whatever else, I mean, you are your own individual people, and uh, if you if you need something, I want to help you get it to feel included. I'm I'm, that's how I feel about that in any facet, not not just food, but whatever it is that you want to be included and feel inclusive. Oh, good answer. Good answer. It's a good answer. Inclusivity. Next candidate. Uh, this one's simple. I've been working with uh, the queen of hippies, Tessa Lamb. She's part You're of my campaign. Person. I hate you. To Let me get your begin drafting up an, an yeah, expert about, yeah, menu I know you want for to vegans, off, for gluten-free, for vegetarians. No longer are you going to have to order four fries from Senior Buns to get your vegetarian fix. Uh, we're going to be having and overseeing quite a few businesses that have had some great ideas for uh, you know vegetarian options. Thank you. Already thinking ahead. Great question. A go, go, great answer. You know, what can I say? Uh, next Look, candidate. guys, guys, this isn't the craziest thing in the world, all right? Burger King has had the Impossible Burger for, like, what, five years now? Vegetarian options are already a thing. All we need to do is make sure that Senior Buns, as well as any other business that wants to open yeah, and bad. give food diversity, diversity in food, vegetarian options, they just have a mean to get these more food options on the menu. 
That's all we need. It's not the craziest thing in the world, guys. Come on. Total pandering from all the candidates. Simple answer, but an effective answer. Candidate Cornwood, the floor is yours. Vegetarians, what do we do about them? Come on, Cornwood. Come on! Vegetarians? Yeah, they're surviving on fries. Energy bars, what do we do? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Absolutely nothing, because I don't give a damn shit about vegetarians, all right? <gasps> Let's go! Truth to power! Truth to power! Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of Los Santos, there you have it. The first debate in a historic election. Wait, wait, wait. Before, before we uh, leave, Tiny, can you reintroduce this one more time? Uh, of course, of course. Actually, would each, each candidate like to uh, go through and uh, say goodbye to the crowd on your own? Sure. I mean, that'd be a nice, nice farewell. We'll start with you, uh, Mayor Elect Cornwood. I was not listening to the last three sentences you said. You just saying goodbye that? to the crowd, Cornwood. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I wanted to thank all y'all for coming. I mean, I, I know everybody's had a. Pretty busy day so far, and we're going to keep it short, right? But uh, I know y'all are real damn busy, and y'all took time off work for this, and I know it's hard out there right now, but uh, trust me, you being out here and you hearing what we have to say is, is going to go a long way. It's going to go a real damn long way in this city, so thank you. Mayor Elect Cornwood, everybody. And one more thing. I did also want to uh, I did want to continue to thank uh, the other uh, candidates here for showing up today as well, because I think it's very, very important. Uh, very, very important that we're all out here and we're talking about this stuff quickly. So, uh, and getting it, getting it, keeping it brief. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Mayor Elect Cornwood. Hello, everybody. Once again, my name is Stelio Lambros. Hello. If anyone <laughs> wants to speak to me, to reach out to me, to talk to me. I want to talk to you. I spent a lot of time up at the labor union, up at the lumber yard, up north. You can find me there, you can find one of the many fine people up there. Please speak to one of us, speak to Devon, speak to Jack, speak to one of us. If we're not up there, I'm in the yellow pages, I'm always in the yellow pages, call me. I want to hear you, I want to speak to you. <laughs> taking your time. What the fuck? Thank you for taking your time. But there's so much more work to be done. We could only answer a few questions Can out I of go the, to many, the bathroom? many, many questions that we got. I have to go to the bathroom you have so anything bad. You want to say to me, please, please, please reach out to me. No, I won't. Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor Elect Stelio. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stelio. Honored citizens of Los Santos. Like a phoenix from the ashes, we will rise to conquer the myriad issues that have arisen from the failure of the previous government. It will be my honor to show you the way to full and utter reconstruction, to showing and displaying with clear intent that these state-run businesses will be passed off to people like you. And of course, uh, if you ever need me, I'm in the yellow pages. Maximilian Thoroughbred. Thank you. Thank you, candidate Thoroughbred. Ladies and gentlemen, mayoral candidate <laughs> Maximilian Thoroughbred. <laughs> Once again, guys, I'm Pilba Shanley. Uh, I want to thank, just like everybody else, I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank the other candidates for being here. That's I appreciate so you taking time out of your day uh, to show that you guys care about uh, the, the mayorship. <laughs> it means a lot. Um, like the others said, my number is always in the yellow pages. Feel free to reach out. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to hear your ideas. I'd love to tell you my ideas. And uh, thank you again, everybody, for being here. Also, I want to open up a dispensary. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, dispensary. Woo. Wow. Pilbis. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Pilbis right there. Come on. on. Oh, oh, one more go. thing. Sorry. Wait, one more thing. I'm sorry. Sorry, one more thing. Uh, if you go up to Blazing Tattoo and you say, vote Pilbis, 
Damian Tinkerman will give you a tattoo for free. You don't even actually have to vote for me. You just got to say it. So. Yeah, tattoos. Yeah. Okay, next candidate. Hello, America. Hello, Los Santos. When I say Rama, you say Squammy. Rama! Squammy! Thank you so much. Well, let me tell you. This debate, <laughs> absolute fraud. We've been talking all about money, but where is the funny? My question that wasn't addressed during the sham debate is what about the Parks and Recreation Department? Are we going to have fun events? What do these candidates even have to offer for entertainment or creativity? All of them were just pandering to your sensibilities, which is why if I was to be a mayor, I would open up two dispensaries and give free weed as part of my stimulus checks. And if you're not convinced, watch Can't this. If you're not, that. if, ready? If you're not convinced, watch this. Lose yourself in the moment, you know, which a woe, which a never level, let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, and I rest my time. Ramasquami on Twitter, take it away. That's candidate Ramasquami right there. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you. Hey, <laughs> Ramasquami, okay. Oh, something. Killed it. All right. Hello again, everybody. Appreciate you all coming. Tiny, thank you for uh, hosting this, by the way. Everyone that got this set up. Uh, I'll say I may not be the most known person here, uh, but I am probably one of the most hardworking and dedicated to what I do. And I know if I do get mad, you know, elected mayor, that I would do everything in my power and you sound like a used get things the way man? they should be going. No, really? Shit. And that's really it. Thank you. Vote Daddy McMuffin. Thank you, mayoral candidate Donnie McMuffin. And thank you, everybody in the audience, for sticking with us for these debates. All right. Again, I'm Tiny Tony. How you doing? Um, <laughs> and I want to thank especially Miss Juno Sweeney for setting up these debates. Wonderful woman. Uh, thank she you, will be Juno. Up, she'll be setting up more events in the future, so please keep an eye out for those. Thank you. Thank you all. Have a great night. Mayor Ooh. candidates on the back of the stage for a photo. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's a nice light. Yeah, Thank you. Time. Hey, great work out there, fellas. You all killed it. You, you too. I like the. Uh, uh, you are a very, very entertaining person. I'm the alien. Yeah, I like the alien dome. That was a good idea. Not good. Simpson right. dome. Pose Two however you'd like. You really got him with that one. Thank you so much. Yeah, I fumbled. All right, everyone ready? Yeah, I'll Jeez. do it in three, two, Jeez. one. Cheese! Robert Stormy's a cuckold! I am, and I'm proud and loud. That's right, exactly right. Got it. Thank you, gentlemen. You Thank bet. You. Thank and you. And good luck in the election. Thank you so much. All right, take care now. Good luck, fellas. Hi. Look, I'm, I'm always on duty. That's the way I handle things. Ramaswamy did try to get me politically assassinated, by the way. Well, I was just cutting G. Thank you so much, Thank Lilith. I hope I made you proud. Fandom. You absolutely did. I am so proud. Thank you so much for saying that. I really appreciate day it. One. Day one. Proud since day one. How about we go celebrate and then get some drinks? What do you think about that? Sounds fantastic. Let's go. What kind of drinks are you thinking? Like I want to water thank you or for alcoholic? My question, Mr. Mommy. Oh, thank thank you. you. It is my Holy pleasure. Shit. Absolutely, I, I want to so make you much. proud. Uh, there's so many people who are so passionate about the entertainment industry and trying to make the funny happen. You know, where are, where's the concerts? It's where's true. Where's the drag races? Where's the drag shows? That's exactly you know? right. And I'm not going to stand idly by as these other candidates don't even address the fun. All they talk about well, is money, not funny. They talked about funny. money, 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 and there was nothing about any funny. Absolutely. So really, That's really right. appreciate. So I'd really appreciate your work. Let's make a shock to the system. With folks like your help, I think we can really change things. Well, that was the thing, right? Everybody just kind of took advantage of all of the free entertainment they got. That's exactly right. And they're still right. taking too much advantage. Do you know how many artists are out there singing and performing at events and they don't make a dime from it? It is unbelievable. How many bartenders are serving drinks at these, like, free music concerts 
and again are not making any money for it, they're trying to make sure that the citizens of Los Santos can have some fun. Absolutely, and let me tell you, that's just a form of legalized theft, and I'm not going to stand idly by. So upcoming this election, whether I win or not, I want to count on you to stand back and stand by. You saw me on my boat, and let me tell you, once I tell every clown, you've secured at least 40 more. Wonderful, well, I'd love to hear. All right, you take care. Thank you so much. You take care now, and it's great to talk to you. Thank you so much. Uh, also, Lilith, if you dare wear that outfit with a clown mask, I will tell you, I, I went to buy out to Bay oh, and you have the clown Are All you right, serious? You out. Yeah, I went there, I talked to people, and they did what I said to confirm that they were voting for you. You take care now. Are you kidding me? Well, thank you so much for your service. Stand back and stand So that's like over 50. That's huge. I really appreciate that. Day one. And I just want to ask, what do you mean when you say stand by? Boo. Oh, here we go. Mr. Monopoly all of a sudden walking around like a total clown. I meant just wait, stand by, and let's wait to see what happens here before we take action. I'm proud of you. Oh, okay. Thank you, Dad. Well, in ten, I'm in glad ten you answered my question about the women. That's exactly right. I want to represent all women after marriage. That's exactly right. Exactly right. God, gods, or science bless you. Great yeah, job, I'm Wild sorry Squally. for punching you. I took those brain supplements. Thank you so much for the thoughts and No worries. Reaction. No worries whatsoever. I'm yeah. glad you're back on the path of redemption. Yeah, man. Thank, Kelly, thank you, man. Dad. You're welcome, son. That's what we're suing over, Lilith. Hi, Vivek. Did you Hi, how's it going, I saw that. I did, did say that. Did you have to catch Philippus's uh, utter defamation of character and libel towards you? I did not. I'd love it. to hear that. He even said it just now, like, on the he stage. Even just, yeah, he just said it on the stage. What did he say? I just want to call every person as witness. He said that you tried to get him poli politically assassinated and that you now have a criminal record. Wait, that's li That's liable. Well, he's liable for liable, yeah. He's liable. He's doing liable right. on stage, and I won't stand idly by. He actually Liability. did slander and liable. God damn. Gosh I darn. Slander is spoken and print is liable. Absolutely disgusting. I'm ready to go into action and ruin this Wait, guy's so campaign. So what do we want for damages? Right now, I'm looking for a formal apology and a retraction for Mr. Shonley's campaign. Now, this is going to have a real... Uh, here, here. I'm already putting together a lawsuit on the docket for you. Oh, wonderful. All right? Wonderful. Um... Uh, statement of claim, Pilbus engaged in defamatory behavior when he chose to libel Mr. Ramaswamy on Twitter and accuse him of political assassination. Mr. Ramaswamy was acquitted of those charges in a court of law by the magnanimous and virtual so honorable Judge Gatsby. This behavior and such messages have a real impact on voters. And as such, the damage to Mr. Ramaswamy's campaign due to Mr. Shonley's behavior is real, undue, and incalculable. Pilbus was aware of the result of the court case and chose to engage in defamatory behavior anyways. We seek justice in this court of law. That so what, sounds what so good. Work? Well, I want to say he caused me emotional damage, psychological damage, and mental damage. <laughs> That's right. Those are the three damages I want to focus on specifically, and I want a lot of I need you to speak cash. to my old friend who's a therapist, Dr. Quinn, so that she can write up a formal statement and also be a witness yeah, yeah, to talk yeah. about the psychological wow. trauma you've endured. Well, I would love to. I'm also part of this Help Better app where we find a local to talk to who acts as a therapist who's unlicensed and who gets paid by the hour. What do you think about that? Okay, okay so... right now. You know what? Let me see if we can get her. We could right. schedule a meeting. I don't know. Do we have any more plans, uh, Mr. President? Uh, no. I think we're uh, able to schedule some meetings. Let's get. Uh... Okay. Yeah, we could do some like one-on-one -on -one meetings with the That's right. community. That their questions weren't answered today. We can answer them now. I would just love that. And let me just tell you. But first, I have to uh, get some coffee because no coffee, no work. Oh here. yeah. I got that in oh a, yeah. In a local department store on a mug. All right. Well, I need to uh, go get some yellow Gatorade myself. So yes, I've been I've been having to get yellow Gatorade yeah. for a long time. Let me tell okay, you. Why don't, why don't you uh do that now? <laughs> I'll stand right here on my phone. Give me one moment. Okay, I'll protect you. Cool. Well, I might... oh, actually, I you know what, uh, ma'am? Would you would you be able to protect yeah. us in the world while we're you? both? I will. Protect Thank you, you so much. Thank you so yeah, much. No problem. Yeah. I'm gonna protect you so good. Beat the shit out of anyone comes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, cool. I'll meet you there with the Ferris wheel, right? Mr. Sugar, I need cool. you to give some more distance, okay, between go, the candidate go, and his campaign manager. I need you to give him some more distance. I need you to just hey, back up like Jim, two Jim, feet. Come on. I, I need you to back up two feet. I was given a very important job to safeguard Wait, these you're two. Working for this guy? Well, I'm a lot of people's attorney, Mr. Sugar. Damn, okay. Well, I mean, 
Justice right. never sleeps, so I don't either. Can I just have a word? Me? No, you no, Mr. Mr. R. No, no, they're they're very busy right now. They're having a very important conversation. But he's got no time for Gatorade, his constituents. And I just need you to move away a little bit, and then he will have time for you. Hmm, I'm you watching understand? you. All right, kids, you follow me. <laughs> Hello. Uh, no, I'm 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 with Mr. P P P Fitzpatrick. Oh, I'm I'm just just jumping. Hi, how are you? It's a little folker. I missed your call. How are you? That's right. That's me, little folker. I Campaign don't wash manager my hands. for Vic Ramos Farmy. That's R A M A S Q U A M Y. That's right. That's right. Oh, no, yeah, it, it wasn't me. That's okay. No way. No, it was me. I. I Wolf them all the way. I kept them away and to chase them off. Thank you so much. I really respect it. It's been such a pleasure doing business with you. you oh, no, I thought Let me just say, all you, mine. you did such a great job in court. Oh, Lilith right. and I were talking okay, about oh, how right. well you, you presented your case, and we are very, very impressed by your use of facts and logic. Really? Absolutely. Absolutely. Facts and logic destroyed. I mean, when I wasn't asked back to be a judge, I really needed that pick me up. Is that right? So no, else. Now there, there, you, you, you completely stand on your own merits. You were, you were wonderful up there. Thank you. I really liked a lot of the things you had to say today. By the way. Thank you so much. I wanted to speak for the people, by the people. I feel like you were the only one up there who even cared about women after marriage. No one even mentioned it, besides me. Nobody. Not a single person that just says a lot about Los Santos. Truly, like what? We become, we, we're not viable human beings anymore once we're taken off the market? It's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. And I'm not going to stand idly by. I really do respect women after marriage. That's exactly right. I mean, you're the only goddamn feminist up on the stage. I truly am a feminist. You know, thanks for saying that. I believe in feminism because here's the thing. I think women should be in positions of power. Which is why Lilith is going to be the second in command. That's Lilith right. Lilith is incredible. That's right. She's amazing. And I think we already have um, possibly someone to be in charge of Parks and Rec in the future. Suji, the other lady that was speaking to earlier about fun events and whatnot in the city. Wonderful. Oh, she's another, a great event Dare runner. I say another woman. Day well, one. Another woman. Day one. Day That's one. Right. In That's fact, right. we're going to have so many women that we're going to add binders and binders of women into my cabinet. <laughs> oh my god, you're going to have binders full of women? Absolutely, binders full of women in positions of power. That's exactly right. Now what about that 47% the deck? What are you going to do about them? About who? You know, the 47% of people who um <clears throat> are swayed by the woke mob. It's such oh, a great disgusting. question. Disgusting. Well, I plan on persuading them because at the end of the day, Shaban, as a lawyer and someone who's smart, 
I believe we can convince them using facts and logic, and I think today we showed that on stage. A lot of people, especially next to these fake politicians, I think it stands loud and clear when someone is not pandering to them and speaks to them on an eye-to-eye -eye level. I so agree with you. I so Thank agree. you so much. No, my pleasure. Do you, do you, all, you, got, you probably got a ride here. You don't need to ride back. Uh, no, we actually don't have a ride here. We ran. Oh. Oh, would you like a ride back? We have a four-seater. Absolutely, I would. Okay, yeah, you you were up there talking and working up a sweat. Well, you know, just working so hard for the people to deliver your message. Why don't you take a load off and just let us drive you back? Thank you so much. I would love that. My pleasure. Where will we be going, Mrs. Petty? I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> Who's this character? I would like Can to uh, address your concerns. Rank zero? Uh, that sounds stupid. It sounds like you have lost ranking. How about your S tier? Does that sound better to you? Is that something you'd be interested <laughs> from, in? You're rank you S. Okay, S tier is how I prefer. Absolutely. Just realize that rank zero makes it sound like you've lost ranking. I can see on Twitter that you seem to be quite against the president here. It depends on who's listening. Would you like to schedule a one-on-one meeting, perhaps? Understandable. You do work with the other media, right? And I, I, I will uh, also ask a couple of words. Car? Is this our car? <laughs> okay. All right. Come right on up, Mr. Mr. President. Absolutely, I'd love to. Now, uh, Ursula, I know you have a quite big. Woman, would you have any interest on being on the other team if we are elected? Look how polite your campaign Hello? manager is. Hey, is this Max? Yeah, hey, what's good? So hey, how's it going? Good to talk to you. This is uh, your who is this? Oh, it's me. It's uh, it's a uh, pizza delivery. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know, I did you get the extra anchovies on that one? Sorry, I did. I got the extra anchovies. That's right, I'm delivering pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Extra sausage, just like you want. That's right. yeah, yeah. We love sausages, especially me. Where, 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 where would we like to I always to sleep go? a little better with a little sausage in me. I have cobwebs, so I can't relate. Where, 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 where would we like to, uh, to, to go? But you're so beautiful and intelligent. How could you have cobwebs? Thank you so much. Not until after marriage. I was engaged once, and uh, now I'm a lesbian, I think. Oh, okay, I understand. See, I am married to a judge, so, um, uh, yes, as a Catholic, I understand what you're saying. Completely. Thank you so much for the understanding. Of course. <laughs> now, uh, who is this marriage. gentleman in the driver's seat? This is my paralegal, Jonathan Acker. He is an uh, S tier Jonathan, paralegal. How are you? S tier, you say? <laughs> S tier. Oh, wow. Wow. I predict um, he will be the first of my paralegals to get his bar license. It, 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 see, it seems that that barrier does not not, not rise. I think they, they kick See, Jonathan, look at you. You're a fixer. You just took action and initiative to solve that barrier. Just like Vivek's <laughs> going to do day one. That's exactly right. Day one. Jonathan, day I one. also offer a course on my website, ramaskwami.ru.co.nz. If you want to get a fast track to be a lawyer, let me know if you're interested. Uh, no, 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 thank you, sir. All right. He's trying to, he's a real stickler about doing things the right way and not taking the nepotism leg up. Like, come on, that's all of life. It's not what you know, it's who you know. That's so true. I, I, I don't believe in nepotism. It's just not real. You don't believe in nepotism? Hold on, let me ask Hear my daddy. Me out, Vivek. Uh -huh. If you're starting a company, you're not going to hire a random person. You want to know that they're trustworthy people, don't you? Right. So they're people that you already know, respect, and trust, or who other people that you respect and trust have vouched for, right? That's right. One of the, one of the quick, quick qualifying causes of ne nepotism is the person is innately unqualified. Un if you're hiring somebody who is qualifiable for the position, it's not ne 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 nepotism. Can I get a translator for this guy? What did he just say? Oh, fuck. I don't have my translator with me. Um, I pay him in burgers. Uh, let me try to translate. Um, he said nepotism is when you hire an unqualified person. So if they're qualified, it's not uh, really nepotism. Okay, well, that's really interesting. Here's what I will say. I believe if I need to get to hire somebody, I'll just ask one of my friends. Or I'll reach out to my WhatsApp group and hire my cousin Akshay. He's got a great attitude, and I believe he'll be really good in a position of power. 
I support that. I support that message. That's exactly right. God bless you. Um, I want to let you know that if you want to throw out any, like, you know, if you're making any campaign videos, we should really discuss a legal disclaimer at the end so that you don't get sued for defamation like we're suing Pildis. It's such a great point. Thanks so much for saying that. I have tweeted some pretty outrageous things. But yeah, in my, so in, my twatter, in my Twitter description, I say parody account, which makes me legally free to say whatever I want. Yeah, you're just covered That's under right. fair use for satire. You're so smart. This is why you make the big books. That's exactly right. I'm just <laughs> heading to City Hall. I don't know if we'd rather go up somewhere else. So that's where my I car is, no and I left all my food there. Away. So that, I don't know if you want to ride somewhere else, or if you want to campaign at City Hall somewhere. I, I'm, I'm so down we'll to go to City Hall to see my future office. Great, sounds good. Maybe a photo up in front of the uh, the office as well. Yes. Well, here are these people. Or in front of Lady Justice and say something like, Viv with Vivek, justice really is blind oh, or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. This is, Siobhan, this is why you're going to be great in our cabinet. Chief Legal Officer. Oh my god, you're so kind. Absolutely, because I support hardworking women. After marriage. After marriage. After marriage, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, uh, so, um, yeah, but Ursula, the, uh, the lady with the, uh, the media. With the right, the bozo, earlier. the lamestream media, exactly, I remember. Well, she, she's wanting to be treasurer. So I did offer her, like, a position if she's interested if we did win. Yeah, for the woman team. Well, and what can she... Ursula. Is that right? She she seems yeah, to hate good. me. She's she seems good. to not like me. Oh, she's I did incredible. Call her. I did call her and I gave her a few strong words and I think she might be more on our side now. Well, I would love that. If the lamestream media is on our side, I would really appreciate it. Absolutely right. An all-woman cabinet. I mean, what a time to be alive. <laughs> oh my God, an all-woman cabinet? Holy shit, you're like, I'm the only goddamn feminist here. I really am after marriage, once again, remember because we have got to get back to work. That's all right. God, I, whenever I see people just being <laughs> what the about, is this? It makes me angry. Why don't they have any Christian work ethic? It's so true. Thank you so much for saying that. I just, you know, I'm just repeating the things that I've heard you say. Well, listen, at the end of the day, my goal is to inspire. Hey, thank you so much for driving us. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Your commitment to following the laws of the road is truly admirable. Oh, that hurt me to say. Shaban, thank you, ma'am. Just as a quick reminder, you said yeah. Christian earlier. Yes. I'm a Christian, but I depends I'm a Catholic. on it depends on who I'm talking to, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, of course. I've got to really play the field. One hundred percent. That's you why I vets, wear three right? chains. One of them is a Catholic cross. One of them okay. is the is the Indian Om, and the other one just says etc. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> You've covered all your bases. That's exactly right. Because I want to be a representative That's for the right. people by day the people. One. Day one. Goddamn day one. That's Sorry, right. I'm chewing on Mike. I'm so. Then I, I have got one thing to ask you. <laughs> Go ahead. You say you're a Christian. You're not a you're not a Protestant, are you? Well, I believe in the freedom to protest no matter what, who's in office, and I hope to protest if I don't win this election. So absolutely, I do believe in protesting. <laughs> yes, I believe in protesting as well. That's exactly right. God's blessed this country. You know, you're the only candidate who said God bless. The only one. I know. And it's actually shocking, Shaban. It was shocking. It's shocking because yesterday I heard some candidates, get this, they were saying happy what? holidays instead of Merry Christmas. Can you what? imagine? <laughs> I mean, Ugh. it's like the woke Christmas. mob. Ugh. On Christmas? On Christmas. It's like, get real. On and Christ the woke this mob. Day. Unbelievable. Literally Christ's birthday. And they're like, no. Day, I'm gonna day one. And I was absolutely pre gaming Christ's birthday with the holy water. God damn, damn straight as you should. Absolutely. But I gotta keep the body a temple. <laughs> I, my body is a temple. That's exactly right. That's right. <laughs> Miss right, Fitzpatrick, I'm gonna. From this guy. Yeah. I'm, go I'm going to head to to, to, to senior bun. I'm kind of put package. Yeah. Why don't you go pick up everybody some food? Oh, oh, okay. Hey, thank you. Hey, it was great meeting you. Alrighty, you take care now. You take care now. You take care. You take care now.
I'm gonna tell you right now, it is so hard to find good help these days. Is that right? I know. He's good help. Yeah, no problem. Everything going okay? You seem to have a great attitude, and that's half the battle. Hatch Act violation, Norman Adams chatting away somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pardon me. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yep, for I'll talk to you soon. Lobbying for oh. oil. God bless the British Petroleum. God bless America. God bless each and every patriot. Amen. Amen. Afternoon, is that Adams I'm seeing? Great to be. It is. It is. Thank you so much. Afternoon, Adams. How are you? Good, good, good. At ease, Lilith. At ease. Well, what now? Oh. No, you, you can both be at ease. It's fine. You don't I'm have at to ease. Take care this is my... Take this care is, care okay, I'll take care. We should throw care. ourselves a little party for getting uh, our judge positions. Yeah? What kind of party are you thinking we should throw? I don't know, we should talk later about it, but you know, I'm thinking, You are throwing uh, this in my face right now. Okay. A, a now, kind uh, of party. Why don't you just file for divorce already if this is how you're gonna be? I was about to ask the same thing to you guys. How do you think it all went? Uh, the crowd vibe I think we did great. I'm not gonna lie, the crowd vibe wasn't great. Is that uh, right? The crowd vibe so? was a little obnoxious, but I thought that every candidate honestly brought it because well, uh, we never got heckled, as something of a historian, uh, as something of a historian, right. every candidate on that stage, except for one, is running against one of the most popular people in the history of this city, and you all That's brought right. it, every single one. Uh, That's can you, I'm very can you impressed. speak directly to my performance, please? Your performance was uh, very, very appealing and memorable. Um, Thank you so much. Alien, I wanted, uh, I wanted to know more about Alien Dome. You know, I twatted oh, alien a great dome, question mark. Thank you so much for asking. Day one! Day one! That's exactly uh, right. Lost in the sauce, yeah. Um, that was very, you know, your platform was memorable and, and, and exciting. And uh, I, I uh, gave you high marks for your honesty. You know, you, you right. said what you're going to do. You didn't sugarcoat it. You didn't, uh, you didn't try to, to hide behind it or, or dog whistle anything. You just said, hey, this is what we're doing. This is, this is what I'm about. That's and, a, uh, yeah. Thank you so I much for saying that. I recommend you go that. read the book Under the Dome and, and figure out why that may not be the best idea. Is that right? Well, here's the thing. I support the Alien Dome in more ways than one. Yeah. You know, I think it could be good. I but, agree. Uh, as, as, as a judicial so that, uh, authority in the city, I can't uh, endorse any candidates, uh, at least not verbally. So. Well, it's so uh, funny you say that because I actually did not debate. ask for your endorsement, but I appreciate it. Wink, wink, if you know what I mean. I wish you all the luck and success Wonderful. in your endeavors. Thank Civilian you both so very much. Important. I really yeah. like the I really like the way you're dressed. You remind me of my friend Jordan Peterson, so I really appreciate that. That explains oh, a lot, th actually. Th thank you. God, gods, and science bless you. You take care now. All right. <laughs> they, they just more like a Gregory House kind of vibe. But. Uh, <laughs> I get all the licenses now. No, you just raised the price of one million dollars. I'm gonna do it every day now. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, well, I'm gonna do it. Licensure. Licensure. Thank you, Sir Zerker. Hello, this is Happy. Hi, Happy. It's Vivek Ramaswamy. How's your day going so far? 
My day's going great. How's your day going? It's going so great. Well, I just wanted to call you because I saw you in the yellow pages and I saw that you're yeah. a hard worker. And I just wanted uh -huh. to be the candidate that calls and listens to you directly and doesn't interrupt. Okay. Well, go ahead. Uh, Whatever you want. I'd love to hear about your experience in the working class. Okay, yeah. So I you know I'm working EMS a uh -huh. lot. What's that? Um, EMS. Oh, right. Emergency, emergency me medical yeah. services. That's right. Yeah. Go emergency ahead. Emergency medical services. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Um. So helping people. People helping getting people. really injured. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. And, uh, yeah, I'm going ahead. Um. Uh -huh. So let's see. We got. You know, we're we're uh, just getting everything started. We we're a little short on funds and uh, and Funding, on. Huh? on supplies and, and tools, you know, like uh -huh. we just got a few ambulances. We need, you know, we could probably use some more and right. uh, maybe some other vehicles to help with mountain rescues and stuff. Right, and, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my question is, uh, during the debate stage, uh -huh. I mentioned elevators and fixing it so EMS workers can get, a, get around pretty quickly. What did you think about that? Uh, what did I think about that? That's well, right. I, I wasn't at the debate. Uh, but, uh, that sounds like a good idea. Is that right? Elevators are good, yeah. Because here's the thing. I want to speak to EMS workers like yourself. If you can arrange uh -huh. that, if I'm elected mayor, I'd love to hear your concerns directly and pass a piece of legislation, day one, to resuscitate this very country and this very city with you. Oh, I mean, that sounds great. What would be in this legislation? It's such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. Specifically, increasing funding for the EMS workers to making sure not only are you paid well, but the people behind the scenes are paid well as well. Oh, that sounds great. Also, making sure you're able to move quickly and within the city. Making sure the police are aware of your presence at every waking moment to make sure they do not get in your way. And offer a convoy to make sure you get to the locations that you need to fast and steady. Well, I mean, they kind of already do that when we need it. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Well, let me tell you, I would love to learn more about you. So let's organize a meeting in these upcoming days. And because uh, one thing that I do love more than watching my wife getting railed is listening to the people. Uh, okay, absolutely. What uh, what sort of times are you around? I can see if I can arrange. Uh, you know, you're not going to be able to get everybody, but maybe some people will be around. Well, no worries at all. I mean, I'm free tomorrow. Does that work with you? Um, I'll probably be around tomorrow. Well, now you have my number. Let's stay in contact. All right. Sounds good. Wonderful. What was well, your God. name again? It's such a great question. Thanks for asking. The name is Vivek Ramasquamy. That's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. All right. Sounds good. I'll save your number. God, gods, or science bless you. All right. You have a great day. Right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Absolutely. In the earth from the woke mob. Carson. Oh, there you are. Exactly right. The fact I didn't realize you frequent the VU. I myself am a stripper attorney. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, I, I'm not saying as a stripper. that you guys could carpool every morning. Well, I don't really shift. go for the stripping dances. I just go there for the drinks and to whisper into strippers' ears that they don't have to do it. And I can save them. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Oh, so part of your campaign has been a Captain Save a Hole? Exactly right. Day one exactly legislation. Right. Day one. I also Saving enjoy the food that they serve there, so I'm We're just fine. there to observe. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah, the seats I like are really comfortable for their hot to wings too. That's right. No. The seats are very pre-warmed in the bathroom as well, which is which is nice and comforting, years. if you know what I mean. Yeah. That's exactly right. Seats with bidets. They have bidets. Yeah. Well, I sit there for 20 minutes at a time, just thinking on my twatter oh, while I'm uh, while I got the bidet on maximum uh, iso oscillation here, here to mode. Help, help the me too, we'll while talk. I'm signed Maximum in. Maximum simulation mode. That's exactly right. That's right. Also, I was saying um, earlier here, uh, we should, you know, if we win, which we will, we will uh, make sure that there is a closet in every single office so that anybody can get changed as they like. 
At Yes, exactly right. That. Exactly I'm right. Saying, you know what it That's right. I come from my stripper job to attorney oh, work, and then I, I have to, I have to cr- try to find and like make sure I didn't forget a suit or something. Because if I show up in court looking mm, like a stripper, the judges yeah, are going to laugh but, at me. Uh, well, Absolutely let me tell right. you. Let me just tell you first and foremost. I Vivek Ramaswamy supports sex workers. Absolutely, unequivocally. In fact, late at night, I'll be on my computer watching uh, these videos in in order to support. I guess I'm a hero. Oh my God. You That's exactly right. You exactly the right. Uh, because well done is better than well said. As a late day, day, one. day one. That's exactly right. That's right. Actions speak louder than words. Goddamn American hero. That's exactly right. So, uh, so Mickey just called me earlier as well. And uh, he's very interested in a position on the team. Um, he told me that he really didn't want to get into politics again. But he uh, is completely moved by your leadership and wants to help us in any way he can. Well, Mickey's a great, uh, a really great American, a really the great The eternal citizen. mayor? That's what is right. that now? Mickey was the eternal mayor. He served, like, a baz- bazillion fucking terms. I, for a second, I thought that he was about he to become our dictator. He absolutely served, if you know what I'm saying. It's like... I mean, he oh, has he a scar. He served all the looks. God damn, he looked really good in the card room. Well, let me tell you, Mickey and I have a great working relationship. Mickey, I actually donated... Ten dollars in order to save kids from cancer and diabetes in the woke mob. So Mickey and I have a very active relationship going on. That's right. I mean, it's really good to learn from the past. And like that idiot who got up there. Who was that? Who was that? I don't even remember who his name was. I don't even I I... scratch out of my mind. Oh, melatonin like, Max. Care. Oh no, was Max the one who said that? He was like, I don't care about the past. I'm like, those who don't learn from history are doomed to. I don't even remember. remember. All I remember well, is cornbread, pelvis, and the vet room was flabby. And, and I remember there was this guy sitting. Max. There was this guy sitting next to me who sounded like my wife's vibrator. <laughs> uh, you, is that right? Sorry, That's that? exactly right. What does that sound like exactly? <laughs> well, he let me give, let me do an impression of him. He went. Yeah, let me get it from impression. He went like this. He went like this. He went, he watched this. He went like this. And I believe that it had been going in bed and making sure oh, that you sound like a vibrator. Yeah. <laughs> 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 really hard. Okay, uh, don't break it now. Don't it's actually spot on. I mean, I couldn't even take him seriously at all. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that guy. Yes. That guy, when he said he doesn't learn from the past, I'm like, okay, great. So you're just going to repeat history and bring us back to the fucking San Juan War. Was that guy with the lumber yard or whatever? It was the guy with the lumber yard. Who was uh, that? <laughs> more like slumber yard. That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> Boring <laughs> rhetoric. That's exactly <laughs> right. God damn. Anyway, yeah, fucking slumber yard. Whatever that shit was. Oh, that's no, right. That guy does not have my vote. He lost my vote. They all lost never my really vote. Never really had it, but like he was never. After that, he was definitely never getting yep, it. Yep, that's right. Not even if he gave me a million dollars. Fuck that guy. Wow, what a hero, and I appreciate it. Now I don't believe you should be able to buy votes in this country, but I am starting Absolutely a Patreon. Absolutely not. Ow. Well, I mean, that's Nance, just, thank you. <clears throat> those are just campaign donations from lobbyists. Are you are you starting a super pack that I could donate to? It's such a great question. Thank you so much for saying that. I believe. In raise stealing. Wait, hold on. Let me just. I believe in raising money from hardworking Americans like yourself. So yes, I will be starting a super PAC that's driven on a grassroots effort. Hi, Ursula. How are you? Day one. Day one. That's exactly right. Right. Well, here's your first super PAC donation. Now let me hand that over. I uh, figured you would take care of the money as a campaign manager. Sorry. Wow. Well, thank you so much for your service. I really appreciate that. That money will be used to end the woke mob. That's right. Oh, I was hoping that this would now, uh, you know, <clears throat> you would now use this money to help further the interests of lawyers and those Santos. Absolutely, you know I will. Absolutely. Great. Message received. Stand back and stand by. Well, yeah, on uh, did you have any questions at all for the president? Um, no, but we would be interested from Weasel News to get a copy of his campaign platform. Oh. Uh, yeah. If you could, like, put it together. Not, like, right now, but just in the next few days, that'd be great. That include, like, all of these uh, legislation promises? Yeah, like, campaign platforms should include, like, 
what you like maybe like five bullet points on what you want to do when you become mayor uh well Wonderful. i have a lot to do on day one day day one i have 20 I'm promises sure you two can work together on it and well, ursula i just wanted to say something directly to you yeah I want to apologize for my behavior earlier. I believe we've had some unfortunate run-ins where I was a little short-tempered. You see, I'm just a human being. I've been campaigning so much, and I hope to rebuild this, uh, you know, our relationship uh, together to make sure we're on the same page. We'd love I'm... to have you on the team as well once we are, you know, elected. That's exactly well, like right. Like I said, I'm and probably happy going to for the position of, gen of treasurer, so... That's I would right. love that to be needed. You. Well, here's the thing. Regardless, mm -hmm. I literally have no emotions, so I don't really care one way or the other. You haven't offended me. I just report what's the news. And honestly, you were the most, um, uh, I guess, like charismatic candidate yes. up there. So all your my stuff was about you, of course. <laughs> you know, like you were the Donald Trump of like an entire stage full of like, you know, um, who runs against Donald Trump and the Republicans? I, I don't even know. Wait, did Ron you just DeSantis? call me? Yeah, Ron DeSantis. Yeah, Ron like DeSantis. if ever, in if opinions. like all of them were Ron DeSantis's, you'd be like the Trump. Wait, you just but call me Trump? Oh, just like his you're not Trump. He does have W Riz. But I'm saying that you're like the popular good candidate amongst <laughs> everyone. Uh huh. Give me one second here. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yes. 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 Ursula, I have a question yes. for you. Did you happen to hear? <laughs> Um, Tilbus's exclamation today as he left the debate stage, claiming oh. that uh, Mr. Ramaswamy attempt, uh, sorry, politically assassinated him or attempted to. Did you hear him yell that? No, I didn't. I <sighs> kind of left in a little bit of a hurry, though, after I took okay. the photo. All right, just was wondering whether or not I need to name you as a witness on this uh, civil lawsuit for defamation. Ah, uh, gotcha. I mean, I can check back my photos. Could you but... check back your logs and see if you have yeah. any video of that? I would really appreciate being able to provide that evidence. Yeah, I probably don't if it was said after the debates and after the camera was put away, but who knows? If the camera was still rolling because he was doing it right as it was wrapping up, though, I think that's when it mm -hmm. was uttered. There's a chance it's on there. Could you review it and let me know? I'll check the last few minutes, yeah. Love you. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, somebody from Senior Buns is going to get a hold of you regarding a, a potential legal matter with the police. Uh, oh, does it hurt me? to keep That's your arms up for that That's my class action lawsuit long? against the coppers. Yeah. All right, hold on. Does it hurt to keep your arms up for that long? Absolutely, but I will not stand down to represent those civilians of Los Santos. Absolutely, I'm in massive pain. Every morning, I take two brain supplements from onit.com slash ramasquami that help mm -hmm. uh, help uh, my bone density. So that's exactly right. Well, I can tell that your bone is very dense. Thank you so much You're for saying that. and thank a you. funeral outfit. Is that right? It was really cold earlier. Was, he t was she talking to me, you think? Because say it. I look lit, I believe. I'm sure she was talking directly to you. She was. She said I looked like a funeral outfit. I mean, you could wear that to a funeral if you wanted. But yeah, yeah, but like would it be like would it be like a good, fancy, nice funeral? Maybe. Obviously. Thank God. God. Your shocked. suit's clearly tailored. That's right. Your tie is far too shiny to just simply be, you know, I don't know, like. Dude, look at this fucking generic. Angle. Thank you so much for noticing. I appreciate it. I am lit Not and a problem. I got to get to work. Yep, you got to get to work. That's right, I got right. to get to work. And the woke mob. <laughs> Hello, Miss uh, Lilith and Mr. Rosquami. I have two, two co co combos for you from Senior Buns. Oh, wow, thank the you so tier much. paralegal. See, look at that. Wonderful. He thank you so much. <laughs> Here you go. There's two co 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 combos in that box. Oh, Guys, I love RP. <laughs> it's so fun. This is so fun. It's just so fun, man. Bro's already being treated like an actual president. Oh, 
right, Lee. Don't mind me. I'm just glazing other campaign managers. Yeah, no worries. You got to do what you got to do. I understand. I've been cold right. calling people in the yellow pages, so I completely don't understand. Don't worry. I'm, I'm campaign managing even while I'm not speaking. I'm, I'm, no worries. I'm going crazy in the DMs right Wait, now. Wait, Lilith, would you, would you like a uh, burger as well? Me? I have two. Yes, please. Oh, I would love oh. that. Hey, How are uh, ya? I'm, I'm good, I'm good, thank you. I got, Listen, I, got, I, got I, uh, I went upstairs who, uh, and um, they told me to put my stuff away. They said they'll put it. I went, oh my gosh. That's right, yeah. hello. I, I, oh, I've heard all about, oh my, oh, you do it so much better in real life. Is that yeah, right? You're a big fan. Right. The lighting wasn't great on stage, but I no, can guarantee you that W on his hairline is that. real. That's right. I'm just like a hardworking man like yourself. I love the beanie. Uh, tell me more about yourself. I love to listen. Well, I'm just a uh, hardworking person on the city here, trying to make ends meet, working each day harder and harder. Okay. And now I'm just trying to find my stuff because somebody upstairs fucking took it from me, man. Who the fuck took my shit, man? Is that right? Oh. Well, how about we can talk to them with <laughs> facts and logic? I just want my stuff back. Is that right? How about if we get your guaranteed vote, I am sure your uh, items and belongings will be in your hands very shortly. How's that sound? Okay, perfect. That hey everybody, good. I'm here. Welcome to the Ramaswamy Yo, Vlog, episode 632. Up, this poor gentleman unfortunately lost some of his stuff. But in a way, we've all been robbed by the current government, yeah, 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 which is why I, the fake Ramaswamy, pledge, absolutely pledge to get back what's ours. Thank you so much. Yes. This is brought to you by helpbetter.com. You, you take care now. All righty. Hey, you, you have a cash app or something you want to shout out? Uh, Perfect. Uh, I think we got that. it. <laughs> okay. I, I pledge, I pledge, uh, what am I, wait, what am I pledging? You're pledging to vote for me. That's Vivek I Ramaswamy. Pledge that. I pledge right. that. Pledge that damn vote. To Thank you, you so much. Ramaswamy. I really appreciate it. Pledge Ramaswamy. Now let's, pledge Ramaswamy. that's exactly right. Now let's that's get right. back to work. Oh. Day one oh, legislation. Shit. Oh shit. Right, I'm pledging me, squam sir. squam. All right, perfect. Who should I call? Call Max? I already prank called him. <laughs> I have an idea. Line is... Take care now. I'm a squammy. That's R A M A S Q U A M Y. That's exactly right. All right. Alrighty. Why are we here again? I forgot. It's a great question. Thanks so much for asking. All right, should we leave? I, I'm honestly thinking about heading to sleep soon. It's been a oh, little yeah. bit of did a you get, crazy did you get day. Photo op picks? Oh, I would oh, love yeah, a photo should, op pic. Oh, I, I actually, we should get some photos here, and we should also go to um, the LSBN uh, headquarters and go to the green screen and get some photos there too. Oh, I would just love that. Should. Absolutely. Thank you, Shaiba. All right, so are we, uh, are we meeting anybody here or just a photo? I believe it's just a photo. All right, let's get the photo upstairs real quick, and then we'll get some... Uh, Campaign photos in the uh, green screen room. Lady Liberty, Lady Justice, bless my campaign. Holy sh! I'm so sorry. Yeah, no worries. It's just that uh, I saw Lady Lady <laughs> Labia. <laughs> I saw Lady. What was that? I saw Lady Justice on the wall here. Oh, is that right? <laughs> That's exactly right. I just want to pay my respect. To all oh, the, alrighty. All the hardworking women of Los Santos after alrighty. marriage. Alrighty. Well, I hope she's taking care now. No running in the city hall, please. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Labia justice. I'm not sure why I'm wobbling like this. I feel quite weak. Yeah. Have you been, uh, <laughs> you been drinking or something? Uh, you know what I mean? What I wish. 
God, I wish. I love drinking whiskey. My favorite drink is a half, half cup full of whiskey with my chuppel, my shoe dangling off my toe as I'm sitting there talking about oh politics to my family. Spreading minion memes that, uh, you know, defy the vaccine. And your thoughts and prayers on, on Bookface, of course. That's exactly right. Well, I love, uh, I personally, I love uh, the old red wine, just like the other color of our country, red. What do you mean? And your cap, America. Our, the color of our country is not red. That sounds like uh, communism. Is that right? Yes, the colors are red, white, and blue all together. You're so right. I will make sure to have some blue and white wine later on. That's exactly right. I'll mix them all together. Like a World of Warcraft potion. That's exactly right. I'm pro World of Warcraft. I have no idea if we're going the right way, so I'm just going to run. <laughs> we absolutely are. Oh, all right. Fantastic. How are you feeling after the debate? You feeling confident? I'm feeling I'm th so I think you confident. It. Let me be honest. I wasn't nervous at all. And I'm proud of being overly confident in my ability because I think it paid off. And I think we have a real shot at making some waves. Wonderful. I think I stood Glad out on it. the stage. Wouldn't you agree? You actually did. You really, really did. There were barely any heckles. And everything that you said had a, a positive impact. Absolutely. And remember, we're on a, we're on a one ticket here, Lilith. So, uh, Absolutely. I will be working well, hard for, for our team here. Wonderful. All right. How about a photo here real quick? Closed, locked doors. Classic. I know. I want to make sure my hair is visible. Yeah, get, get, a, get a nice pose and let me know when you're ready. Give me one second. Take your time. What pose should I do, chat? Should I do yoga? How about this one? Perfect. Get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Phoenix Or. Thank you, e -bar. Can I do one where I'm pointing in the distance? Absolutely. Go ahead. A bit higher if you can. Maybe, maybe don't do it a little bit higher. Yeah, maybe too high. Maybe too maybe high. Bit... We don't want to be that strong politically. No, no, not that strong. No, no, no. Not that strong politically now. All right, you take care now. All right, you take care now. <laughs> All right, let's get some uh, final photos at the uh, the green screen room, if you'd like. Did you have any more plans, or were you thinking about heading to sleep, too? I believe we can head on to sleep. I'm pretty tired after that debate. It used a lot I of my brain bet. supplementation. I bet. All right, we'll get a real quick, and maybe we'll do some uh, pet poses, if you know what I mean. For Absolutely, I do. Here, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> this way, I think. It's this way, 100%. All righty. Sag. Wait, seriously, guys? Does he mean he's going to log off? <laughs> Just testing your reflexes there, Lilith. Then you really oh did my pass. Oh god, as you can see. Absolutely. Hey, good to see oh. you again. Oh, yeah. Ramasquami, yeah. that's right. Look at no one's working in City Hall. Ironic, isn't it? I know. Just typical. Absolutely typical. Unbelievable. I believe it's this one, yes. Okay, hopefully our car is still parked here. If it's not, then I'll just go fuck myself, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're celebrity status. We can just go ahead and call somebody. That is very true. What? Watch this. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, I can't. Watch this. Well, let's, let's listen to maybe they have something to say. Are you, are you okay? I'm on a secret mission. Okay, okay. Are you all right? Oh, sorry. Uh, it took me a long 
I thought that was your ID. I don't think they suspected a thing. We are stealthy. Absolutely stealthy. Hey, thank you so much for serving our country. I support the men in blue, white, or green, or red. I support a man in uniform. Thank you so much. God, God, and science man. bless you. We really do. Thoughts and prayers. All Thoughts right, you prayers. Take care now. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Now is my car here. Thoughts and prayers. Oh, hey now. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Alrighty, you take care now, girl. You take care now. Alrighty. Please be my car. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, my sir. <sighs> Sorry, right. I, just, I just realized something. Alrighty. The woke mob is on twatter. Anyway, back to business. Oh my god. I just realized that. I, for a second, I thought they were in, they were in my phone, in my pocket. Ugh. Yuck. Let me go ahead and reach over and close that door for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let's go to the, uh, the new studio place. Uh, Absolutely! Have you been there before? Nah, no I haven't. Alrighty, you might like it. Well, is it part of the lamestream media? Possibly, but it might be good to be there anyway because I believe Ursula is part of the mainstream media. Oh, you're right. So I support the lamestream media and their fake news. Isn't that correct? Exactly. It depends on who you're talking to. Absolutely. It depends on who I'm talking to. My views are That's flexible. exactly right. Just Day like my one. wife. Day one. That's exactly, exactly right. right. Love. Peace and love is my platform, truly. I wanted to say. <laughs> I know sometimes I come off as not being genuine, but let me just say, genuinely, I support peace and love. Genuinely. And I have a platform of supporting good people and making sure bad people do not infect their streams. Oh, maybe I'll change outfit for Jake's photos. What do you mean? You don't love America? Well, I absolutely do, but I do have that iconic outfit that I think I should wear. I love Absolutely, my absolutely you should. That's all right, that's all right. I feel like this outfit's for a special occasion, so everybody should be graced with it every single day. I agree, and I'm going to change back to my regular outfit. I got Wonderful. it on clearance at JCPenney's. All righty. Hi, ma'am, how are y'all? You look hey. absolutely fabulous today. You look great. Thanks. Are you a patriot? Absolutely right, we, we are. Absolutely are. Wait, are you guys the mayoral people? That's yes, we right. are. I am Lila Foka, campaign manager for... Vivek no. Ramaswamy. That's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. Day one. Day one. We're going to be passing oh. legislation. Do you guys think you're going to win? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And if not, all I have to say to my supporters is stand back and stand by. Okay. That's right. I love the dedication. Thank uh, you so much. And who am I speaking? Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? You're speaking to Valentine Zala. <gasps> well, Valentine. Is that the Valentine? <gasps> Valentine, yes. It's me. That's Former Wu Chang's rap princess. She is famous. She is so famous. She, I am. She, she might be. She might be trending. She might be virus on TikTok. Are you she serious? She is that famous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, let me just I tell you. Her. I'm a massive fan. Thank you. Well, my album, my debut album, Sultronic, is coming out this Friday. So you better stream it. <gasps> is that right? Will it be on? Will it be on TikTok? 
It will be everywhere on every streaming platform, on SoundCloud, everywhere. Well, let me tell you, Valentine, I'm a bit of a Tic Tac star. My last few Tic Tacs have gone COVID-19, full-on virus. Do you mind if I quickly oh. record something for you? Sure. Hey, what's up, Ramasquami Nation? Welcome to the Rama Squad by hitting that subscribe button. I'm standing here with the one and only Valentine. And she has an album or a song coming out on Friday. And mm -hmm. I'm so proud to say she is going to have one of the best records of all time. I'm also so excited to end the woke mob. Valentine and I just had a wonderful chat on how we can make actions happen. And that's by voting Ramasquami in this upcoming election. That's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. That's, right. that's exactly right. This is a message yeah. brought to you by Onnit Brain Supplements for three months And make sure off. to pre-order Satronic. Pre-order pre it right yeah. now. Oh, that's all right. And stream it when it's out. Yes. That's exactly right. And also, Onnit Brain Supplements for three months for free. Man, make sure you go to Onnit.com. To get Take your number it. and uh, you can text me... Uh, like the details of when you know the song comes out so i could uh yeah it's an it. album yeah yeah, yeah. I, I album album you. that'd be amazing all right here is my that's mine my cut oh thank you so much yours is the uh 7741 or is that mine i can't remember that's mine yours uh, is the other one is yours yeah all righty thank you so much if you can let me know as soon as it comes out i'd love to listen i'm a big fan of course so what's your name my name so is I Lilith Folker. That's L I L I T H F U L K E R. If you want, you okay, can text perfect. me and I can text you my full name back. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. I got it. So oh, worry. wonderful. <laughs> okay. This is the link to pre save it if you want it. Yes, please. I love our local artists. Um, I believe we should bring fun back to Los Santos. But, yeah. Absolutely. And we do want to hold more events, especially for live music in the future. And ones mm -hmm. where you get paid. Yeah, of course. Oh, yes, that will be perfect. Thank Absolutely. you, guys. Well, God, no gods, problem. and science bless you, Valentine. Have a nice day. Likewise. Bye-bye. No, hold on. Lilith, 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 Lilith. We can't go the same way. We have to wait. Okay, we can wait. I mean, what we could do is use our master of stealth and change back to our outfits quietly. You are very, very smart. That's so true. All right, let's do it. Bye. Goodbye now. Bye, take care now. Love your outfit, man. Take care now. I think we're in the clear. Freedom coming through. Watch out now. Freedom coming through. Hey, how are you? Hey, guys. Up. And don't forget the other uh, thing I showed you earlier, the wardrobe here that you That's can right. Use. Wait, how do I do it? Um what was the uh, uh what was, what what was that? Muscle? What muscle? Oh outfits. Literally just outfits. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All righty. You take care now. You take care now. Hey, great uh, great uh, talking to you fine folks. Love the clothes. Just like you're changing Alrighty. clothes, we can change this country. Vote Ramaswamy. All righty. You take care now. You take care too. You take care Thank you now. so much. Thoughts and prayers. I think we're going the same way again. No. Oh. Now, now, hold on. Oh, let's get it now. Didn't save the debate outfit. Good! It was a one and done. Did you see me? I did not. I had no idea. A master of disguise. Master of disguise after all. That's exactly right. I was trained in Yale Law Only School. Are you a master of disguise? You also a uh, master debater. I'm a master debater <laughs> and a cunning linguist. That's exactly That's right. right. That's and right. we learned that today. We absolutely did. Now the other studio is right here. Awesome. Hey, how are you? All right, take care now. All righty, follow me. 
Absolutely. Hi, sir. How are you? Take care now. Hey, you take care now, all right? Love the jacket. One moment. I wonder if I can buy a microphone from here. I would just love that. I can spread my message over the faces of all the people in Los Santos. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Back in the day, you could buy microphones and cameras and stuff from here, but you must be the employee now. All right, come this way, sir. I would just love that. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yes, I am. Come this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's this way. Oh, oh, <laughs> this way. Here we are. You see how perfect this is? Tonight, a story. The woke mob is infecting our whole country. Starting from here in Los Santos. Let me just tell you. All the way from the east, the liberal media is spreading to our very home. So make sure you go outside and make sure you bring some sort of protection. Specifically, on it brain supplements. Hashtag Ramasquami. I condom Violence. Thank you so much. That's right. Take care now. Signing off. Alrighty. Ramaswamy. That's R A M A A S Q U A M Y. That's exactly right. Okay. So I was thinking here, yeah, you and I could do like some uh, combo poses. Absolutely. Have a look. Now, uh, the. How do you do it? <laughs> the graphic editor might have to use your uh, your eyes because I am a Australian, that World of Warcraft thingy. I'm right, right, not right, right. Not working right. my eyes because I'm Australian. <laughs> All right. right, right, right. Okay, what about? How about this? Come here. I have no idea. Turn off cam. Use your e muscles. If you can see something. Absolutely, I can. Okay, does it work in my eyes? Did it work for you? It does work for me. Can we do that again? Okay, might have to be you to take the. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Okay. Yes, I I got you. I got you. I I, I know what you're talking about, Nathan. I'll do print screen. I'll do print screen. Uh, here we go. Doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. <laughs> Zoom out. You can't. Actually, how about you go into the uh, the emotions there and you look at the uh, the synced poses and maybe uh -huh. it'll uh. Work on my end. Just pick whatever you think would be cool. I think we need a photographer to be here, actually. I think you might be right. Oh, do you know how to uh, look out? You need to uh, hold your V muscle a few times. You'll get a hang of it. See what I mean? If you hold your V muscle sometimes, it takes a little bit, it's a bit tricky. What? But you can do it twice. To hold it down a little bit, like I'm like, holding it down a little bit. Did it work? No, it didn't. Okay, so you want to hold it down just a little bit, like tap. Once you get the hang of it, you'll like understand if that makes sense. It hold it work. down for like maybe a second or two. Doesn't work. You'll know it's working when your eyes uh, retract into your skull. Oh, right. Yes, I yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, I see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's, yes, it's, I know it. I know that okay. one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, do it. Oh no, no, not not uh, not uh, looking through your eyes. You're gonna. It's the same thing, but you gotta hold it down. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot. So instead of tapping your beam mask, you wanna like uh. hold it just a smidge. Just keep trying it until you figure it out. I'm holding it a smidge. Nothing. <laughs> uh, I feel like a total idiot here. Nothing. Okay, how about you try? How about you uh, try and check my head, and I'll see if uh, it works in my eyes. It's really awkward to try and explain, and also do. No worries whatsoever. I'm willing to listen and learn. Try and uh, shake my hand. 
the way I would love to support. shake your hand, but I do not. The uh, head emotion that you were trying to do earlier. There's nothing, uh, nothing coming up. <laughs> Alrighty, one moment. Thank you, Mr. Colossal. Look in the menu. Oh, yes, wait, actually, I remember. You got it? Yes, I do. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm walking into this. Okay, orb you're walking the catwalk. Oh, oh my goodness. Absolutely, oh, you're walking the catwalk. Woke mob. I did not kill her. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just a little shaken up. Do you see me? Absolutely, I do. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> okay, let's try the B muscle one more time. I believe in you, okay? Absolutely, so I you know how you look that. through your eyes like this. She's kind oh, of I did it. I did muscles. it. You did it? Okay, yes. it takes a bit of practice. You can do it once more for even further out. Just keep trying it. You will get it eventually, even I fuck it up a lot still. Sorry, freak. I'm so sorry, sir. Uh, okay, I did it. I did okay, it! I did, did it. it! I did it! Yay! Okay, awesome! All right, so now, while you're looking like that, you can, uh, you know, Initiate. F1 into your emotions and uh, look at the uh, synced uh, emotions there and initiate. Do I print screen, Nathan? <laughs> now, hopefully your editor got that. <laughs> it did not look uh, great through my eyes. Okay, try it one more time. I'll do it. You're going to go ahead and initiate it, correct? All right, go ahead. The floor is yours. Should I initiate or do I, or should you initiate? You you initiate you initiate. I'll All take right. The, uh, the party with my uh my uh selfie stick. <laughs> All right, it looked terrible. All righty, let's try a different one. Whatever you think. I'll try a different one. I'll try a different Alrighty. one. Alrighty. Otherwise, we can just pose individually. What should I do? Oh, maybe I'll try. Uh, let me try one. Let me try one. Let me try one. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Nope. Nothing. Okay, I kind of got it. I kind of got it. Awesome. Alrighty. Now I'm not moving. It moves automatically. I swear I'm not moving. <laughs> it's very scott. Not, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Okay, let's let's do some individual poses real quick instead. That's probably a bit easier. I agree. Go ahead. Um is this good? Let's see. Is this good, Nathan? I shouldn't move. What? That was incredible. Holy shit, that is a sliding. That was awesome. Hell yeah. Let me try. Go ahead. kick 
one again. I'm, I don't know what, how to do it. It's a one and done. And there you have it. Oh, wonderful. You look fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, I think that will do for now. I'll, I'll get those scents off and we can try something else another time and we think more about it. But right now we are tired and cold. And Absolutely. Did he win mayor? No. Not yet. You take care now. Love that. All right, take care now. All righty, the... There's no one driving that car. <laughs> what the fuck? Alrighty, will I be seeing you tomorrow? Or Absolutely, you... I will be ready to campaign tomorrow. Alrighty, And perfect. further make some connections with the fine folks of Los Santos. Sounds good. I'm glad to get some rest beforehand then, because today was quite the, uh, quite the short. Absolutely, it was. Alrighty. Rest well, and tomorrow we'll Absolutely. reconvene. Absolutely. You take care now, alright, You take sir? care now. All right, take care now. All See right, you, you take care. All right, now you take care now. No, you take care now. No, you take care now. Now you take care now. All right, all right, I'll take care now. Go ahead. Hey, is this your but, car? Uh, no, it is not, but thank you so much for your service and doing the hard work of a working Los you. Santos oh citizen. Wow. That is so nice of you to say. It's my pleasure. First of all, I just want to introduce myself. Can I take a second of your time? Uh, of course. First and foremost, my name is Vivek Ramaswamy. That's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y, and I'll be running for mayor. Wow, that's a lot of letters. Okay. That's right. Uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, what do you think is the biggest threat to Los Santos? Uh, incorrect parking uh, that blocks laneways and fire lanes and things like this. Is that right? Because guess have... what? Day one, I'll be passing a legislation to outlaw illegal parking. And we'll have more people, more fine civilians like yourself, patrolling the area to make sure that that does not happen. Really? That's exactly right. If you vote Ramaswamy oh for mayor. Ramaswamy? Ramas That's exactly you... right. Can you spell that? R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. Day one. Day one. Oh I'll be passing legislation. That's exactly right. Will you hire me? I am an excellent parking enforcement person. Is that right? Well, let me tell you. The ultimate authority of the parking Day lot. And Day one. I will hire you. If you are working for the city, you are working under me. Just like how my wife works under her boyfriend and I watch. Oh, my future wife does that too. Wonderful. Well, then we're on the same page. Oh, that's awesome. Well, you're definitely got my vote. Wonderful. Thanks. Well, God, gods, and science bless you. Okay, have a good day. Alrighty, you take care now. You take care now. <laughs> that's a vote. Well, gods bless you. Hey, man. Working hard or hardly working. Hi. That is so true. Stay blessed now. What do you feel about the homeless? I am against homelessness. What do you think about that? Well, I'm homeless. Well, I'm against uh, the oh, ability no. to be homeless because I want to make sure you're taken care of. What do you think about that? I'm so hungry. Can you feed me? I Absolutely, you I you can. can. I can feed you right now. You can? Oh, Absolutely. You. Baby bird it to him. Spit it into his ah. mouth. What is he doing with his legs? What's going on out here? I think that's called the floss. I don't know. I, this man keeps motioning towards. Oh my God! He actually gave me food for. Absolutely, me. I will. Because oh, wow. guess what? We need people like you to be well fed, so you can go out to the polls and vote Ramaswamy. Whoa! At the end of the day, are you running for president, Mr. Ramaswamy? I will be running for mayor and perhaps even president one day. That's Whoa. exactly right. Laura, don't get killed by this man. Now you tried to ha tire me last time to kill Pilbis. Oh. Uh, that is liable, and I do not stand idly by. I do not believe in killing people with with guns or knives. Oh. I believe in killing people with words. That's a shame, because if you did believe in that, I probably would have voted right. for you. Oh, well. Thank you for the well, food. Well, you can't Rama win them all. Mama. 
Take care now, Ramasquam. Thank you, Mr. Ramasquam. Take care Have a good now. rest of your day. Wonderful. Yeah, you take care now. Enjoy your life, on him. I'm voting for Max. Who's Matt? Vicky what did you say? Nothing. Oh, Pelvis Oh, here he is, look, an absolute look. fool. Pelvis. Oh, fuck you, Squam. Fuck you. you. Psychopath. You're out of your fucking mind. You're I am not out of my mind. Tune. You are. You're a fucking Looney Tune jackass. I am not a Looney Tune. <laughs> you are. Do I you look are. like a Looney, Looney Tune right tune. now? Yeah, kind of. You kind of look like Bugs Bunny a little bit. Yeah, you do. It says Big you. Is. You have uh, pink hair. You're part of the woke yep. mob. I'm handsome. I'm handsome. You I'm are handsome. handsome. You're jealous. I actually am. I believe you uh, do. You are quite good looking. I'll, I'll give oh, you that. You. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, thank you. I Listen, I speak the truth. Okay, well, hey, you know what, Squams? Maybe you're not so bad. You know what? Even though you try to get me politically assassinated, you sick fuck. I mean, you're politically assassinating yourself in your performance on the debate tonight. So, you stand uh, no fucking chance, Squams. Is that right? You stand what are you no gonna do? What are you gonna do? Read slam poetry to me? <laughs> with your oh, oh, oh yeah, with your glasses. And, oh no, are you gonna are you gonna twat something mean? I'm so scared. Ooh. Oh, what? Why That's exactly right. I'm not threatening you, Squams. Yeah, fuck? that's exactly right. You're the you one that fucking tried to get me killed, you fucking sick bastard. I was not getting you killed. I was simply cutting raclette cheese on the floor. Me, I was cutting fucking... raclette cheese, and raclette cheese you is a tough to hire cheese. You tried somebody to nope. kill me, though. Nope, that's not true. That's all part of the fake news media. Yours. No, what the fuck? Me? I was there. I think you should raclette me go. You were not. You were not present there emotionally. Let me tell you, you were. You I were was quite there distant. emotionally. No, I was you very were. emotional, actually. My friend, you you hired my friend to kill me, and he was gonna say yes. Fraud on the streets. Here we have Pillbury walking around like he owns the place, having no respect for anyone whatsoever, and he's running for mayor. What a farce this guy is. I believe he's flipping you off, the voters, and I'm not going to stand idly by as that happens. God, oh, gods, and signs bless you. Also, this is brought to you by Audit Brain Supplements. For three months for free, visit ramasquami.co.ru. Oh, pelvis. Oh, pelvis has blood as well. It oh, looks like he killed someone. You literally have blood on your hands. I got robbed. Uh-huh. Yeah, some lady held the knife to my, my oh, neck. Oh, well, it seems, like, it seems like you are uh, very attracted to knives. Oh, because that's two days violent. in a row. Yes, you are. Well, yeah. Hey, yes, Bert. because everybody's a fucking psycho. Hey, Bert. What's up, Bert? Come on, man. You can't call me that. Sorry. What's up? I, it's so hard not to call you Bert, though. Hey. Yo. <laughs> He's got a point. It is. It was like a silent walk up, and then the hat, and the uh, owl. Well, I, kinda... I see you're wearing a beanie, and I really support that. I love artisanal coffee. <laughs> oh. Stay lit. Huh? Stay lit. Stay... What does that mean? Okay. Stay... okay. All right. Well, hey, hey Swamp. Hey, what's up, Earth? Can I get a word is. with you real fast? Of course. All right, you take care now. I'm going to sleep. Can I must talk to you for a second. I is, can't actually believe this, but I want to vote for you now. Is that right? I, I went to those debates and I uh, I had my sights set on um, everybody else, believe it or not. But you right? managed to make me laugh and chortle and chuckle all the way through that because it was a truly a snooze fest. I'm surprised they didn't sell uh, espresso shots in the parking lot. They could have made a killing. Did the debate already happen? Yeah, I did. Yes, it did. Well, Vivek won. Tell. Who won? Who won? Yeah, he just won. Vivek, in my opinion. And who's Vivek? I'm Vivek Ramaswamy. That's R A M A S Q U A M Y. Who's your running mate? Lilith Faulkner. Yeah. All right. We are going to. I am actually instilling an all-woman cabinet after marriage. Flash, who you're voting wow. for? That's exactly right. Vote yeah. for Ramaswamy. I, 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 I missed the fucking debate, so I don't know. Is it? Can well, I get a PowerPoint? We'll be posting it. Well, let me tell you, if you want, oh, sleepy. You. If you want an experience of the debate, just take some melatonin tonight. It's the same experience. Aww. Honestly, Dang, I kind of agree. So I didn't miss it's much. good to hear Thanks. some people's that, passion and everything, but right. yeah, yeah, it was a lot well, of think, the same yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think the deflection of passion, too, by Vivek was actually quite um, comedic. And, and yeah. very, very entertaining. Well, let me tell you, like, thank you so much for the kind words. I really appreciate your hard work. It's almost like you want this more than everybody else. Which I, really I really do. Mean. I want you, and I want to represent the fine folks of Los Santos like yourself.
You got my vote, baby. Well, God, God, even if we don't place. win, I think he's at the least going to get second place, right? So you're still going to have something. Well, it's so Looking funny you say him, that yeah. because if I don't win, stand back Power and stand point. by. What? What is that? I'm going to check in on like that uh, that report. I appreciate it. Stand back, stand by. Is it like a threat to the city? Nope, nope. It's uh, I'm going to be helping out the city. Just all I'm saying is stand oh. back and stand by. Having oh, a, okay. Yeah, sure. I think he's having like a meeting of sorts at the Capitol. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah. What is my apartment? A one one zero. Oh, first floor. Where are your posters? Wait, who did I just... I should have asked for her name. Uh, what's my apartment? I just got a text. Uh-oh. Wait, this is the judge's number. How do I spell Shaban? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. This is Shaban. It literally says that. Fitzpatrick. There we go. Oh, lawyer. Whatever. I meant lawyer. I call him. I call Tanner right now. Uh, wait, what's his name? He's in the yellow pages. Hey, Vivek, how you doing? I'm doing so good. Is this Tanner I'm speaking with? Yeah, it's Tanner. I've got the blonde hair. We've met a few times. Oh, I remember, Tanner. Well, I just wanted yeah. to call you about my uh, three forms of distress. Sure, of course. Emotional, um, mental, and psychological. Yeah, we can. Uh, do you want to talk about this in person or over the phone? Whatever you're most comfortable with. Uh, we can meet in person. You uh, want to meet at me at Legion Square? I do not have a car right now, so if you want to pick me up from the apartments, I would just love that. Yeah, I'm uh, coming from the hospital, so it'll take me a second, but I do have a car. I'll come get you. Yeah, well, no worries. No rush. All right, see you soon, buddy. All right, goodbye. All right, goodbye. I'm not addicted. I'm not addicted. Wait, that's the wrong therapist? Tanner Phillips. No, it's not. 420809. Wait, are you, am I being trolled? Are you guys just trolling me now? Yeah, you're fucking troll. You live on a table, it's a bit strange, but yeah. I'm not addicted. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate you. Hell yeah. This guy probably wants to give you a pitch for his uh, campaign too, by the way. Might as well hear it out. Uh I already heard it. Yeah, and you're already it. on board. Hey, thank you so much for being such a hard worker. I just want to say God, gods, uh -huh. and science bless you. Amen. Oh, Amen. Okay. Brother. Are you hungry or thirsty by chance? Sure, why not? Well, I'm willing. Food, actually. I'm willing to. Sorry, but I'm going to give it to the worker first. That's oh, fucked up, brother. I mean, I mean, maybe I'm a worker. I just haven't got the clock on yet, you piece of shit. Well, you Vote take care now. 
I'm willing to give you a piece of food if you vote for me, Vivek Ramaswamy, for the upcoming mayoral election. Yeah, sure. Well, God's gods of science bless you. Thank you. That's R-A-M-A-S-Q-U-A-M-Y. I'll remember. Wonderful. Well, you oh, take this care is now. That's yeah. right. How are you? I'm good. How are you, man? I'm doing so great. Just talking to some hard workers of Los Santos, doing on the ground, uh, you know, some campaigning. Okay, right on. Like the fucking green there, man. Thank you so much. Can I ask you, are you going to be voting in this upcoming mayoral election? Potentially, potentially. Well, let me tell you, I hope to win over your vote for, uh, you know, for mayor and beyond. That's Ramaswamy. Great moves. Oh, okay, thank you, okay. thank you. What do you think about that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What do you think about that? Ramaswamy. That's right. How are you? Q-U-A-M-Y. That's exactly right. Well, God, God, your science bless both of you. Yup, yup. How's it going, buddy? I'm very yeah, distressed. <laughs> All right, so you want to talk? I'll uh, get us to Legion Square. What's going on? Well, here's the thing, okay? Pill mm. business has been absolutely destroying my health mentally. Oh my God. And I'm on three brain supplements, non-FDA approved, which also are supposed to help. And Pilbus has just absolutely penetrated through that. Oh my God, wait, Pilbus penetrated you? He penetrated my brain and I'm, he's living oh rent free God. in my brain. Jesus, what exactly, uh, what did he do? It's such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. Mm, he basically course. said on stage multiple times that uh, he accused me of trying to politically assassinate him. In fact, oh, just a few God. moments ago, he was outside my apartment. I don't even know how he knew where I lived. Accusing what? me of the same thing. When in reality, I was just cutting cheese, specifically raclette cheese. Ooh, okay, all right. So I just want to see what my recourse could be, if you know what I mean. Sure, yeah, we can talk about that. We're almost, have you been here yet? It's really nice. Uh, where is that now? Just right here. Uh, yes, I have. Where am I, man? All right, perfect. This is where I walk like a classic Indian uncle. Oh, all right. How do I do it? Okay, so you want to know what your recourse is. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny now? No, it's not. It's a. It's a good um. That's a good way to describe it. I. I That's exactly I, right. I'm walking like a classic Indian uncle. You are. It's a, I grew up with some friends who uh, their uncles walk like that in front of me and. That's nice. right. That's <laughs> right. As I look judgingly at other people. Yeah. All right. So he's he was outside your apartment. What was he accusing you of exactly? He was accusing me of trying to assassinate him. Right. Well, he's outside your place. Possibly That's exactly trying to right. Assassinate you. Who knows? That's right. Him Who and knows? his gang of thugs. And his gang of thugs. Bilbis. Bilbis, Bilbis, Shanley, man. How could he do that? I have no idea, but let me tell you, I've had a hard time sleeping just thinking about it. And as someone who is so alpha-brained, you know, I've been watching a lot of those right. podcasts, I believe he's been messing with my brain. Wait, in what way? Like, subliminal or what? Openly, overtly, psychologically, I've been, mm. I haven't been myself because of it. It really, it really hurts my feelings. And at the end of the day, yeah, I know you look at me and you see someone tough, you know, with my muscles and my right. massive stature. But at the end of the day, I'm a little bit of a softy. Oh, my God. That's right. Yeah, I'm breaking but... down just thinking yeah. about it. It's all right. Ooh. I'm going to sit with you. I'm going to sit with you. So I, I got a call from your lawyer, actually. Oh, um, she's, she's great. She's amazing. She's a very old friend of mine, buddy. Um, so you, she said it's something to do with a court case. What's exactly happening with that? Just well, so I can, a little more context. Thanks for asking. I was hoping to sue him legally for all the damages he's caused me psychologically. Oh. All right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you could definitely do that. So you said you haven't been sleeping. I haven't been sleeping yourself. well at all. Mm -hmm. You're on three brain supplements. I'm trying to counter it, but I can't. My brain, it really hurts. Just oh, thinking so about it. Back. Yeah. I hear you, buddy. Ooh. You'll be all right. We'll figure this out. All right, so where do we even start? With I'm just hoping about? to cheer myself up by tonight watching my wife get railed. Maybe that turns the spirits around. Oh, who's your wife? My wife is Priya. Sorry, Anita. I, I lose track. And oh. uh, she has had a boyfriend for five years. And uh, I just bought a new wide-angle lens. So I'm excited to capture every inch. <laughs> every inch of 
him? Or... That's exactly right. Oh, okay. Good for you, buddy. You know what you like, and we love that for you. No judgment here. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Do you have a special chair for it, or... Uh... I have an ottoman that fully reclines, and it has two cup oh, holders on each God. side. So it's got four total? It has four total cup holders. Oh, That's exactly God, right. Wait. That's so many cups. You could just have drinks for hours while he rails your wife, man. That's exactly right. I love I love to watch. I also get to play Nintendo Switch on the side. I'm on Whoa. Ganondorf of the new Zelda. Wait, did he buy it for you? He did because I was a very oh. good boy and I captured all the right angles and I used Sapia as a filter. Oh, Sapia's good. It yeah. made his it made his penis look very large and he it really did. liked it. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. <laughs> um, have you uploaded these anywhere or anything? I like have, that? I have. I run, I'm, I'm a local business owner. Specifically, I upload them onto fansonly.com. Oh, okay, okay. Hell yeah, man. Uh, do they make good money? Do you make good money? Are you the manager? Are you the one that, uh, you know, sex? It's such a great question. Service? Thank you so much for asking. Essentially, yeah. what I do is I round up the money and give it to my wife's boyfriend, and he divvies it up to me and sometimes buys me video games. Hell yeah. I love that for you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. That makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, listen, people are going to judge you for that, but I mean, whatever works and makes you happy at home is what matters, right? Well, people judge me, and let me just tell you, if they're judging me, I'll stand to the side and watch. <laughs> hey, what do you mean? If oh, they're judging okay, me in public, right? I'll go ahead and bring my ottoman and just watch them judge me, because at the end of the day, I live this lifestyle. Yeah, you love this lifestyle, man. You love to... Love to watch. I really do. Thank you so much for sitting with me and making me feel a lot better. Just listening about my wife getting railed makes me feel so much happier. Well, I mean, if you ever need anyone else to rail your wife, I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm available. Well, thank you so much. That's hey, a really great. Doing? Hey, good to see you. Those are some good moves, gay. Thank hey. you so much. Well, here's the thing. There is going to be a subscription service as well. We charge about $5 a month, and we have an active community that takes turns railing my wife. All right, well, um, um, do we, uh, I mean, is there a tier three sub or what do we got going on here? It's such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. We do have a t subscription tier list. That's exactly right. For $5 a month, you can join the community. All right, what do I get for $100 a month? It's such a great question. For $100 a month, I'll also be handwriting you a letter and giving it a kiss wearing lipstick. Oh my god, so it's it's basically it's you pretending to be your wife on That's exactly right. right, I have a lot of horny oh, DMs. Okay. Yeah, that's I right. was so that's confused right. because late at night sometimes I get a DM and I think it's an elephant uh -huh. trunk. Oh my god, well check this out, alright? This is for you. Alright, I want in. Well, thank you so much, sir. That is, uh, yeah. that is extremely, extremely gracious. And I will add you to the premium subscription list. Oh my god, thank you, thank you. I think that's enough for, shit, how many months is that? Five? That's about enough for six right. months. Wait, I just gave you 400 bucks, what do you mean? That's exactly right. Oh, so it's the premium service. It's very premium. We're not, we're not some local Costco. We're a very uh, high end, we're top, I'm a top shelf cuck, if you know what I mean. Right. I do, I do, top shelf. That's exactly all right. right. All right, all right, my man, okay, so. Back to Pilbus. Sorry, we got a little right, sidetracked. Right, I just wanted to, no, I just wanted to understand your home life and everything. So, how does your wife feel about you uh, not being able to sleep? I mean, I guess it's more time for you to you know, watch her get railed. Well, that's such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. I mean, it is causing some real issues with my family. The other night, uh, I had to spend time actually getting to know, you know, my daughters and sons. And let me tell you, they're very uninteresting. Uh, or so did my uh, my helper says, uh, Dangren, who helps me raise my kids. So at the end of the day, I don't want to have to spend time with my kids. I want them to be raised the way I was, with a screen in their hand. Mm, with a screen in their hand and gritting the night away, right? That's exactly right. That's exactly fucking right, man. Good for you. Good for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, it's my pleasure. Okay, so, I mean, fuck, man. Like, we gotta get Pilbis out of your life so that you can watch your wife get railed. Your kids have screens in their hands and you're just not stressing anymore. Absolutely right. Fuck me. God damn. And I guess, well, fuck your wife. But well, not that's in a right. good way. In a good way. In so the in the watch. helpful way, yes, exactly. In the helpful way, yeah. Um, okay, so Pilbis. So you're on the brain supplements. Do the uh, brain supplements make it hard to watch? Or no, no, the hard? brain supplements are great. They do uh, mess with my digestive system, but other than that, they're really, uh, really helpful. They make me feel absolutely sharp. 
Oh shit, fuck yeah, man. That's amazing. I love that. It really Water. is good. It really is yeah, a lot is of fun. Good. So, I mean, but the see, that's the downside, right? If it messes with your stomach, that means you're in the bathroom instead of in your ottoman. You're lazy, boy. Watching her get fucked. Well, that's such a good point, and thank you so much for bringing that to my attention. At the end of the day, it's true. It makes me have to use the restroom, but okay. I also leave the door open so I can see it from uh, there as well. I have this thing called a squatty potty. It helps a lot. Oh, the squatty potty. What is that exactly? I don't it, think I've heard it's of it. A, it's a stool that I put under my toilet, and I lift my legs while I while I use it. Oh, all right. Yeah, I mean, you got to any angle you can get. Do you uh, record from the bathroom as well? Well, that's exactly right. Have you heard of an, a, a, a phone timer? I have. Oh, yeah. I have that running at every time. Every 30 seconds, it shoots a picture. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Fuck, that's great, man. Okay, so I think that that's, a, that's an angle we can go with. You know, we... uh. Not only is it impacting your mental health, but it's impacting your relationship with your wife. You're on these brain supplements that are just fucking with your stomach so bad that you're missing out on watching her get railed. That's exactly that right. Negatively impacting you in such a strong way. That's exactly right, and I hope to bring it to the court of law. Yeah, we can talk about your wife getting railed in the court of law and you missing out on it. We can Wonderful. do that for you and, and how poorly that is making you feel and just how Pilbis is stopping you from being the cuck that you want to be. Absolutely, and I appreciate the time speaking with me and learning about my situation. Yeah, of course. Okay, I've got my notes. I'm ready to go. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? He's, you know, he's accusing you of political assassination. Uh -huh. He's outside your fucking door. He's stopping you from watching your wife get fucked uh, just on multiple levels because of the brain supplements, because of everything else. And if he's harassing you, you can't watch her. And I mean, she's just with her boyfriend, and he's not buying you Switch games. You're not responding to her... What's the website called? Fansonly.com. Fansonly. Yeah, you're not responding to her fans only. You're not seeing the elephant trunks. That's fucked up, man. It's really that's freaked okay. up. That's exactly that's right. Best. I think that's everything. Yeah. I think you think that's everything? Yeah, I do can, believe um, so. I do believe so. Yeah, we can we can, we can, can talk to Siobhan about that, and uh, I think that we can... I will... Uh, she called me, basically, to just talk to you and then um, be a witness to your mental state and what's going on. As you can tell, I'm not doing so well. No, you're not doing so well. <laughs> now, I'm just wondering if you'd be able to give me a ride back to my apartment as well. I'm, I'm hoping I can catch some shut-eye. Yeah, I also have yes. an appointment later today. Oh, all right, all right. Let's see who's the appointment with, can I ask? It's such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh, wait. You, not wanna, hey, you don't have to share. It's all right. The appointment is with an ottoman. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, my man. What's your wife's boyfriend's name? Well, it's a great question. I have yet to unlock that, uh, that oh. uh, information from him. But wait. if I act very well, he'll tell me. I just, call him, I just call him my boss. Oh, uh, you call him boss. That's exactly Please. right. When he's inside your wife, are you just like, good shit, boss, real, or, you know... Well, I just give him a bunch like of that. thumbs up. Oh, we love that. Yeah, that's great. Do you do you do, you do the, the peace signs as well? Or just Absolutely, I do, to let him know oh. I'm for peace and love. Mm -hmm. Peace and love, and loving your wife, of course. That's exactly right. Peace and love specifically towards my wife. <laughs> that's right, man. <laughs> hey, again, you know what you're about, and Pelvis is fucking stopping that, man. That's right, and let me ask you a question. Do you think I have a shot of winning this mayoral uh, campaign? You know, Max has also done a number on your reputation, but after this, I don't know, you just might have secured my vote, Vivek. Well, thank you so much for saying that, and let me know, you have my direct number. If there's yeah. any concern you have whatsoever, if you just want to chit-chat, I'm in your pocket. Yeah, same goes for you, man. You've, I'm, uh, I'm also EMS, you know, I'm a... Uh medically trained i'm a doctor so uh, you need anything you give me a call well it's funny you say that i'm actually organizing a meeting with the ems tomorrow to just speak to uh speak to the hard-working citizens of los santos person to person oh perfect perfect no that sounds great man because i love listening that's one of my favorite yeah. things to do also Plus listening, listening to watching. also listening to podcasts uh right 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 you uh what's your favorite one it's such a great question i love the pod any podcast that's led by a <laughs> I can't say this. What's up? <laughs> what? I can't say this. I just listen to any white man with a podcast, if you know what I oh, mean. Especially, I do, I do. Especially if they're bald, right? Oh, I just love the bald I men. Love bald the bald men with their men. podcast. Whoa, we love the bald white men with their podcast. We really do. We, we really them. do. We love, we love that shit. Well, we love God, this. gods, or science bless you. 
That's right. All right. You stay safe. Sleep well. I hope you get to watch your wife fuck tonight, man. Take care now. Take care. Take that mask off. Is this part of the woke mob? Is this purely aesthetic or are you guys wearing a mask because of the pandemic? Pandemic. No. That's right. Uh, because the real pandemic is the woke liberals taking over our taking over our whole uh, country here. Yeah, fuck those guys. But um we're doing it for our security for our job, man. Keeping your money safe in the bank. Well, thank you so much for your service then. Please All carry right, on. All right, brother. All right. Just wanted to stop by and say thank you for your support. Good to see ya. Thank you so much, Rumpus Tommy. Absolutely, God, gods, and science bless you both. Good night. <laughs> I'm not addicted. Um, A110. I'm not addicted. Chat. Chat. Listen, all good things must come to an end. RP has been so fun. Shout out to everyone watching. I'm glad you guys seem to enjoy this. It's a little out of my element, but uh, it's been a it's been a pleasure. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Be nice to every single person. RPing, no matter what, everyone's trying their hardest. It's a uh, very entertaining. Exclamation point! YouTube squeaks fifteen on Twitter. Squeaks TV on Instagram if you want. Or, or don't. I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Thank you, Panic Station, for the sub. Chrome Plink, Radioactive Element, Quicksilver, SSB, and Jake the Mancake. Thank you guys for the subs. I'm sorry I don't get to read the chat uh, while I'm uh, streaming. Because I'm, you know, I'm busy in character. You know what I mean? Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for everything. Appreciate it. It's a bazinga, 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 bazinga for the Big Bang Theory.